here we are. Unfortunately, we don't really have a way to a way to test things today. So instead, I'm just gonna pull up this YouTube video. Today's gonna be a little weird. This is not something I'm used to doing. Why is this one spot most replayed right there? Okay, so I don't know how loud that is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm gonna instinctively turn it to. Oops, no, no, no. I don't want to watch games done quick. No, nope, we are going to my channel. I'm going to my channel, and I'm. I guess we're just gonna go like on off on off. Okay, it's weirdly laggy. It's always, like, a little bit laggy when I get it on my phone. I don't know what's up with okay, that. All right, so, like on, off, off, on, off. Right. So, on, off, on, off. All right, I, I, I think we're good. I think we're good, Redders. Hello. It was good to see you. All right, today is going to be weird. Today might go long. Today might be ranty. I may run out of steam. So we're just going to see how this goes. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. But hey, you know. Eh, we'll lower it a little bit. But hey, you know. Experiments are fun, right? M maybe this is something we'll do more often. Like, I, I was thinking about this at, like, the end of, like, franchise series and stuff like that. Um, full screen? Okay, there you go. Uh, at the end of, like, franchise series, what if we did something like this? But, um... I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure if we will or not. I don't like that. There's this. Sorry, here it is. I don't like there's this white scroll bar there. But sh whatever, we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> Today's gonna be a shit show. So. So so so. A microphone of mine. Let us. Oop, oop. Let us. Begin. Hello everyone, my name is Max, also known as Electro. Welcome to, well, it's after Elden Ring. I threatened to do this, and now we are officially doing it. This is a tier maker list. Uh, how it works is you have a bunch of images, and you just go blip, blip, blip. And it's a conversation point. It's a, it's a time to discuss and a time to, you know, to just talk things out or to say thoughts. And um, we've played a lot. Okay, first off, I, I didn't make this one, so credit to Stal51630890. But, um, I made two other ones. It This took me forever. They're probably incomplete. They probably aren't that good. But this took me forever because there was not, a, there was not like, a nice put-together list. There was one for enemies, but it didn't have the names of them, so it was kind of hard to tell. And um, there was one for NPCs, but they were weird or, like, incomplete. So, this is... It's like the music hiccuped for a second. This is all of the bosses, all of the enemies, and all of the NPCs for the From Software games. Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring. We are not including Souls Likes here because, oh god, we have so many and like more coming out all the time. And I'm not gonna sit here and be like, this game isn't a real, from this game isn't a Souls Like, this is Metroidvania. What, what is Dark Souls but a 3D Metroidvania? Like, I ain't gonna go into that. So we're just gonna go to From Software. God, this took forever. And I am, I've, I've never done anything like this. Normally, see, the nice thing about doing a playthrough of a game. Is there's always something to fall back on talking wise as you focus on the situation here it is just me ranting which is why I made the statement of oh god I'm gonna run out of steam I guarantee it so let's begin the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of a few rows here we don't use E uh, I'm just gonna oops I'm gonna change the colors back I kind of wish I did that kind of think I maybe I should have done this earlier but that's okay there you go and then we're gonna add another we're gonna add another row we're gonna add, we're gonna add a row below all right and we're gonna call it haven't played <laughs> there we go we're gonna call it haven't played because I think the best place to start 
Unless Redress, you say otherwise. I think the best place to start is... Hang on, we'll make this gray. There you go. Um, I think the best place to start is Demon Souls. I haven't played Demon Souls, and that's kind of a lie. I played a little bit of it. Like, I bet if you look at my hours on PlayStation 3, it's like a few a handful. I don't remember. So, some of these bosses, I do kind of remember. I think I stopped at... No, no, I beat this one. Uh, okay, for the record, I do have I do have the wiki nearby, but I didn't open up the uh, Demon Souls wiki. I'm not gonna count any of these, to be honest. Aside from Elden Ring, I've only played FromSoft games that aren't Souls-like. Oh, so like um, so like uh, Sekiro and Bloodborne and and like that lot kind of a thing. Yeah, we're just gonna I'm just gonna move all these. See, they're nice and color coded somewhat. But, um. Now, old school ones like, oh, yeah, that's right. You're talking about that. And you said, um, Kingsfield and like two. So. Oh, God. This is going to be a lot of stuff you're not going to recognize. Although, I, I do want to say, I didn't talk about this last time, but I did saw on Steam. Or, I, I did see on. That's bad grammar. I did witness on Steam. I did see on Steam. You beat Millennia. How'd that go? Right? Like, I, if I saw that achievement right? Congratulations on that. I, I, I wanted to give that verbal congratulations because I think I missed that last time. And I didn't realize. Uh, I was just like, oh, shit, he did it. <laughs> Two-shotter. What the fuck? How? What did you do? Big, gonna make me feel like, yeah, I kicked his ass. What's, what's the big deal? <laughs> yeah, today is gonna be a lot of like, you're probably gonna have to Google a lot of who these are. Oh, okay. So you're like way higher level than I was. Did you have like some big like um? Well, actually, I don't remember what level I was. You may not have been that far. You may not have been that farther ahead of me. I don't remember what level I was when I took her down, but um. Did you have like the big uh whatever the moon spell or like you drink the one um you drink the one thing so you can like fire the laser cannon is that what you're talking about or do you just have like the biggest sword in the i forget what you said your build was i i know you mentioned it but i forget to be completely honest with you now i just went with the two-handed gargoyle twin scythe that i used to shaft <laughs> you just comboed her to death kind of a thing it's pretty funny i still okay we'll get we'll get to millennia but um i still adore how um how she is as a fight we'll talk about that later but um yeah so first off i just want to get those out of the way if we went to like each of these lists i would just get rid of demon souls like there might be some i remember kind of but for the most part so fair warning uh the shaftling kept knocking her on her ass so my mimic seemed to time ah you got the mimic too okay he's just right to hit her with that she was getting up and mine was charging <laughs> nice um that's definitely something on my um did not play on cheese <laughs> that's definitely something on my um my subsequent playthroughs like before on my playthrough you saw i was anal about like some fights i just would not use summons like it just didn't feel right to me and um there's gonna be a lot more fights i'm just gonna say fuck it <laughs> so i think that'd be kind of cathartic for the record that's not me getting on you for that i don't want you to think that but um there definitely will be a little bit of just like and summons out the air <laughs> So, I'm excited about that. But, uh, oh, I forgot to say. I forgot to say. Uh, these lists, these lists that I'm doing, they're not, this is not a list on what is the most well-designed, the best lore, the hardest, the, you know, who I died on the most, or anything like that. We are solely talking which ones are my favorite. And those things might come up as a factor, but for the most part, this is just off the cuff, me personally. That's the goal. This is me personally. Oh, I respect your choice, but I went in hard thinking I would need to, need to after watching you. Now I regret trying to kill her without my mimic, to be honest. It was super climate. See, that was kind of the reason why I didn't, like, on on those fights where it's, like, enemies where you, like, you know, it's like, oh, it's another, it's another tree spirit. Oh, okay, we're fighting the god skins again. Oh, or anything that it was, like, repeating, I didn't give a shit. But, like, she was special. And I wanted her to be spe- I meant it. Like, if I recall correctly, at the end of that fight, I basically yelled, give me another round. Like, just do it again. I want to go again. 
And um, I meant that. If there was a if there was a phase three, I would have been a hundred percent down for it because she was too much fun. I loved her to bits. She was so good. But um, what's his face? Uh, the the uh, I don't know if it separates it here. Uh, the 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 beast clergyman. Uh, Jill, hello. And, uh, no, not really. We started a little late. Sarcastic bastard. But, um, like, the Beast Clergyman, I was not having fun. I was just not having a good time. I was just like, fuck it. Kill him. But, um, Millennia, I, I adored Millennia so much. But, yeah, there it is. Beast Clergyman and Malika. But, you know, like, it, it's a personal decision. That's what I love about these games. That a lot of it does come down. You know, sure, there might be some, like, optimal whatever like oh this enemy is clearly weak to this type and sure maybe you respect that maybe you don't but like it's all personal choice and i love that but let's actually get started we have a lot of them to go okay so this might be some story time this might be some whatever like i said this is uh look it's it's like you know it's like it, what, what was the analogy it's like comedians you know you say the show starts at 10 but really it starts at 10 30 because you gotta let people you gotta let people get in the door <laughs> that's cocky of me all right let's actually let's actually get started okay so uh, i don't know if this is any particular order like i said this isn't my list this isn't the one i made the other one's alphabetical and it's probably out order anywhere so all right let's begin ornstein and S ornstein and smo uh i do have the wikis up in case like anyone wants me to like to pull anything up kind of a thing or if i'm just like not immediately remembering but ornstein and smo is it Smog or Smo? I, I don't actually know. These guys are one of the most, like, when people talk about the fights they remember in Dark Souls, in Dark Souls 1 specifically, these two come up. It's basically you have one fast guy with a spear and you have one big dude with a hammer. And whichever one dies first, the second one grows bigger. So it's like this really intricate strategy. Like, e each one individually is its own difficult fight. But together, they cover for themselves. They, like, have a lot of interesting abilities. You have to really use the environment. Uh, is there a way to zoom in a little bit? How about that? How about, how, about, how about that? Actually, that works really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We might have to do some scrolling, but, yeah, how about, how about that? I didn't think... Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, I should, I should have done that earlier. Thank you for, thank you for that, Joe. But, um... Yeah, these guys, they are a big... Oh, uh, for the record, C, I'm just going to write down mid lane. And then I'll I'll add, like, plus. Plus, plus. And then we'll add minus. Just, just so anyone walking in can, like, kind of see my... Kind of see my, like, scaling method can see the boss names better yep all right sorry about that yeah everyone always talks about ornstein and smo uh for me uh, for me i um i want to say i always took down uh ornstein first because it was easier to get smo uh, smo stuck on things no no oh the programming language but uh, i'm gonna put ornstein and smo as i'm gonna put them as an a like they're a fun fight i i genuinely really enjoyed them uh pinwheel pinwheel's kind of throwaway i like how he's like kind of freaky but he's one of those guys that everyone kills on their first try so meh. uh great gray wolf sif i'm gonna put that as an a not like i love his movements it's done a ffs for everyone <laughs> oh no don't worry we'll get some we'll get some and everyone always talks about uh like okay so speaking of sif knight artorius 100 percent gets an a um I love, I love the backstory. I love how, like, the shot of you walking up to the grave and seeing him and he howls and then he summons the sword. His movements nowadays, like, there's so many other enemies that do his same movements that it's kind of like, eh, whatever. You know, especially going, I mean, that's with anything. You play Dark Souls 3 and then you play Dark Souls 1 and you're like, wow, Dark Souls 1 is so much easier because everything is slower. Yeah, if you do the DLC for uh, DS1's this fight, so much, yep. Yep, like, he is just such a sad story. 
Like, these two are such a sad story. But Sif is great. I adore Sif. Uh, Knight Artorio, same thing. He, like, his movements, I love how they're delayed. I love the visual of the poison. Um, Red Rose says, okay, you're, you're a good guinea pig, Red Rose, for, um, for these enemies. How important is it that I describe everyone and how they, how they operate mechanically? Because it'll take longer, but I can. I can, I can go down the line for each one. But, um, I'll, I'll leave that up to you. You're a good guinea pig for that. Yeah, Knight Artorius, I love, like, his big flips, he's dramatic, he's badass, his armor looks good. He, he gets an A, he gets an A. Gravelord Nito, I would also rate as an A. Uh, uh, I'll cut yourself off if I put description unless super important. Well, I mean, we got a lot to go, and there's two more lists. Like, our goal is, gotta be snappy about this. Uh, okay, so... Gravelord Nito, you're basically thrown in a hole, and there's a guy who, like, he summons a shit ton of skeletons, and when he's not summoning skeletons, he's, like, throwing shots from the ground or throwing shots at you. Uh, he, I would say, he's a good time. He is a good time. Definitely a perfect example of an overwhelming fight. That being said, he doesn't really do, like, in the, in the beginning cutscene, you see him go, Burr, and there's, like, this wave of death. You don't really see that as much in game, but it's still cool. You know what I mean? It's still badass. So I put him round A. We just did a back alley beat down. <laughs> see, my goal is not to my goal is not to do that. I, like I okay, if you guys want, I will do a Pokemon one. I 100% will. But um, I want to be I want to be more careful. I, I want to give reasons for things. Uh, let's see. Four Kings. I'm gonna put Four Kings as a D. I think it's kind of annoying. Any game where you have to, like... Okay, this this is a pet peeve of mine. This is a pet peeve of mine. And it came out in, uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. To get to him, you have to equip a specific ring. And you only have a certain number of ring slots. And there's this one ring you get that if you take it off, it breaks, and it's really good. I don't like any fight where they're like you have to equip a certain weapon or you have to equip a certain thing and they were one of them you had to equip a certain ring or you would die the fight is basically there's a slow moving thing it would have like it would try to hit you with a sword shoot a laser do a grab but if you took too long on it another one would spawn and another one and another one and all their health was shared but you could kill them individually you just had to slap them enough and that fight is stressful it's annoying. It's in the dark, so you have no sense of where the boundaries are. And it's just, it turns into a game of, like, you see the first one, and you have to go, burr, 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 like, as quick as possible before the next one shows up, else you're going to get ganked. And I, I don't I don't like him. Uh, Demon Fire Sage. Uh, that's, just the, that's just the basic bitch one, but on fire. Eh. Like, uh, it's a big, fat demon with a hammer. Okay, it's a big fat demon with a hammer. Uh, if we go to the Asylum Demon, I'm going to put... Actually, no, I'm going to put him there. Uh, the Asylum Demon, I think, makes a wonderful first boss. Because it's a big fat demon with a hammer. He teaches you a lot. He teaches you about AoEs. He teaches you to focus on his butt. He's fun. I like how um, I like how the first time that you fight him, if you can kill him before you get a real weapon, you get some, you get a really cool toy out of it. Demon Fire Sage, it's, uh, it's a copy. It's a copy. Whatever. So you never had a problem before? I always had. I always struggle with them. But um, Demon Fire Sage. It's a copy. It's on fire. Bigger AOEs. Like oh, it's because you grew as a per. Centipede Demon. Ass. Just ass. It's basically a contextual boss fight. You are in a volcano area and you have to sp like basically this giant thing like tries to slap you with like the centipede arm and you have to like run to one side and then run to another and then like when you run to the other he has to like hang on to a certain spot to like try to slap you you slap his hand and he lets go and you fall it's it's gimmicky as shit it's dumb speaking of gimmicky as shit better chaos straight straight to f better chaos is basically you go down a uh, better chaos is basically you go down a slip and slide and you have to do a platforming challenge to hit these three bugs, or hit these, like, two or three bugs or whatever. And then you go to the center, and you hit another bug, and he dies instantly. And the entire time, he's, like, shooting fire and, like, swinging at you and shit. Dark Souls is not a platforming game. 
Sekiro gets away with that shit because it's designed to be vertical. Elden Ring gets away with that shit a little bit more because it has a dedicated ass jump button. Better Chaos does not. Dark Souls 1 does not. The closest thing you guys had sprinting jump and it's ass. So no. Stray oh, it's Stray Demon. Uh, Stray Demon and Asylum Demon are the same, so I'm just going to put Asylum Demon there. Stray Demon's the first one. Or is it the other way around? Yeah, it's the other way around. Literally doesn't matter. But, uh, yep. Like I said. Nice and quick. Okay, Dark Sun Gwendolyn. Uh, so basically his shtick is that there's like this infinite hallway and that like he fires arrows and shoots magic at you and you have to like dodge and get around him. I hate his guts. He's not an F, but I don't like him. He's just annoying. It's just annoying and drawn out. And if you're a melee fighter like I usually was, it, you, like he's out of range for you to throw most of your magic unless you're using the bow. Which at the time sucked. It was kind of, okay, sure, you could kind of make it work, but for the most part, kind of sucked. You didn't have enough time to use it. He would just keep teleporting away, and you'd have to run right after him. And then by the time you, like, sprint up there, you're out of stamina, and you get to hit him once, and then he just teleports away again. That's <laughs> oh, It's slow, it's monotonous, it's not fun. So, D. Not an F, but, uh, no, I'm going to put him on F. Alright, Seat the Scalus. Seat the Scalus is basically this big tentacle thing, and he has like a big crystal attack, and he like breathes at you. It's cool. It's fun. It's very, it's visually appealing. It is very visually appealing. Uh, I like his area. It's basically like a big library, and there's like weird monsters and like crystal people and stuff. It's cool. Uh, Crossbreed Priscilla. She's a good time. Uh, she's a tall dragon lady with a scythe, and she has some ice moves, and she also like turns invisible and like moves around and stuff, and you can, um, yep, he's a dragon without scales. Uh, you see, uh, you can see your footsteps, and there's different enemies that do that nowadays, so it's, like, no big deal, but it's really cool. I like how she basically, when you go into her boss area, she's like, there's the door, get out, leave us alone. So if you kill her, you're the asshole. <laughs> I like that, but she's a very fun fight. So, I'm gonna give her a solid B. A lot of people say she's waifu material. Uh, Gwyn Lord of Cinder, I'm gonna give that an A. Um, I know a lot of people don't like. Ah, I'm gonna be day too. You can tell I'm I'm pretty quick to be friendly towards things. Uh, Gwyn, he is the final boss of Dark Souls One. He's a dude with a sword, and I know, especially in Dark Souls Two, there's a lot of fights that are just like it's a dude with a sword who gives a shit, but done right where it feels like a duel. And, like, his variety of his moves and how he has, like, grapples and he, like, throws you in the air and stabs you and you explode in fire. It's badass. It feels great. And the music is, like, sad. I love it. Uh, Dragon's Calamy. A lot of people, like, okay, in my friend group, they regularly tell me this is the guy who's, like, bullshit. I don't remember fighting him. Yep, he was parryable. He was parryable, which was always pretty funny. But, um, I remember hearing a lot of people complain about Dragon Calamite. Uh, there's, like, a small side quest you could do to, like, get him hit with an arrow and stuff. I don't remember him being that bad. I just remember him being another dragon fight. And a lot of dragon fights are kind of similar, you know, like. So, um, uh, I'm gonna put you in. I don't really remember you that much. I think I only fought you once or twice. Can I say the Sanctuary Garden? It's a cat. It, 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 it's a cat. Alright. But, um, Calamite, I remember it's like, okay, so it's a dragon... You know, it swipes at you. It sometimes it like, it doesn't. It sometimes it breathes fire. I think it has a laser where it goes like, Wah! and then it goes, kind of a thing, right? And I think sometimes he like does drive bys. The drive bys are annoying, but like, ah, whatever. I don't remember. Um, Manus, father of the abyss. The Manus, father of the abyss. Uh, I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him in a. He's a big dude with that is oddly fast he has one giant fuck off hand and he has one like yeah there's like colors there's a little bit of color difference there like whoever made this list i think i think did a very good job mine is not anywhere near as good but frankly i, I was just trying to do it quickly so you know cre credit to this person but um yeah he has like one big fuck off hand that's like big and gooby and then he has like a then he has, like, a staff, and he, like, shoots magic at you and grabs you and does, like, a few other things. He's fun. He's a good time. Yeah, I enjoyed him. He's all right. All right, Taurus Demon. I like him in general. I like him. 
I think he he makes a very good first real boss. The idea is he's just a big minotaur with a hammer. But the interesting bit is that you're along this bridge, and you're along or yeah, you're along this like wall area. I just, I say bridge, but really it's a wall parapet, and um, you can climb up this ladder spot where there's a few hollows, and if you kill them, yeah, well, and you can kill them. And if you do so, like, he'll run up there and he'll look up at you. But if you stay too long up there, he'll just jump up there. But it, you can, like, land down on him and do some bonus damage. And I think it's a very good teacher. You, know, you can fight him on the wall. And he's rough, especially at that low levels. But it's doable. It's 100% doable. But the general strategy is you run to one side. He follows you. And then when he catches up to you, you dodge him, run to the other side, get up that ladder as fast as possible. By the time you get up there, he's probably just about to that to you. You jump down on him, he goes, Oh shit, my dude. And then you jump down and you go, <laughs> and you do it again. Like I think it's a very good teacher in the beginning. Uh Bell Gargoyle, eh, I'm gonna give that a eh, eh C. Uh, so Gargoyle, it, they breathe fire, they have halberds, they sweep at you with their tail, you've cut your tail, they get a cool weapon. But like it's not even that good of a weapon. It's interesting because I think it, like, if you, like, two-handed or something, I think it, like, gets a little warbly, but whatever. Because it's their tail. But, um, it's more a lesson in fighting multiple things at once. Which, in some ways, is fun. But in other ways, gets real annoying. So, I forget if it's two or three total. But, yeah, they get a C. Uh, Moonlit Butterfly, I'm going to give that a D. Uh, basically, it's this butterfly that goes like this along a wall. And then, like, it shoots magic at you and shit. And then sometimes it gets sleepy and has to take a little nap nap. And that's when you're supposed to wail on it. If you don't have any ranged attacks, it's just a freaking waiting game. And it just, it's just annoying. Uh, Capra Demon also gets a D. The Capra Demon is not really that dangerous. The dangerous thing about him is that he has these two dogs that will either get in your way or stun lock you. Until, like, he runs over to hits you with these two big scimitar. And there's, like, this staircase you can run up to kind of, like get it so they get in each other's way so you can like try to kill the dogs then you can like jump down they jump down you like you just do this loop until it's just him and then the fight begins kind of but it it's annoying uh gaping dragon i'm gonna i'm gonna say it gets a solid a uh the gaping dragon is like this big fuck off crocodile thing but the cool thing about it is that it like if if this is its body it goes and it's just like this one gigantic ass mouth. And it's very visually cool. It can be very overwhelming. But um, you find him in a sewer. And he's just he's just a fun fight. Visually, Gaping Dragon is very stunning. I like him. Especially because like the cutscene is like, you see his head like creeping over. You're just like, oh, it's a little lizard. And then you just realize how big it is. You're like, oh, fuck. Like, I, I love that. Uh, Chaos Switch Q-Log gets a solid A. And I'm not saying that just because of boobs. Uh, basically, it's the top half of a girl with a, I forget if she has a whip or a staff or both kind of a thing. And the bottom half is a gigantic lava spider. So you have to deal with her. Like, I think she throws some fireball spells at you. She, like, tries to, like, snap at you with her whip. Um, I mean, like, the intro cutscene of her, I think, sums her up very well. Hold on. Which Q log intro scene? Yeah, some results, some results may be explicit. I love that. I'm sorry. Some results may be explicit. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I'm just going to show this off real quick. So you see this, and you're like, oh, shit. Oh, God, it's a giant monster. It's horrifying. And, like, it shoots lava and stuff. And, yeah, you got, like, a big sword. And then you're like, oh, it's a girl. Oh, that's, what the fuck? What the fuck? So it's like that part of your brain that's like, ooh, boobs. But on the other side, it's like, oh, god, we're going to die. And you, like, don't see her face because you know she's a monster kind of a deal. And then the fight starts. But um, she's very fun. She's very fun. I like her a lot. Her story that she's essentially trying to, like, help her sister who's, like, fused into a she had nipple in this one. See, that's how you know it's fine. <laughs> um... Yeah, she's she's a good time. Uh, ceaseless Discharge. I think I may have confused the Centipede Demon with the Ceaseless Discharge, and I don't care about either of them. So, ah, what? Well, I don't give a shit. Iron Golem. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. 
uh, Iron Golem is literally at the top of... Like, okay, so there's this place called Sen's Fortress or some shit like that. And it's this, there's full of traps, there's full of snakes, people are full of whatever. And at the top of it, there's this one asshole who's like rolling down rocks or some shit, right? And you have to go and fight him. It's the classic slash his ankles and he's so big and he's like, oh, I'm gonna stomp on you. He's an annoyance. At the end, he is an annoyance. In fact, no, for Sense Fortress, you get a D. Like, you just get to the top and you're like, it took so long to get here and I am so frustrated. I just want to be done. And you kill him, and you're just like, fuck it, I'm done, and you leave, and it's just good in way. Alright, Dark Souls 2! <laughs> Boom, one down, oh, one down, how many go? How many to go? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five to go. Alright. Uh, the Rotten. I'm gonna give the Rotten a B. Uh, basically, the Rotten is like this big corpse thing, and it, you have to run through some poison areas, poison caves, and the area is frustrating, but him himself, he, like, does some cool grabs, he, like, tries to hit with the slash thing, I think he throws shit at you, too. He's fun visually, and I like that you can cut off his arms. I think that's fun. Um, you can't see it very well, but, like, he's made of bodies, like, chained and welded together, so all these hands and all these feet are reaching out. Uh, do you never rotate the things that sent the balls into the void? I did, but it didn't make up for the emotional languish. Oh, shit, I forgot. If we're... See, I, I didn't queue up... Uh... Okay, Dark Souls 2 Shrine music. Majula. There you go. There you go. Best believe we're gonna switch for each one. But, um... Yeah, it, did, it didn't make up emotionally, so irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. But uh, yeah, he's a good time. He's interesting. His area is annoying, but he's interesting. Uh, Executioner's Chariot. F. Uh, basically, it's this... Um, uh, you guys have played in Elden Ring. It's a big track with a big chariot with big spikes, and he tries to run you over. I sound weak. Oh, am I quiet? Am I, am I, am I distant? Am I quiet? Do I need to, do I need to change some volume things? Do I need to? Or are you saying, oh wait, are you saying I emotionally sound weak because of that? Because if so, I will fight you. No. Um. Emotionally weak. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn. But, um. God, so long since I've done that. Anyways. Alright, uh, it's basically a track and you have to hug the walls of these skeletons that keep coming up endlessly. It's annoying as shit. It, you basically have to flip a lever. The, tri the chariot, like, jump. Let's go. Time today, play Sense for <laughs> Alright, top Sense Force, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a jail. Alright, but, um. <laughs> You have to hug the wall and the skeletons. You flip a switch. He hits the thing and then you have to fight a two-headed horse. It's annoying. I hate that fight. All right. Skeleton Lords. Uh, I'll give that a... I'll give that a B. It's a mob fight. Uh, basically, there's like a few... There's a few skeleton lords that like summon little skeletons and a few pinwheels, which are really annoying. And like when you hurt the skeletons, you hurt the boss to really just take out the... It, it's an exercise in mob fights. And it's all right. It's fun. I liked it. Uh, if I remember correctly, you get a good ring from it if you do new game plus and whatever to get it or like the one uh uh bonfire aesthetic covetous demon i'm gonna give that a c it's a big fat whatever thing with a tongue that goes like rolls around um mytha i will give see i'm not really doing like front of the list or back of the list we're just doing generals um i'm gonna give i'm gonna give mytha an a i'm gonna give mytha a she's of She's basically a, uh, she's basically a Lamia, but her head is cut off, and she like throws it like a grenade, and it screams. There's poison all around the arena, and you have to like, there's a specific thing you can burn to make it so there isn't poison around the arena. Her move set is very fast and in your face, but it's varied. She has a lot of different tools. She's a good time. She's fun. Uh, Smelter Demon. I'll give you, I'll give you an A. I'll give you an A. Uh, there's a few times that, like, getting to this motherfucker is annoying. It's basically a big dude that, like, slams the ground and shoots fire and stuff. And, um, 
he has like a second form that like if you stand close to him you start taking damage so it adds like kind of a kind of a chat like a annoying thing but still fun in concept so i'm gonna give that a i'm gonna give that a b uh old iron king uh, i'm gonna give that a b uh basically this big it, it's like gauntlet it, you're fighting what's his face the enemy from the, the final boss of gauntlet where like his lower body's in the lava and he has to like reach out and shoot a laser and there's like a safe spot so you can like drink water and drink your potion or whatever and then you can like get in there and, like it's, it's fun it's visually cool uh scorpionus not uh, scorpionus nika uh i'm gonna give that a b because she's basically a knockoff of chaos switch kulag it, it, she's basically a scorpion instead but she's got like she's got like two she's got like two little you know it's not a fire spider it's a scorpion thing she's a much lower level boss than uh chaos switch kulag is like she's still very cool visually i i'm not saying that because haha boobs but like i think in general i think visually any design of like monster lower half human upper half i think they're fun so i'll give her a b just because she's a rip off of that uh, Royal Rat Authority, it's literally a giant rat dog, and rats come at you. Nah. I like the NPC that talks to you afterwards, though. Uh, Prowling Magus and Congregation, it, see, it's it's a throwaway fight. It's a throw. It, it's a dude that some kind of cast spells and a bunch of hollows that run at you. It's whatever. Uh, Last Giant, I'm going to give that a B for the first one, but all the other ones get a C. Uh, it's this, you know, it's the big, it's a troll. It's a troll from Elden Ring. It's just big, traditional, stompy. But I love, I love them visually. That they look like they're made of wood or stone and their faces are hollow. I think that's very cool. And, um, like, I love the visual of he, like, he's, like, stabbed through the chest kind of a thing. And order to, I forget if he rips off his leg or if he rips off his arm. But he starts using that to try to hit you. It's badass. Uh, the Duke's Dear Freya that's a big fuck off spider so you get a mm, but it's a fun fight it's just annoying to get there and it's creepy to get there so all right that cancels out i'm gonna give it a c uh the annoying thing about duke's dear, dear freya though is that it has two heads technically like instead of having a head or uh, thorax i always forget uh, someone correct me in chat uh, the name of, like, the butt, you know, the head, the thorax is, like, where the, all the limbs connect, and then you have the butt. I'm not Googling it, because I don't want to look at spiders and get nightmares again. Um, instead of having a butt, it has two heads, and if you damage one head too much, I forget if it, like, glitches out or what, but it can make it so, like, you don't, you can't do enough damage to it to kill it. It's, like, some weird thing like that. So you have to, like, even it out kind of a thing. It's annoying. Uh, twin dragon riders. Uh, does this list include? Okay, this list includes one dragon rider. I'm gonna give one dragon rider a B. I'm gonna give two twin dragon riders a D. <laughs> and here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. When you fight the first one, it's just okay. It's a dude with a halberd and shield, right? Dude and halberd and shield. Let's see. Isn't the thorax the ass? Make me Google it, Max. My search history is gonna be fun. <laughs> look, I just don't want to look at spiders. All right. And for the record, if you post spiders in Discord, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> but, um... I just realized, I didn't post... I didn't say a favorite. I didn't say a favorite of Dark Souls 1. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite... Naritorius. Yeah, if I had to straight up pick favorites, uh, Naritorius and the Wolf. I think just visually, story-wise, I think they're so good. I triple dog dare you to try. I I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> But, um, okay, so the first time, you have to, like, go through this previous area, and you, like, pull a few levers, and, like, the, because the arena's small, and he's a big dude, and he can't fall off the arena, but you can, obviously, and he, like, tries to knock you off and stuff, right? But if you go through the previous area, like, you can make the arena bigger, and once again, it's a great it's a great teaching tool in like, you know, you do the work on the outside, you get some bonus on the inside kind of a thing, right? The second time, they're just in a room, and sure, you're stronger by then, but they're just two dudes. So it's like, meh, who gives a shit? So that's why he gets a B, but you get a D. Uh, Looking Glass Knight. Uh, I'm going to give that a general B. Apparently, there's like some deep lore with him that I don't remember what it is, but basically, it's a dude with like a mirror shield that like 
I don't remember if it reflects magic, but it's, like, really strong against it. And he, like, two dudes in a trench coat. <laughs> and, um, he, like, sometimes puts the shield down and, like, a little du dude crawls out of it, which happens a few times in the castle on the way there. Visually, very cool. But I wouldn't necessarily say it's, like, A plus or anything like that. But, um, I, I think visually he's very fun. There's some lore with him and I don't remember what it is. Ancient dragon, it's literally just a freaking dragon. It's not even a fun dragon, it's a really annoying one. Uh, guardian dragon, it's a smaller dragon, but it's cool visually because you're on like Dragon Mountain and you're in like a birdcage. Abdomen is the back section of a spider. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Duke's Dear Freya doesn't have an ass. No ass on her, no cake present is just two faces. Literally a butt face. Fuck her, she's but like, and not they're like, no, just screw, no, 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 forget about her. She's she's done. She's lame. She's dumb. There's a lot of cool mechanics. Ah, I'm gonna drop you down to D. You got some cool mechanics, but it's not worth the frustration. The fact that you're a spider. So, Smelter Demon is a knockoff of the uh, of the. Uh, it's literally a blue, and maybe that's the one that has the fire aura. It's a blue version of Smelter, so same kind of thing. D. Uh, let's see. Giant Lord, it's a knockoff of the last giant. D. Demon of Song, D. It's it's a big freaking frog with like a rubbery thing, and the idea is supposed to be it opens his mouth, and then like the, the head is sings, and there's these little arms that go like, me, 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 me. <laughs> no. 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 Just no. 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 Fuck off. No. Don't do it. I will delete them. Like I will. I will delete them. Like, look, dude. I genuinely have nightmares about spiders. Like, how about you don't? Do me a favor and don't. All right. Uh, Vendrick. Vendrick's just a dude that just like wanders around and like when you get enough giant souls, he gets weaker. It's dumb. It's a waste of your time. It's just slow. Uh, Pursuer? Pursuer gets a freaking A. Visually, it's cool. It's horrifying how, like, you just hear the scream. Fuck, yeah, don't look them up. Good, I won't. Not going to. Uh, I will not. Thank you for warning me. But, uh, visually... Like, the Pursuer shows up a lot. There's, like, two... I, I think there's, like, once where you're forced to fight him... And then there's, like, three or four other times. And, like, I remember New Game Plus being told he, like, shows up a lot more. But, um, he has a very cool move set. He's, like, this floating ghost thing. His armor has, like, faces and spirits coming out of it. A lot of his attacks have it. Uh, his hitbox can be a little bit wonky. I want to say you can parry him. But, um, he's just very fun. He's fun and he's cool and I like him. Uh, so, yeah, he, get, he gets an A. He gets an A. All right, now we're at the point where we have to start scrolling up and down. So I don't know if you want to, how you want to do this. Okay, we're just going to have to scroll up and down. All right, uh, Velstat, the Royal Aegis. I don't remember, Aegis? I don't remember anything about you, so. Dark Lurker is cool visually. He's like, I'll give him B. Uh, he is what Four Kings, I think, was meant to be. Because it's just one dude, and he fires these spells at you. Good. Glad you don't. <laughs> but, um... He he has, like, this cool mechanic where, like, he'll throw different spells at you, but he, like, makes portals. So it's like, you know, he... There's, like, a portal that'll form in front of him. He'll throw a fireball in it so you don't immediately know where it's coming from unless you're, like, looking around kind of a thing. Uh, you have to... It's convoluted to get to him, but Dark Lurker is, like, this... Just He's a cool angel, and, like, he... I forget if there's, like, a first fight and a second fight or if it's, like, a stage two or whatever, but he, like, clones himself and it's fun it, it's it's a fun it's a good time it's like what four kings should be so b uh ew. all right let's see uh throne watcher and throne defender isn't this like technically the final boss or some shit i don't even remember them they're just two dudes d uh sarah varg and grave robber they're literally just they're literally just pc invaders so d uh, Sir Alone, I'm gonna give him a B. He's really freaking hard. He feels like a dude. It's a, it, it okay, so it's a big dude with a big two-handed katana, and I want to say there's a Easter egg that if you kill him without getting hit, he'll actually, like, commit Harry Carry kind of a thing. But, um, yeah, he is a fun time. 
he is a fun time. I I really enjoy him. I'm gonna move great. I'm gonna move this down. I need like I need to not think that S solely like there has to be one from each game, but I definitely like Knight Artorius more than Grey Wolf Sith. But um, yeah, Sir Lone, Yeah, he's hard. He is brutal, but he he's a good time. Uh, Nishandra. I barely remember anything about Nishandra. C. <laughs> I think she's not the final boss of a DLC, right? Kind of like Elana, Squalid Queen. I kind of remember her being annoying, but like not overly, not overly offensive. I, I don't remember. I remember her being annoying. Uh, Fume Knight, Fume Knight gets an A. He is stupidly hard. He's really hard. You have to like do this work to get these certain items because, um, I forget if it's like, so you have like the boss arena, right? You have the boss arena, right? And then there's like these, I forget how many, if it's like six or eight statues. And I forget if you're in their aura, if it hurts you or if it heals him. But you have to like, like I said with a lot of these bosses, you have to go through the previous area to get to him, find these items, apply them to these statues so that he can't use it during his fight. Uh, otherwise he has like, he has like a normal sized sword and like a big ass sword a big ass sword so it's a combination of like quick attacks and like the big heavy ones he throws fire at you and i forget if the fire goes out and comes back like diablo but um he's a really good time i real i remember really struggling with him but once i be beat him i felt like a badass so he definitely gets an a all the skull of the first sin i don't remember anything about you sin the slumbering dragon i don't remember anything about you i think this is just a dude that throws fire and dies quickly i think this is just another freaking dragon I have the king's pet. It's a freaking cat. It's a freaking cat. Burnt Ivory King. You get an A as well. Um, old Dragon Slayer. This goes in the D category because it's just Ornstein. It's literally just Ornstein. Uh, so Burnt Ivory King is... I don't even remember exactly how you get to him. But you have to do a bunch of different things. And like to essentially get these allies that will come and help you and it's you jump down this hole and like all these dudes jump down with you so it feels like it, it feels like odst like you got a squad coming down and you land and they land and it's this brawl and if i you have to like go to like these portals and like hit them or some shit or just like kill the dudes that come out of them and like your dudes are like fighting their dudes and stuff like that it's badass it's a lot of fun and then when you, and then like they all go down or i forget if they all or i forget if the second phase kills them or whatever but um then you fight the dude and it's like fighting gwyn it's a it is a duel between you and this guy who's like throwing fire and jumping around and doing shit he's a very fun time i i like him and something that i talk about in dark souls i love battlefield fights where there's two separate sides that are fighting that are independent of you like, they would, if you just sat there and waited, they would sit there and kill each other. Beyond you. And they don't all just automatically turn to you. Like, I love those kinds of situations. I think they're interesting. I think they're dynamic. And um, as much as their one side is on your side, it feels like having a bunch of bros. And you're like, yeah, let's go. And you go in. It's So, yeah, he gets an A. Flexile Sentry, I'm going to give a C. Because, okay, so here's the deal. It's basically two dudes together like attached together kind of a thing so there's a lot of spinning and there's a lot of like both of them going meh, meh, meh. and since he doesn't have a butt like the other side will then go meh, meh, meh. he's annoying though because a he applies bleed and in the first place you fight him uh it's like this ship hold that like fills up with water okay it's almost never him that kills you it's the ship hold filling up with water and restricting your movement so actually because of that oh and then the other place you fight him is also full of water that restricts your movement so d not for him but for the environment Bell for Gargoyles, D. I don't care. Rune Sentinels, D. It's three dudes that are all annoying. Uh, Lost Sinner, B. It's a dude that, once again, you have to go through the previous environment. And you can use it to light up the area. And there's a specific item, I want to say, too, that, like, fucks with him. But he's just, like, a duelist with his hands bound. But he's got a big sword. And he's just fun. Yeah, it fills with water. Uh, I don't think the water can ever kill you. Yeah, I don't think the water can ever kill you. But it restricts your movements. And it's a very early level fight. So that's enough. Like that. I freaking hated that. But um. Yeah the Lost Sinner. I don't know what his lore is. But visually he's very cool. So yeah. He gets a B. 
Uh, Royal Rat Vanguard. Uh, literally, it's the Royal Rat Authority again, so... Actually, no, it's not true. It's, uh, it's a mob fight of just a bunch of rats. So who cares? See. Uh, tell me if the music's too loud, by the way. Oh, shit. Uh, we're on to Bloodborne now. Okay, so... Bloodborne... Yeah, Hunter's Dream theme. There we go. Okay, good to know. Hunter's Dream. Behold... Hold on. It's everyone's favorite Dark Souls game. Guaranteed everyone's favorite Dark Souls game. All right, so a lot of these are going to be spicy. One Reborn. Okay, so the One Reborn is basically this big-ass mass of bodies. You walk into an area, and it looks like the moon itself rips open, and blood begins to pour out, and this mass just falls on the ground, and it forms this giant centaur-ass-looking thing. But what's scary about it is in the area, the rafters, there's a bunch of sorcerers that are going bing a ding bling a ding And that's what summons him initially. So to fight him, you need to go run up and kill those bitches because otherwise they'll shoot fire at you. This is a fun fight. It's visually very cool. Um, I'm going to give it a B. All right. Ibrahita's Daughter of the Cosmos. Straight to A. Wait. Oop, oop. Shit. Where'd she go? There it is. Ibrahita's Daughter of the Cosmos. Straight to A. 100%. Uh, basically, you walk into this big... Oh, would farm that boss. Yep. I'm going to raise the volume a little bit because the song's quiet. But, um... Yeah, so basically you walk into this area and you just see this mass of tentacles. And Okay, the picture doesn't do it justice. Just straight up, I'm going to tell you right now. The picture doesn't... Okay, I'm just going to Google Ibraitis. There you go. And you just see this. You just see this thing. Turned around. Just like doing whatever, right? And then it would just turn to you. And his face would open up and you'd see all these eyes and all these things. Visually, what an absolute eldritch horror. Oh shit, nice. But um, what an absolute eldritch horror. Of a creature. He, it's, it's so cool. And like basically. It, you know it's like. Oh it, it slaps you with tentacles. It shoots magic. It, it, but just visually. And the music. And the music is just so good. I love it Brietus. Alright. Uh, Mikalash. Host of the Nightmare. Alright this might be controversial. I thought his fight was fun. Shit where'd it go? Alright. I thought his fight was fun. B. Uh, basically. What it is, is you get to this area, and you hear this creepy-ass, like, ding. It's like this little, like, it's like this little music box. Now I forget exactly what the song is, but I'm going to move you down to, I'm going to move you down to, mm, I'll keep you, I'll keep you there. Uh, should Dark Souls 2, Shay and them get to be favorites? Nah. He's such a glass cannon. Well, that's... Okay, so, basically, you get to this area, and he's like, Cause, or oh, some say Cosm, oh, Grantus eyes. And he's, like, all dramatic and stuff, and his head's in a cage. He's just a dude. And then he sees you, and he's like... And he just runs off. The whole fight is finding him and, like, cornering him into a spot where, like, the doors are locked, and then you jump down, and he's like, oh, shit! And then he starts casting spells at you, all of which are spells you can get later. My favorite being the one where he just, like, throws his hand forward, and it, like, summons a portal, and tentacles reach out, and they hit you. It's very clear the guy, I mean, Host of the Nightmare, I think it's kind of hinted. I forget if, like, when you kill him, something happens to, like, the world, but, um, you know, it's kind of hinted that this world isn't real or some shit, and that he, it's his dream kind of a deal. So killing him, what does that do? It's it's like some weird lore, sh lore shit like that. I don't remember exactly what it is. But yeah, he, he'll summon little puppet things. He just tries to hit you. He's not that hard of a fight. I just think a lot of people get annoyed with him because he's this laughing... He's insane. And he's just laughing as he's running through this library. And you have to, like, chase him. You have to, like mentally map the area so you can like lead him into a place so you can like drop down on him and then find him again he's a fun time i genuinely really like him he's he's fun uh let's see <sighs> have to take a breath sometimes oh okay lady maria s s 100 percent s 
Uh, basically, it's like the start of the DLC or some shit. Or is, is, is she DLC? She might not be DLC. And um, you just see her sitting there. And you, like you go over to touch her and she grabs your arm and is like, some bodies should just be left alone. Or some shit. And she... Oh, what does she fight you with? It's like this katana. It's like this katana that it has very big, sweeping bleed effects and it, like, slashes with blood. And, like, you know, the first part of the fight, she fights, like, a hunter. And the second part, the blood extends and gets even bigger. And then, like, the blood starts to light on fire as he's going. It's, like, a three-stage kind of a fight. And there's, um... Well, I think it's, like, one health bar. But, like, you know, there's, like, definite moments. I could be wrong about that. But, um... It's a duel. It's a fast-paced, hard duel. And it's one of those fights where you can't just get away from her. You have to, like, the only way to survive is to get in and get closer and get fighting. And what makes it better is, I want to say lore-wise, the doll is based on her. She's the reason the doll was made. Uh, She's the second to last. Yep. He had a move that caused an explosion that covered the whole room. Oh, Mikalash. Oh, yeah, that's the, uh... Are you talking about the one where he's like, man, like, a bunch of stars, like, come out and then come out, you know, kind of a thing? But, yeah, Lady Maria is an... It's a duel. It's a fast... A, you also can get the doll outfit. Yep. You guys will probably notice this about how I tend to rate, rate these things. I adore duels where it feels like it's two equals going at each other. Not some big, dramatic monster. Like, yeah, I know, sometimes fighting just, like, Fighting just du like fighting dudes gets annoying when it's like endless bosses that are just dudes, just dudes. Um, hold on, where see, just dudes, just dude. You know what I mean? No, it's all good. This is this is ranty, so you know. No, oh, well, I still appreciate it. I want you to know that it, it that that means a lot to me. And don't worry, I'm not focusing on. Well, I guess you don't want to know how they work mechanically, so that's fair. I understand, but I still appreciate it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you guys are probably gonna notice. I really like fights where it's just two people going in hard, where it's just like it's an anime fight where you just both have to just go nuts and at each other, kind of a thing, right? And um, Lady Maria is a wonderful example of that. I adore her fight. It is so good. All right. Uh, Murgo's Wet Nurse. I'm going to give it a B. Uh, basically, it's a theoretical final boss, but really, really doesn't feel like a final boss. It's more of, um, side note, Red Wrist, you'll probably have some fun with it when we get to the NPCs, just because it's going to be, um, you know, talking waifus, right? For a second, audio wasn't there. I think it's just, I don't know how well you guys can hear the Hunter's Dream music. It's what, is it a lot quieter. But, um, yeah, she, like, she creates, like, a dark realm, so it's hard to see. There's, like, kind of clones, but not really. She does, like, a lot of slash. It, it, it's fun, but it's not, like, she's meant to be a final boss, but doesn't really feel like it. It's kind of in the same boat as, like, uh, Throne Watcher and Throne Defender, if I remember correctly. So, nah. Uh, Amygdala definitely gets a B. It's this big eldritch bug thing. When you, And, like, what's cool about them, the reason I give it a B, or Amygdala or whatever, is because when your insight gets high enough, you start seeing those bitches everywhere. Like, they're just on buildings and shit. Just, like, just around. And there's, like, a few spots where you can, where they can, like, grab you and kill you kind of a thing. But I think there's, like, one spot where you have to get grabbed and survive it and, like, takes you somewhere. I forget. You <laughs> hate the damn child crying. But it, yeah, Murgo's fun. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the one you actually fight... The, I'm... Uh, okay, if we're talk, No, okay. The fight is a C, because it rips off his arm, he tries to hit you, he has these lasers that are kind of annoying. It's one of those fights where it's like you really need to hit the head, because if you hit the limbs, it doesn't do that much damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, it gets B more for the visual of it. Especially in the environment, the ones that you couldn't hurt. That's why it gets a B. All right, uh, Martyr Logarius. Martyr, Martyr Logarius. I don't actually remember Martyr Lo Who the heck is Martyr Logarius? 
All right, I just Googled it. Here we are. All right, Martyr Lagarius. This boss fight is optional. Make sure you have lit the Canehurst Castle lamp before defeating this boss. You respawn near the horses that brought you to Canehurst. Uh, it's the thing at the end. Uh, it, it, okay, whatever. It's a, it, it's a, it's a dude that. Yeah, if you don't remember, he's instant F. Uh. Ah. Uh, see, I don't remember him being offensive. That's okay. Jermaine, the first hunter. Yes. He is the real boss fight. Basically, at the end, you're like, oh, do you just want to literally forgettable? <laughs> no, see, F is like I hate. C is the forgettable area. Because, like, D is they offend me. F is I hate them. But um, C is where I'm just kind of like, eh, but, um, yeah, basically, he's your, uh, it's hinted at, but, um, basically, he's the real final boss. And once again, it's a duel. He's a guy with a scythe. He's fast as fuck. He uses a gun. He has different tools. He gets this rage mode. He fires wind. It's anime as fuck. Fantastic boss. So much fun. Incredibly good. Uh, Moon Presence. Uh, Moon Presence is the... I'm going to give it a B. He's normally the final boss. There's still another boss after. Yep, that's the Moon Presence. That's the guy you want to kill for, like, the secret ending that's, like, real hard to do. It's a big freaking monster that, like, swings at you. I like him more for the visual. The visual appeal of it. Uh, but he's nothing compared to Germain. Like, uh, is he harder? Probably. Is he whatever? Probably. But Germ is it German? 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 I don't know. He's so much more fun. Moon Presence is cool, but not nowhere near as cool as him. I'm going to move Miklash actually up to up to A, because I think he's funny. All right, uh, Ludwig the Holy Blade. A. Uh, it's this horse thing. It's this big, flailing, horrible horse thing that just tries to slap the shit out of you. And then halfway through the fight, he says, Ah, oh, there you you were with me the whole time. And he pulls out a big fuck off sword. A big fuck off glowing blue sword. And what's awesome about it is like. Oh yeah, that's right. Isn't it if you have like certain insight or whatever. You like become a squid and you replace the moon. It's been a long time. I'm going off. I'm firing off the hip with a lot of these. But uh, yeah, Ludwig then. Um... Sorry. It's weird to see this centaur horse thing turn into a swordsman. A true swordsman. And the music is badass. And the like the statement of um, an honest death is but a blessing. Like, an, yeah, an honest death is but a blessing. No, you need three umbilical cords. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's right. If you, um, if you kill the moon presence without consuming three umbilical cords, of which I think there are four total. And nothing happens if you get the fourth one. But, um, you get, you get the German ending where you basically become him. But, uh, if you get all of them, you get the, you get the squid ending. But, um, yeah, the Ludwig fight. I want to, okay, I want to give a shout out. Obviously, I'm not some huge streamer, but, um, so it's not like my endorsement means anything. But you want to listen to, like, a sick-ass remix. You want to listen to a sick-ass remix of a song. Look up. Uh, wait, hold on, is this what I think it is? Nope, nope, this one is not actually it. This one is not it. Uh, hold on. This one. By Jeff Plays Guitar. Ludwig the Holy Blade Doom version. Like. Blessed saint. Hold on. An honest death is like a blessing. Just gotta let the beat drop. Hopefully, I'm not going to get... See, I'm biased. I'll fully admit I'm biased. Because I love that song and that remix. But the music is so good. So, just regardless. Alright, uh... Let's just start grabbing and going. Uh, Father Gascoigne, A. Easy A. Uh, he's the first hunter you fight that, um... I don't want to get copyright struck. But, um... Father Gascoigne is an easy A. He's basically one of the... He's basically the first case you meet of a hunter who has turned into a full beast, which is why in his second form, he, like, has a beast form kind of a thing, which is arguably easier than the first form. But, um... 
and there's like a quest around it. You can tell he killed his family and his daughter just wants to see him again. It's sad. It's tragic. It's so good. It's an A. Uh, Cleric Beast. Also an easy A. Uh, probably the first main boss of the game. Big giant wolf thing with a big giant furry arm. Fast, hard, does big sweeps, does big roars, encapsulates the kinds of enemies you will fight in this game. So, easy A. Uh, Witcher Hamwick. I don't care. It's C. It's whatever. Rom the Vacuous Spider. B. B. Visually. Sorry, don't mind me. I got, I got this running that she knows. All right. Uh, Rom the Vacuous Spider. You're basically sent to this void in this big fuck off spider thing that notably has like an armored head. Fires spells at you. And the entire time is so many little spiders also have armored heads. It's a game of you can't get caught up in killing the little guys because he's just going to fire spells at you. You have to run around and get to him, but you don't have much time because he has protective spells. I give him a B, which is weird because he's a spider. So you think I would, you think I would hate on him. There's a lot of things that go on mechanically with him, and that makes him very interesting. There's a lot going on, and he's very difficult. He's kind of he's kind of up there with Ornstein and Smo of like, a lot of people have stories of having problems with Rom. But I give him a B because a lot of it comes down to him being annoying. So, yeah. And he's a spider, so B. Okay, Lawrence the First Vicar. Uh, Lawrence the First Vicar. Uh, he is essentially an on-fire version of the first one, so I'm going to give him a D. He has more mechanics going on, but it's just kind of annoying, so D. Uh, Dark Beast Parl, uh, it's a big kitty cat skeleton thing that shoots lightning. Eh. Blood Starved Beast, I'm going to give him a B, because it's basically like this dude that's like this, and he like goes around real quickly, and he like poisons you and shit, so it like teaches you that mechanic kind of thing. Uh, very fast, very in your face. It feels like fighting. It feels like fighting a beast you just have to put down, like, it, like a rabid dog. It feels like fighting a rabid dog, so... I'm going to give him a B. I'm going to drink some water. I'm talking a lot. <sighs> All right. I don't know why man or boar is on this list. See, it's a giant pig. He's easy if you have the whirly gig saw. Oh, the... Uh, the parl or... I forget which one. All right, brain sucker. It's a C. It's a. It's another whatever. Forgotten madman. I don't remember. See, keeper of the old lord. Nah, I don't remember. Bloodletting. MSB. Which one? Which one's MSB? Are you talking wrong? Oops, MSB. All right, anyways, uh, the merciless watchers. It's a, it's a, it's a basic bitch enemy. Pythermine. It's, it's a basic bitch enemy. Undead giant. It's a basic bitch enemy. Abhorrent beast. Eh, I'll give you an A. I'll, I'll give you an A. It's a big dude that's like real aggressive and almost like a boxer, and he like shoots lightning. It's, it's fine. Yeah, they're from Chalice Dungeons, which is why I'm putting them in the do in the not care department. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, so we got Lauren Dark Beast and Lauren Silver Beast. Uh, I'm gonna put eh, same thing. It's a it's a big it's a big human shaped cat thing that shoots lightning at you. No big deal. Burp. All right, moving on. Beast possessed soul. I feel like that one's separate. And I'm really sneezy. Shoot. I apologize. It's because I'm talking a lot. Shoot. Ah, damn it. Gotta, like, get over one sickness, and I'm immediately on another one. I don't remember the Beast Possessed Soul. It's a Beast Possessed Soul. Alright, uh, eh, it's a dog thing. It's a basic bitch enemy. Whatever, don't care. Some Sometimes, yeah. Because I'm running my mouth. I'm gonna blow my nose real quick. Because I'm still sick.
Hey, if it makes you feel better, I sneeze, but I'm tired too. Ugh. Ah, see, I'm trying to get through this quick, and a lot of this is talking, so we just kind of, kind of, kind of have to go. Through my old descendant, C. Watchdogs of the old lord, uh, D. You're a giant dog, but you spit fire, you're just annoying. Alright, uh, what's next? Ah, okay, living failures. Okay, so the celestial emissary... I'm going to put there, and the living failures, I'm going to put there as well. They're basically the same kind of... Oh, that's not entirely true. The Celestial Emissary is like this big, squishy, mushroom alien-looking thing. And it, like, has little tendrils that just goes like... And, um... It, like, shoots a little magic at you. Honestly, it's cute. It's a mob fight. Uh, living failures is kind of the same thing. There's this area where there's just a bunch of these, like, living failures. There's these weird, gross things... And they, like, go, Bleh, and they, like, make little noises. They run around, and sometimes they'll take a swing at you, but other times there's, like, Bleh. And then sometimes they'll all, like, hold up their hands at once, and they summon meteorites from the heavens to kick the shit at you. It's funny. It's fun. I like them both. <sighs> okay. Uh, Yarnum, Pithurmium, whatever. I think this is more of a child's fight. I don't care. Let's see? There's a drop for them to mount to them. And yeah. It, it feels crowded, and I like that. Uh, Shadows of Yarnum, I'm gonna give that a B. Notice there's not many of these that I, like, directly hate. Most of these I just don't care about. But, um, Shadows of Yarnum, it's like three swordsmen, but they have, like, snake spirits in them. So, and, like, there's one that's very clearly, like, long range, there's one that's very clearly close range, there's one that's very clearly, like, mid. And, like, they'll cast spells at you and throw fire at you, and they also summon giant snakes and shit. And visually, it's just fun. It's it's fun. It's a good time. It's it. I I, I like them. I like them. Uh, Vicar Amelia. See, the, okay, so this one is really similar to the cleric beast, but there's more things going on mechanically. Like it, they are the Nazgul. Yeah, basically. Uh, Vicar Amelia. You know, it's tr it's tragic because I think you can see her like before she turns, then after she turns, kind of a thing, and that's when she turns to a monster to kill you. Uh, there's healing, spells, fights differently. Very cool visually. Give that an easy B. Alright, I say this one for last. Orphan of Cause. S. Uh, if I remember correctly, orf the Orphan is the boss directly after Lady Maria. And he is considered one of the hardest bosses in the game. Very difficult. He basically has this yo-yo sling. He throws blood things at you. He's disgusting. You literally find him at the at the corpse of some eldritch being, like birth. Like literally, that thing is born and it is slapping you with a platella, that or whatever fucking medical term that has like a blade inside of it. And then he like screams and his back rips open and there's like wings that come out and it's attacked differently and it shoots lightning it's awesome it's hard it's difficult it's brutal i love him it is so difficult but it is so much fun placenta yeah but you just transforms to the cutscene yeah definitely a really fun time hard as i'll get out but fun all right oh and that's the end of bloodborne that is the end of Bloodborne. Alright, let's... I should be saving each of these songs. Oops. Oh, well. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so, uh, YouTube, let's get to Dark Souls 3. Oops. Nope, nope, you are not allowed to use my Dark Souls 3 shrine music. Apologies. All right, Dark Souls 3. Look at that. We're making great progress. I feel like we got a good list going already. All right, so let's begin. <gasps> old Demon King. I don't remember the Old Demon King. Who the fuck's the Old Demon King? They're like, well, that's a contender for C right there. It kind of like Redra said, if I, do if I don't immediately remember who they are, it's basically guaranteed. <laughs> But it is basically guaranteed that they're gonna get, they're gonna get a, who the heck? Hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, okay, Dark Souls, okay, Fextra, if you could like, if you could like, 
Okay, old demon. Who the heck is the old demon king? Oh, this annoying git. Oh, this guy. Hey, he's just a big annoying freaking demon. He's annoying because there's two of them. Uh, well, what was after Elden Ring in the boss area? What? This is a little loud. Sorry about that. What? What are you talking about? But, um... Ah, he's this big annoying thing. Hey, uh... Uh, that's, that's it. That, that's, that's the bottom of the page. But, um, nah, I kind of remember him being cool, but I also kind of remember him being annoying because there's two of them. I'm going to give you a C. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Here, here's one. Champion Gundir. I'm going to give him a B. He is, actually, I'm going to give him an A. I'm going to give him, eh, yeah, I'm going to give him an A. I'm going to give him an A. He is the first tutorial boss kind of a thing, and I like him. He's a big dude with a halberd, and I like him because his movements are right from the get-go. They're very strange. They're delayed. They're like, there's an odd swing. There's an odd gait to how he fights. In the second part of the fight, though, his body, like, bursts open and rips apart, and there's this... Getting loose with the color match. <laughs> but, um... Like this big snake root monster thing comes out, and the fight totally changes, and vision, and like it, it changes everything right from the get go, and it sets a tone, and I love that shit. So yeah, get Gundir gets an A. Uh, Lothric the Younger Prince. Um, I'm also gonna give that an A. That is a hard fight. It's basically a dude who's like crawling around on his arms and legs with. Like, the act I forget his name, because Lothric isn't the dude fighting you. Lothric is the dude on the guy's back, who's, like, casting spells or, like, healing his brother kind of thing. So it's like a 2v1, even though it's a 1v1. He's surprisingly fast, even though he's crawling around. There's a good variety of spells. Lothric's a good time. All right, uh, Ancient Wyvern. It's a dragon. Oh, Uidix Gunder. Oh, my bad. Champion Gunder's the other one, so Champion Gunder gets a D. <laughs> While Uidix is the first one. Yeah, and then his brother shows it because he's on his back, kind of a thing. Uh, okay, see here, see here you go again, right? The old demon king, and then there's like the demon prince thing. They're just freaking the same. They're like, oh wait, no, 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 that's right. The demon prince is the annoying one. The demon king is the one that. Yeah, see, I'm getting them confused, so I don't care. I, I don't care. Let's see, uh, champion grave tender's wolf. It's a wolf. A uh, soul of cinder. Oh, that's the final boss. That's the final boss. He gets an A. <laughs> the soul of cinder is basically just a big dude, but he keeps changing weapons, and it's fun because the weapons and spells and things are things you can actually use. So it feels very... He's the guy on the cover. Uh, it feels very much like a finale. It feels very much like a, this is a culmination of all the skills, all the abilities. Let's go. Let's do this. Like that kind of a thing. So, yeah, 100%. It, it's... There's a, there's a lot of these games. It's been a while, so that's why the wiki's up to help remind me. Uh, Dragon Slayer armor. Eh, see, it's a dude. It's just a dude. Uh, pfft. Nameless King. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. Hey, I was gonna say Nameless King. Who's the Nameless King? Uh, that's the motherfucker when you get to play in like the Stormfront. All right, that's up there. There you go. That's the guy where you get to, like, play in the storm front. Literally, you're walking on clouds, and this dude on a dragon is, like, throwing lightning down at you and, like, just kicking your ass. And then eventually you, like, hit the dragon enough, and you can, like, hit him too. And when you hit the dragon, he's like, oh, my beautiful pet. And he stabs the bitch, gains its powers, and comes at you five times as hard. Like, you're like, oh, clearly I'm mounted. Hold on. Clearly I'm mounted combatant is stronger than one that is not mounted, right? No, the dragon was holding him back. The Nameless King is an optional fight. At least I think so. But, um, he was so much fun. He was so difficult, but he was so much fun. I loved fighting him. So, yeah, he definitely, he definitely gets an A. I might move him up to S. Probably move him up to S, honestly. Um, oops, too far now. 
Sister Freed. Oh my goodness. S. <laughs> Sister Freed. She. Okay, I forget if she's part of like. The, I think she's part of the, one of the DLCs, and kind of like Crossbeat Priscilla. I forget if she's in a painting world. She talks to you and basically tells you just like leave us alone, get the fuck out. And then you're like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do whatever I want. And she's like, fine, fuck you, let's go. And the first stage of the fight, she is stealthy. She disappears. She uses a scythe. It's very similar to a crossbeat Priscilla, but she's like faster and smaller. And she has like grapples and shades. It's, it's awesome. The second phase, I think it's her dad or her husband. I'm not, or her lord. I don't even know. Giant monster dude with like this bowl, like with this bowl. Or, like, a chair. Or a, I think it's a bull. And, um... He gets up. And he starts smashing that shit around. And, like, throwing fire everywhere. And you still have to deal with her ass. Like, she is still throwing ice. And she is still attacking you and stuff, right? And then she goes down again. And then she gets back up. With two scythes. And she is not only throwing ice now. She is throwing fire. Like, black fire. And, once again, just like... I'm gonna keep stressing this. It's a duel. It's a hard-fought, long, painful duel. The fighting her lord or whatever the shit it is with the, with the bull, eh, no one cares. But, like, that part's irrelevant. It's her. It's fighting her. And she, like, just the way that, you know, a scythe, generally speaking, is a long-reaching weapon. The way she, like, gets in and grabs your ass with it or, like, covers the area or just makes it so hard to approach her as she is rushing at you is brilliant okay sister free definitely gets an s uh speaking of s slave night gale um i forget if he's part of the same dlc i want to say he isn't he starts as this dude just wanting to help this girl who's like painting a realm but to do that she needs paints and he thinks the best way to do that is souls and ashes ashes of fallen warriors and things he starts collecting more and more and more and before you know it he's like you give me your dark soul and he tries to kill you and um he his move set is so unbelievably varied i can only describe it as it feels like fighting guts like berserk big ass sword repeating crossbow moves insanely fast has like these shock waves of skulls things that will then like go around and follow you kind of a thing he like i think there's like a he fires like a crossbow up and it goes like like along the ground very much in your face very difficult but what a fun fight like i also love with him is that instead of just like having like this nice room you get this countryside of just ashes and you can run a good ways and he'll follow you the whole way <laughs> like he he does not leave you alone and like the storm is going as the fight goes and it's, it's awesome slave night gale or jail or whatever is great uh dark eater meteor i remember a lot of people complain about him i don't know it's a dragon who cares I don't really like dragons that much. Uh, Curse Rotted Great Wood. I'm going to give that a D. I'm going to give that a D. Uh, it's literally this, like, this fat dumpling tree thing. And you have to, like, slap it in the pustules. And then it, like, falls lower. And then you have to, like, slap it in its arm. And that's, like, not covered in bark. And it's pustule. It's just annoying. Uh, Crystal Sage. Ah, Crystal Sage is kind of fun. It's this thing, cast magic at you. Eventually, it like teleports around the arena and still casts magic at you. And then it like summons a bunch of versions of itself and they all start casting like small magic at you. And you have to figure out which one's the real one and then teleport the dozen again. Hey, it's fun. It's a gimmicky. It's a good time. It's early. Uh, Deacons of the Deep. I'm going to give that a B as well. Uh, it's a mob fight. And you basically have to like figure out which one is like the leader one. And then when you hit that one, that does the damage. And then that one dies and like a new leader is chosen. And it's just, like, this mob of dudes. But you kind of realize once you have a weapon that does, like, a nice big sweep kind of a thing, you can kind of, like, quickly identify. I mean, I think, like, whichever one it is, like, their eyes are glowing or some shit. So it's not, like, impossible to tell. But, like, you just do big general sweeps or just, like, drive-bys kind of a thing so they don't bog you down. And then you can just quickly dispatch them. And they're all so spread out so that way, like, you know, they can't glomp up. And then you find which one's the real one. And you're like, you! And you just, like, you can break the crowd. It, it's fun. Okay, Osiris the Consumed, or uh, Okiros, Okaros, the Consumed King. Eh. I remember you generally being fun, but I don't remember what you did. I don't remember if you were a knockoff of Ludwig or not, so, uh, see. I like that you seem like you're holding a baby. Uh, High Lord Wolnir. Uh, it's a big gimmick fight. 
it's a big gimmick fight with a giant skeleton thing. Uh, visually, very cool. So, B. Even if it's not that hard of a fight. <gasps> Abyss Watchers. Easy A. E okay, so. Let's see. That's all good. Okay, so Abyss Watchers. I would put you in an S. Except for one thing. So, the fight starts with these things that I think it's supposed to be hinted at that they were like the... Um, they're like the descendants of Artorias, right? And the... But what's cool about them is the fight starts and each one has a big ass sword and like this dagger, which is the pose that he does. He does this kind of a thing. But the thing is, they're all going insane. So because they're all corrupted by the abyss, they're killing each other. So you go into the area and there's like five or six of them all just hammering at each other. And you run in and some of them are like, hey, who the fuck are you? And they attack you in the process. And it turns into like this big brawl kind of a thing, right? And then once you get far enough... One of them gets up, and, like, you know, everyone else dies, and he lights on fire, and it's an awesome fight, right? It kind of loses what made it cool. <laughs> nah, nah, nah I'll, I'll give you an S. I'm, I'm generous. I'm feeling generous. I'll give you an S. Like, the Abyss Watchers are very fun. They're very cool. I like them a lot. Uh, Vort the Boreal Valley. Uh, early on boss. Uses ice. Feels like fighting a giant warhog. Like, you're fighting Gandorf. It's fun. Dancer the Boreal Valley. I'm going to give that a B as well. Uh, this was a, this is another fight that, like, you know, once again, Ornstein and Smo. Uh, okay. Well, still, you, know, you get my point, though. The cool thing is that they're fighting each other. Did my music stop? Nope. Okay. Um, there it goes. Uh, I love the movements. Actually, yeah, that'll move you up to A. Uh, I love the movements of the dancer. That it, The attacks aren't very often direct. It's like this snaking movement kind of thing. It's very fun. I like it a lot, so I'll give it an A. Very difficult fight. Uh, Pontiff Sullivan, same kind of deal. Very difficult to keep up with him, especially when he summons his clone. But big explosions, big swords, just in your face the whole time. Give that one an A. Aldrich Devourer of the Gods. Uh, I'm going to give that one a B. I'm going to give that one a B. Uh, basically, it's like Gwendolyn's goop brother, like this weird goop thing that I think Aldrich technically is that, like, eats spirits and gods and attempt to get stronger. Basically, it goes around the arena and tries to slap you and summon the spells and stuff. It's fun. It's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a B. I'm going to give it a B. Uh, Yorm the Giant. I'm not a fan of big... Okay, so here's the deal. I'm not a fan of you must use this weapon. So C. But the story makes up for it. It's so D. But the story makes up for it, especially because you're helping Sigurd keep his final pros uh, promise. So C. Half-Light Spear of the Church. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hold on a second. Oops. No, no, no. I don't want salt and sacrifice. Whatever. Half-Light Spear. Oh, this one. This one. So the idea of this fight was supposed to be that Half-Light... Let's see. Okay, yeah, I'll read the, I'll read the wiki. Half-Light is a human wielding a sword and shield in battle and will spawn as the boss this area if the player is in offline mode. When they are in online mode, however, this boss fight is fought against another player, similar to a PvP fight. Regardless of which boss is spawned, two NPC guardians will spawn to aid the boss. One spawns to begin the fight, the other one the boss reaches approximately half health. The difficulty of this fight can change based on which boss is fought against. Fighting against other players being significantly harder. It's a fun concept. It's a cool idea. I like it a lot. Didn't really work out well. C. Uh, half Light Spear of the Church. That was the idea of it. It's a cool idea, but it didn't really work out. Alright, next up. The one that if I say is my favorite FromSoft game, everyone hates me. Uh, what's the home base of Sekiro called? What's the Sekiro starting area music? I, I don't know what the starting area is called. Um, what's that first area called? Okay, wait, hold on. If I, if I look up Sekiro Sculptor, let's start there. The Dilapidated Temple. Okay. So, 
YouTube Secro that the temple music. Yep, there you go. Okay. Apologies. All right. I adore Sekiro so much. Uh, let's just start with this thing. It says Inner, Inner Genichiro, Inner Father, Inner Inshin. I think that's some like new game plus challenge mode shit, and I haven't played those, so those all go in there. There's not that many bosses in this game. All right, so first off, Corrupted. Actually, wait, hold on. Corrupted Monk. I'm gonna give that one a B. It's like this big monk. It's this. Okay, if it's. Well, let's look at this list, because this list isn't complete. Like, it doesn't... Yeah, for some reason, it has, like, the Owl Father versus Great Shinobi Owl. I'm going to put that in there. Um, it, it's not in... Where's the... Oh, hey, there's a Great Serpent, Great Color Carp. Oh, okay. So, I thought, I thought those ones weren't there. See, there's Owl Father, too. I'm like, what's... Anyways, um, it's not, oh, there it is, True Corrupted Monk. Okay, okay. I'm going to sit here and specify this. So they're basically the same fight, but the True Corrupted Monk is the real version of it. The other one, you have to use a specific item in order to be able to really hit it. So because of that, that one goes straight to D. Right, but, like, I, I remember only really fighting him once. So I don't know if it's like, oh, that's right. Uh, I don't remember the difference between them. So I'm just going to count them as the same person. But the, tr okay, the true corrupted monk, fighting the true corrupted monk without having to worry about some dumb item was a blast. It was, he was an illusionist. He used a big, um, he used a big, uh, what, it's basically a spear with a blade at the end of it. I forget exactly what it's called. It was, uh, it was halberd, basically. Fun fight, difficult, in your face, great time. Demon of Hatred, D, D, just annoying. Actually, no, F, oops, annoying, frustrating. It wasn't really about parrying, even though the whole game trained you to, to, to do parrying. Hate the Demon of, I hate the Demon of Hatred. Oh, well, perfect, I'll switch that then. <laughs> ah, my nose, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Uh, let's see, next one. See, here's the other one. Like, Genichiro Ashina versus Genichiro Wave Tomoe. They're basically the same thing. Okay, they're basically the same thing. So, I'm just gonna ignore this one. And we're just gonna talk about Genichiro. Who gets to be an S? <laughs> like, I know, oh, the difference is the first time you fight him, he doesn't shoot lightning and stuff. He's just a really good swordsman that uses a bow. Those are the phases. I'm not going to worry about phases, all right? We're not going to worry about phases. We're going to judge the fight in its entirety, okay? Get a cheer away of Tamoe. Awesome fight. Loved him. I know in the final boss fight, he's essentially stage one out of two, out of three stages, but great fight. Really interesting to fight this guy who just out of nowhere switches to a bow and just goes thump, thump, thump. And it's, it's a blast. It's a blast. He's a good time. And when he, like, whips out the lightning and then you have to, like, you know, jump and parry it at the same time and slash it back down him you feel like a badass all right s 100 s speaking of s ishin the sword safe the guy who he turns into also instant s fight a guy who not only uses his sword but also uses a halberd and a gun he uses a gun it's awesome it's dramatic it's intense he also throws lightning at you it's insane. The final boss fight of this game, of Sekiro, is so unbelievably good. I just want to emphasize that. It is so, so good. Instant S. 100%. Instant S. Uh, Ishina, Ishinashina. Okay. See, once again, it's like the same thing, but it's like a different version of him. So I'm just going to throw him in there. Haven't played or repetitive. <laughs> And then just die by his sword. Like, it's so good, though. He was so good. I loved him. All right. Uh, Lady Butterfly. Easy A. Easy A. She definitely felt like one of those first hurdles. It was patience. It was you cannot let up. You cannot let her get away. Uh, when she would fire the butterflies at you, 
that shit got annoying or like the weird clone things that shit got annoying but her herself really learning her combos was so gratifying it felt so good so yeah hey easily uh emma the gentle blade i never fought her apparently you do if you choose one of the endings emma is precious so why would you fight her all right, uh, next one. Gyobu Oniwa, if I remember correctly, he's, he's just a dude you find a horse. He's a great time. Just in general. He's a good time. Dude on a horse with a halberd. I am Gyobu Oniwa. He just run at you and slash at you. It was, it was a good time. It was fun. I really enjoyed it. All right, uh, Divine Dragon. I'm going to be honest. The Divine Dragon is a gimmick fight, but unlike the other gimmick fights that we talked about before, his is unpainted. His is badass. <laughs> You go into this area and it's all foggy and then you see like this if you chose to join your father's side, which I didn't, so But um you see like this giant tree and around this like this this divine dragon who like does these big slashes that are like really easy to dodge and these like trees grow out of the ground and you have to quickly grapple on top of them and then lightning would strike and you'd have to like get to where you knew the lightning was gonna strike so you could parry it and throw it back at him. And it, visually, it was stunning, and it was easy as shit. And you had to fight these other, like, little tiny dragons. But basically, whenever you, like, did a finisher on one, you'd swing his body around and hit all the other ones. It was gimmicky as shit, but it was so cool. Visually just stunning. So, you get a pass, B, because it's badass. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. Folding screen monkeys. This one's another gimmick, but it's fun. You basically have to chase monkeys. These other monkeys try to kill you, but really, the it, the monkeys themselves aren't bad. It's just they'll get little hits in, so it's more of an endurance fight as you try to find these guys. One of which would be a monkey that would follow you around because they're invisible, so you had to like, follow their footprints and stuff. It was fun. It was a good time. Uh, Great Shinobi Owl. I'm going to put you on an A for now because I don't want S to get too full. Yeah, I'm shedding. You hate the invisible monkey? I thought it was funny. You know what I mean? Like, I could feel the monkeys, like... Sorry, I could feel the monkeys playing a joke on me. So it felt like getting in with it. Uh, the Shinobi Owl was great. Unfortunately, like, everyone in this game, he's, like, this big... He's big and tall, and he's also, like... He, he, yeah, everyone in this game is taller than you. And, um... He would run at you and use a lot of your moves and the moves you could learn, a lot of, like, the tools you could use and stuff. So it was really cool seeing, like, your own weapons being used against you and, like, a few other ones. Great fight. A lot of fun. And there was that energy of, like, I'm fighting my dad. Let's go. You know, I, I would never betray the Lord. He's fun. All right. Uh, Chained Ogre. It's a dude. I don't care. Snake Eyes. I don't like the Snake Eyes. They're weirdly annoying. So, like, D. Armored Warrior. Funny, because it's literally just some... Okay. Sorry, give me a second. That's hilarious. I get why you'd feel that way, though, but it's funny. <sighs> okay. Okay, so... There's always, you know, the thing of, like, what's better, the European longsword or the katana? What's better, the European knight or the Japanese samurai? The armored warrior was literally a dude in European armor, like, looking for his son or, like, doing something to help his son or something like that, I don't remember. And um, the whole point of him was that he had armor that was so thick because, you know, Japan doesn't have very good iron, which is why they have to fold their swords over and over and over again to get it strong enough kind of a thing because they didn't have quality steel. His whole shtick was that he was so he was so armored you couldn't kill him. And you had to kick him off a ledge to kill him. It was hilarious. <laughs> I loved it. So, uh, B. His story is sad, but it's funny. So, B. Uh, yep, you could not hurt him. He was just too well armored. And I just thought it was funny. <gasps> Headless! F. You have to use an item. They're underwater. They're annoying as shit. F. Uh, Blazing Bull. You could parry him. Yeah, a bull hitting you with a giant piece of wood on fire. You were expected to parry him. It was annoying as shit. Okay? It was dumb. I didn't like it. So, D. Um. Oh, God. My throat really is trying to... Sakura Bull. Same thing. 
Uh, my throat is really trying to kick my butt right now because I'm just talking so fast kind of a thing. Uh, great carp attendant is just a dude. Uh, underwater headless were not bad. The ones on grounds were bad. I hated them both. Uh, Juzo the drunkard. Eh, he's, he's all right. He's all right. <coughs> Apologies. All right, Ashina Elite. It's just, it's just a dude. It's a dude who cares. Lone Shadows. These guys are cool. They like, um, if I remember correctly, there's Lone Shadows, and then there's, uh, see, okay, so Lone Shadow, Shinobi, Togajiro the Glutton. See, okay, actually, hold on. I'm gonna put you there, and I'm gonna put you there, and I'm gonna explain these all in one group. Uh. Yeah, okay, I think it's it. So, these guys are mini versions of that guy, so they automatically get a lower score. They're D. Uh, Shinobi Hunter. Wait, is Shinobi Hunter here twice? Okay, I could be misremembering this guy. But, um, or sorry, this guy. But they're basically, like, Lone Shadows kind of a thing. They're just every now and then they would just be this random swordsman that's just really strong and would only use one arm and kick the shit out of you. And, um... Just random dude that was just good. So, they're fun. B, I remember Shinobi Hunter and Shin being the same way. Uh, same with the... Uh, leader Shigenormi Yamauchi. I remember just being the guy that tried to help you. So, B. Uh, Shigeki of the Red Guard. Same kind of thing at the end of the day. It's a... It's a... It, it, it's a... Yeah, a lot of these fights were just fun. Like, I'm not putting them super high up, but they were just fun. Uh, Orn of the Water is an A, though. It's an A. Basically, out of nowhere... Out of nowhere, you would hear, like, this beautiful music as you're going to go into a village. And you see this girl, and I forget exactly what she asks you, but she asks you a few different questions. And eventually, she's just like, I can't let you pass. And it turns out that her instrument, she can take out the neck of it, and it's a blade. And her movements... She was basically a ghost. And, um... She would like if it says of the water, she flowed. Her abil her fight just flowed as it went, and you had to like really follow it and really be careful. And it was a learning curve. Fighting her was a learning curve. So, a easily. Long arm centipedes. It's what it's. I don't care the deuce. Miss Noble. Funny the first time, but also annoying to be like basically. It would just be, like, this dude that would slither around, but he could, like, grab you, and then you'd, like, your soul would be sucked out unless you could find him kind of a thing. And when your soul was sucked out, you could barely fight, and, like, you'd move around all slowly, and something else would come and kill you. So it's like, eh, it's whatever. It's a stage hazard. Uh, I'm ignoring these for a little bit. Great Serpent. Okay, so the entire time, every Great Serpent was a cutscene, but kind of like the Divine Dragon, the visual of this giant snake trying to find you and you having to like sneak up to it and stab it in the eye and stuff. Very fun, very cool, made me genuinely scared. By the same token? Probably gonna be embarrassing if I look at it. All right, um. By the same token, great colored carp, freaky because it's in the water and it has human teeth. But, um, same kind of thing, just this animalistic fear, and I loved how, like, the whole area, you're avoiding the water, trying to stay around it, because this fish is, like, lunging out and trying to get you, kind of like what I was making fun of, um, uh, Mori, or, uh, Mor yeah, Mori in uh, Resident Evil 8, kind of what I was making fun of, oh, thank you, uh, kind of what I was, do I have a spider stuff in here? Um, kind of what I was making fun of that he was doing, except his was very scripted, while the carp wasn't, and you had to swim into the water to go do stuff once you got the ability to swim. And, um, just very cool, very fun. I don't know if you could ever actually kill him. I think you can. There's, like, there's some way to. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did kill him. But I don't remember exactly how, but he was fun. Uh, seven Ashina Spears. Sure, you fight multiple of them, but he's, this guy's a learning curve in hitting those stabs. So, I really like them for that regards. Um, I ain't gotta go to the bathroom, but we're almost done. Uh, Samurai General, same kind of thing. I'm gonna put in a B. It's right up there with, like, the Lone Shadows and stuff. Just every now and then you'd fight one. I liked how you could, like, most of them you could, like, sneak up on. Ooh, I just glitched down. I saw that. Most of them you could, like, sneak up on them. 
kind of a thing and get like what you know because like the, the game works basically instead of having health you're well everything does have health but more importantly than that it has poise and the idea is you build up poise and then you do a critical kind of a thing so like they would have two health bars if you will and you could sneak attack and take out one health bar they're fun they're a good time yeah you had to like poison the food or something i, I don't remember exactly how it worked uh okami leader shizu same kind of thing it's a, it's a dude uh, Shichi Men Warrior, D. They had annoying spells. They teleported. A lot of their spells went through walls and shit and could target you anyway. There's usually other annoying things. They fired just big blasty things. It wasn't about parrying good fun time. It was about dodging and shit, and it was just really annoying. The Guardian Ape and the Headless Ape. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you, you would uh, you would get poisoned fish food, and then you give it to them, and then it, it would kill it. Oh, God, am I going to make myself sick trying to talk so fast? <sighs> Apologies. But, um, the Guardian Ape and the Headless Ape. These guys go to A if for no other reason... Actually, no, 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 hold on. Headless Ape gets A, Guardian Ape gets B. They're mostly the same fight. Well, okay, the Guardian Ape... Okay, so the Headless Ape is um ah, okay because there's like two boss fights the first fight is you just see the ape and then like you you know it's a bit he swings he swings around a lot he rolls he slides he like throws poop at you <clears throat> it's fun it's cool it's visual it's whatever it's a good time and then you kill him and you like stab through the neck and you go like man with the sword and it falls off and it says like shinobi executed and you're like fuck yeah you feel great and then it picks up its own head. Oh. Okay, in that case. In that case, that. And then he picks up his own head. And round two starts. And he fights you with a different move. Okay, it's the same in a lot of ways. But it's a different in a lot of ways. <laughs> it's same, but it's different. He adds more moves. And he throws his head, if I remember correctly. And he like does a bunch of other shit. And it's just that moment of like, what the fuck? Was nuts. And I loved it. It was great. Now, that being said, the so you kill him again. You kill him again. And you're like, eh, fuck you when he dies. And then he's like, okay, he's really dead this time. You then find him later in a cave, and you have to fight him again, because you get the weapon that lets you kill the immortal centipedes or whatever, that make it so that, you know, you can actually, like, kill things that are immortal, because that's what's keeping it alive, this, like, centipede him. But he has, like, this little mate, this little, like, brown, brown whatever mate, and he's just annoying, he's just frustrating, and he, you don't want to deal with that shit, you want to fight the big guy again. So, actually, yeah, because of that, he goes down to sea. The first fight with just him was the one that was a lot of fun. Yeah, the Mortal Blade. All right. Just one remaining. Uh, real quick, though. Small bathroom break, and we'll you know, rest my voice for a few minutes, and we'll be right back.
Let's keep the game going. <laughs> keep the party rolling. All right. Uh, for there isn't really a specific song for Elden Ring, so let's just say Elden Ring Shrine of Grace music. Rest the Grace Elden Ring soundtrack. Perfect. Oh wait, the round table hold. We'll do the round table hold music. Perfect. Expected a fuck just. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right. This is a lot. So we've given ourselves a big task today. All right. So there's a lot of bosses, which is good. But this is also the one that's the most recent. So I feel like we can we can blast through this pretty quickly. We, you think we can blast through I think we can blast through this pretty quickly. All right. Let's begin. Godskin Noble. Uh, D. The fat one's annoying. The straight up. is like big... I don't know, he's, he's annoying, I don't like him. He has, like, a lot of good moves. I like that he's, like, oddly fast with, like, the stabbing kind of a thing. But I don't know, he just annoys me. So, D. God Devouring Serpent Rikard. I love the together. But, once again, it's a gimmick fight. Gimmick fights automatically get negative points unless they're particularly cool. Riker didn't really do it for me. Although the visual of it was actually pretty cool. Alright, I'll move you up to a B because I'm together. Uh, Valiant Gargoyles, fucking F, annoying as shit. I hate that their gas, like, stunned you. If their gas didn't stun you, like, I'm okay with it doing tick damage, but because it stunned me, I kept dying. It was annoying as shit. Um. Astral Natural Born of the Void, D. Big, annoying, gross thing. I mean, visually it was, like, interesting, but then you realize there's, like, this weird centipede bug ball thing. Ah, uh, just annoying. Mimic tier. B. The fight itself is literally... It's just fighting yourself. It's more the reward that you get for it. And I know, like, people have, like, set up funny situations with it. But, um... If we're talking just solely a fight, it's just you and whatever the computer thinks is the best way to fight yourself. Even though, like, you get a shield that has no skill on it. And then you have a weapon with a skill. And they insist on two-handing it. And I'm just looking at them like... He makes some weird decisions going here. And he doesn't, like, use your spells, I'm sure. All right, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 honestly, yeah. Star Scourge Redan, fucking ass. <laughs> Visually very fun. I liked fighting a dude with like a tiny horse. It was almost absurd. The gravity spells were interesting. Him rocking his out his ass in and out of orbit was just hilarious. Redan's an awesome time. I I, I loved him. Uh, speaking of Redan, I'm not immediately seeing my favorite boss in the game. I'm not immediately. Okay, Patches. It's just a dude. Uh, Erdtree Burial Watchdog, F. Uh, <laughs> I don't need to explain myself, fucking F. Clean Rot, it's a dude. Guardian Golem. I can't remember what Guardian Golems are. The fuck's a guardian golem? I'm probably going to stay in D. What the fuck's a guardian golem? Hang on, hold on. Bosses. Okay. What's a, what's a guardian? What the heck is the guardian golem? Oh, it's just, it's, it's just one of those big things. It's just one of those big, who cares? See, I don't care. Haven't played or repeats middling. I'm gonna change this middling slash don't care. <laughs> middling slash don't care. Guardian Golem is a dude. It's just, it's just a dude. It's whatever. Who cares? It's a dude. Uh, Erd Tree Avatars. Okay, they're kind of interesting, but let's just be honest for a second. The Erd Tree Avatar is literally just an asylum de demon to a few extra tricks. D or C. All right, uh, da, 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 da. Glenstone Dragon. It's just a dragon. Who gives a shit? Uh, Cemetery Shade. Creepy, kind of cool, but really, it's just a dude. Rune Bear. It's a, it's a bear, but like it's a rune bear, and I like how they're difficult. So B. 
Fire Giant. Uh, the Fire Giant was actually a good time. I enjoyed that. But a lot of that was because I was watching um, Alexander kick ass. So, B. Alright, let's see. Fia's champions are just dudes, D. Uh, yeah, isn't it weird? I get mad at things for being just normal dudes, but I love things that feel like duels. I think the difference is because if it's a dude, like, I could be that. I think that's the core difference. If it's just like, ah, it's just a, just a dude in an army. It's just me. Who gives a shit? Whatever. I don't care. Then I don't care. I just realized the music's really quiet. I'm going to raise the volume a little bit. He was like, it's just me. Who gives a shit? Whatever. But, like, if it's, like, a duel between, like, a god and you or whatever, then I care. Soldier of Godric, uh, B. I think he makes a great tutorial boss without being, like, the tree sentinel, who is a B. Because I love how he kicks the shit out of you in the beginning. Can't hear the music for this one. I just turned. I just turned it up. Should be. It should be louder now. It's nice and quiet, but yeah, it should be louder. All right. Uh, I like how he kicks the shit out of you from the beginning. I think his move set is great. Um, it's good. His move set's good enough to the point where, if I can find. Hmm. I'm not immediately... Why is Stray Mimic Tier and Mimic Tier showing up twice? Oh, because you do fight it twice. The novelty is gone! Actually, no, I'm going to leave it there because it's it's funny when you like have your mimics fight each other. All right. Um, right. I'm not immediately... I know it's in here. Or I'm sure it's in here. Oh, Erd Tree Burial Watchdog Duo. Fucking F. Wait a second. F. It's the it's the dragon version. Where's the dragon version of the thing? And eh, whatever. I'm not gonna worry too hard about it. If I see it, we'll put them. Oh, Knights Calvary. Uh, so Knights Calvary times ten. There's a lot of these bastards. I don't care. I like them. I think they're fun. I think they're a good time. Like you know, just because you fight them a lot of times doesn't mean I automatically hate them. I think they're, like, varied enough. I think they're interesting. I like how you can kill their horse and they'll get up and fight you. Like, I think they're fun. All right. Uh, who do I want to talk about next? Uh, Grave Warden Duelist. Okay. Uh, he's fun. He's a dude. He's a dude, but he has, like, a surprisingly very move set. And I don't know if it's going to differentiate the ones with the axes versus the ones that don't have an axe or have the hammers. But they're, they're a good time. I like how they, like, swing the thing out and do, like, the little barbarian roar and uh, a putrid grave warden duelist, I think is yeah, I think is the one. But yeah, they're they're fun. They're fine. I enjoy them. I think they're interesting. Uh, let's just see here. Ulcerated tree spirit D. Uh, I just don't like how I'm okay with the moving fast. I'm not okay with it not being 100 percent clear where the hitbox is and isn't. That's a problem, especially with like the big tail swings. Is where it's just like where am I actually being hit and you can't really tell. That shit gets annoying. These these things are just the fucking worst though. I hate them. All right, uh, demi human queen. It's a thing. It's all right. It's fun. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's not even that fun. It's just it's just a thing. Crystallian duo. F. I hate how the crystallian things make it so that you have to get a weapon that's a specific type. That's a, that annoys me. I'm not like I'm not trying to make it so that like no boss is unique. Because you want to make it so everyone can use any weapon. But it's like it shuts your ass down if you do not use a specifically right type of weapon. And I hate that shit. So, F. Uh, da, da, da. Fell twins. They're just dudes. Mm -hmm. I agree on this rating. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Estelle, Stars of Darkness. We already... Didn't I already throw you somewhere? Didn't I throw you in D? I think I did. D. Same thing, D. Uh, da, 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 da. Mad pumpkin head. It's a dude. Don't care. Oh, for the yep, for the crystals. Flying dragons. It's a dude. Don't care. Worm face. It's a dude, but worm faces annoy me. So D, F. I hate those things. Uh, nah, D. These things have a special place in hell. All right, um, which one should I, Royal Revenants are freaking annoying, and I hate them, D. 
All right, uh, abductor virgins. It's a dude. See. Uh, Millennia Blade of Michaela. Fucking S. S freaking tier. What an incredibly amazing fight. I love that you can stun her. I love that she stuns you. I love that she... They know you because you never really pay attention to your death bar. Basically. Um, I love that she has so many different kinds of moves that you have to learn. I love how she's oddly respectful of you. I love the idea that she heals even on a block. I love the, um, what you would call, like, the big, uh, the big anime, like, like, waterfowl dance, whatever it's called. I think that's fucking sick. I think visually she's awesome. She, her second form is freaking insane. Where, like, you know, because the wings were a problem, not because of the flight, but was because your visual, you were visually impaired. And that's hilarious, and I think it was done on purpose. And I love that all of her basic combos were essentially added on to. I love that the, she had big Scarlet Rot attacks, but the Scarlet Rot was almost never what killed you. Uh, the visual of the butterfly petal things flying at you was freaking amazing. Millennia is just a, a wonderful fight, an absolute joy, and I wish there was a stage three because she was such a badass okay honestly probably my favorite fight in the game <laughs> like she was just so much fun yeah y'all were waiting for me to get to her weren't you it's endless praise <laughs> all right uh let's just see omen killer it's a dude it's a dude but i don't care uh nox duo they're dudes i don't care Elmer of the Briar. Okay, so really this is more of a statement on the um, on the Bell Bears in general. I'll give them a B. They're kind of hard, but it's, you know, and it kind of stinks that you can't really parry them or, like, stun them or anything. But it's fun fighting a Terminator enemy. It's reminiscent to me of the Pursuer. But, um, the Pursuer, but it's kind of less iconic and more reminds me of Pyramid Head. Alright, Godskin Duo. D. It's just dudes, but now there's two of them. It's annoying. All right, uh, Crucible Knight. Okay, I'm going to do something kind of odd here. The first Crucible Knight gives a B. They're solid fighters. The stomp is interesting. You have to, like, really think about how you take them on. The different ways that they have, like, those spells changes how you approach them. The tail is cool, except for some reason, which is why I'm going to give the rest of them Ds, is because... Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, once again, Clean Rot Knight duo. I don't care. They're dudes. Just because it's too... Like, Except the Clean Rot Knights are kind of cool. So, no. Because the Clean Rot Knights are cool, I give them a C. But, um... Miranda the Blighted <laughs> the blighted Bloom. F. But of the rest of the Crucible Knights, they all get Ds. Because after a while, they're just freaking annoying. And like, oh, look, it's a duo. Oh, look, this one has a spear. Oh, look, this one has a what? Oh, there's the Bell Baron Hunter. I'll put you up there with Elmer. Because usually you give good prizes and stuff, so I yeah, like them. But um, oh, this one is a spear. This one is bullshit fire. When you use their when you use their spells, their spells are ash. But when they you they use them, they're incredible. It's annoying. Uh, Black Blade Kindred D. I, it's a freaking gargoyle. Fuck it, who cares? Uh, Ancestor Spirit. I'll give that a B. I'll give that a B. It was really fun fighting it. It felt like putting down an animal, though, like a beautiful creature. But it, they were a lot of fun visually. I love how they, like, hopped in the sky kind of a thing. I love, like, the breathing of, like, the energy. They are beautiful and fun. I like them. Uh, Necromancer Garrus. You're just a dude. I don't care. Oh, here we go. Morgat the Omen King and Margit the Fell Omen. Both of you guys get A's. Both of you guys get A's. You're not my favorite, but I love I love them summoning the light weapons. I loved how they would like roll and move into like their different fighting positions, kind of a thing. They were just both a lot of fun. I really enjoyed them. Uh, were they the one who like was Morgat the one who? Oh my goodness, Elder Dragon Grail. It's a fucking dragon. The decaying exists. It's a fucking dragon. But, um, yeah, okay, there's Goddard the Grafted. Uh, Goddard gets a B. Actually, no, that's not true. Goddard gets an A. But, uh, yeah, these guys, even though they're, like, very, very similar 
in their fight kind of a thing, except you don't want to ask, like, the expanded moveset kind of a thing. Uh, there's still a great time. I think they made a very good learning curve. I like how they cover for themselves so well, and I like how they're an extension of each other. Like, it's not just the same fight. It's the, it's the same fight plus. It's it's a lot of fun. And Godric, uh, Godric himself has a very interesting moveset, the big shockwaves when he grabs a dragon and just starts breathing fire and shit. It's a lot of fun. It's really cool. And it feels like one of the first major hurdles. And I love that. I think visually he's fun. Kind of weird that Grafty never really comes up again. But a lot of fun. Really enjoyed fighting him. All right. Uh, Leonon Misbegottens. Eh, they're fun. All right. This is a weird monster thing. Alabaster Lord, it's a dude. I don't care. Onyx Lord, it's the same thing as Alabaster. It's a dude. Who cares? Uh, Godskin Apostle. Uh, Long Cat's funnier than the fat one, so he gets a B. Battle Mage Hugh, uh, Battle Mage Hughes, it's a, it's or who, 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 I don't even care. Misbegotten Crusader is basically the same thing as Leon and Misbegotten, but it's got a cool weapon. It's cool and fun, unique, and I like that. Uh, Eskar, Priest of Blood. I don't remember anything about you. I think you're just a dude. Perfume, Trisha, Misbegot, Warrior. D. If it's just two random things put together, it doesn't count. Uh, Demi-Human Chief Duo. You guys are kind of fun together, especially because, like, you guys, like, call a bunch of little ones, but then you're, like, separate, so you can kind of find them together, but not really. So. All right. Um... Okay, so you have the Red Wolf of Radagon, right? And then you have the Red Wolf of the Champions. I don't remember what the difference is between you two. But generally speaking, I like you. <laughs> so I'm just going to put you both at B. But that's because you give me Sif vibes. That's There you go. There, yeah, they both generally get up there. Ancient Hero of Zamor. Uh, that's the Ice Ones, right? They're, they're all right. One is probably in the Academy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't remember which is which, though. Okay. Um. Putrid Avatar. D. Because you're basically, once again, you're basically this shit, but more annoying. So, no. Crucible Knight and Misbegotten Warrior. Same thing. D. All right. It's just another fucking whatever. Draconic T Tree Sentinel. There it is. I like you well enough that you get to stay at B. Because visually, you're very cool. All right, uh, Spirit Caller Snail, small and crucible. It's just a fucking dude. It's just a fucking dude. Small for God skin. Fall. I don't care. Putrid Crystallion Trio, F. Grafted Scion. Once again, it's just a dude who gives a shit. Omen Killer and Miranda. It's Miranda, so F. Uh, Tree Sentinel Duo. Okay, D, because it's just copying shit. Scaly Misbegotten, it's just a dude. Uh, Beast of Fair Missoula, it's just a dude. A Dan Thief of Fire, it's just a dude. You never seen a theme. Alright, okay, so this one I'm going to give some special credit to. So there's Black Knife Assassin, and then there's Electo Black Knife Ringleader. Okay, so the Ringleader is going to get a B, and so are the Assassins. I Actually, no, I'm going to give them an A. I'm going to give them both an A. I love their move set. I love their grab that like leans you over as if they're going to kiss you. I love that when they're invisible, having to go off the water. That was a lot of fun. They're really cool. I loved that the only way for me to kill the one the first time was to like get into an area where he couldn't jump around and dodge me. I had to work myself in a corner, it, you know, it, to put myself in the worst possible situation just to have a chance to hit him. I loved that shit. That was a lot of fun. So, yeah, I'm going to give that. Um, Tibia Mariners. Uh, these guys are actually kind of fun. They're, they're fun. I know it's like, oh, you're fighting them on repeat or whatever. But, no, yeah, they're a good time. I enjoy them. I think they're funny. I think the land boat's cute. Uh, Deathbird. The Deathbirds are fun. I like the Deathbirds. They're kind of freaky. Sometimes, like, you can't really tell what's going on. They're moving so fast kind of a thing. Sometimes there's spells. You're just kind of like, what? Oh, but, um, no, Deathbird's fun. I like the Deathbird. Uh, Round Table Knight Vike. It's a dude. It's a dude. I don't care. It, literally, that's it. It's a dude. I don't care. Okay, so there's Commander O'Neill. Yeah, 
exactly. They were like hitting you with the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab another tissue because my nose is running like you wouldn't believe, and I have to sit here and keep talking. And I feel like I'm gonna fucking spit up a kidney stone. Max, what are you talking about? I don't worry about it. I think one of my tonsils is getting inflamed. I never got my tonsils removed as a kid. It's kind of weird. But I think one of them's inflamed because it's like catching stuff and I have to like keep grabbing stuff out of it. It's disgusting. All right. Um, Kindred or Rot Duo. They're just dudes. I don't care. D. Uh, death Right Bird. We just did the Death Right Bird. Oh, it's a Death Bird versus a Death Right Bird. Eh, they're most the same. I don't know about him because I only met him at his daughter, dead body, and then never have to. <laughs> if they're just dudes, I don't care. That's the rule. Uh, Regal Ancestor Spirit. Uh, where did I put the first Ancestor Spirit? Because they're definitely going together. Was it A? No, no, no. It wasn't A. I, I, think, it was, I think it was B. I think it was B. There it is. Yep. Ancestor Spirit, Regal Ancestor. They're pretty much the same thing. All right. Uh, Commander O'Neill versus Commander Neal. If I remember correctly... This is the, f eh. On one side, they were kind of cool. On the other side, I didn't really care about them. So this is a case of, like, not that I don't care about them, but that they're just kind of in the middle. All right, Beast Clergy and Malekith. I'm going to give you a B because this moveset really annoyed me, but he was very interesting, and I like the Beast Clergyman as a character. So, B. Notice I'm not describing those. Oh, Horlu and Godfrey A. A hundred percent A. Actually, no, S. S. What a great fight. It felt like, you know, what's the Dark Souls representation of fighting a barbarian? Yep, this guy. He was so much fun when he went into wrestler mode, when he was stomping around, when he was summoning the power of his lion. He was badass through and through. That being said, though, Godfrey the First Elden Lord in his, this form... B. It was just a dude with a, it was just a dude with an axe. Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? It wasn't cool. This is where he was cool. This is where he was badass. Eh, this is whatever. Alright. Uh Borealis the Freezing Fog. It's another freaking dragon. Yep, once he went to his WWE form, it was kick ass. Uh let's see. Okay, so we got a bunch of dragons here. Alright, so we have Lich Dragon Fort to set. Okay. Here's what I'll say with this. Okay, so Lich Dragon Fortisax. A. A lot of fun. It was a dragon, but it was different. He fired spells. He did all sorts of things. It was so cool. By the same token, Dragon Lord Blasidious Axe. A lot of, like, the, um, him turning into the smoke cloud and, like, dive bombing your ass. Him with, like, the lightning claws, like, with the two heads and how they, like, cover for each other. Very cool. Very interesting. I've been shitting on dragons this whole time. But, for example, the next one. Actually, wait, hold on. Uh, okay, look at look at all these great great worm Theodorix, great worm Makar, great worm Mim. Okay, so the first one was fun and interesting, and the rest of them just got annoying. And as a result, it kind of brought the rest of them down. Like it's a big dragon thing. It shoots magma, and it's annoying, and it covers the arena. It gets annoying. I don't care. Their ancient dragon Lassiax. This guy did what the Lich Dragon did, and worse. So. <laughs> So, C. I don't care, okay? He, it, it was cool the first time with the Lich. Not all the other times. Uh, Dragonkin Soldier. I'll give you a B. Uh, it's a big dude. Smashy. Sometimes they breathe things. Whatever. You learn you can, like, hang out behind their knee and you'd be pretty much fine. But, eh. Eh. eh not anything to. All right. Uh, Renal the Full Moon. I'm going to give you a full A. It was fun to fight something that would endlessly summon shit against you kind of deal and, like, shoot magic at you and stuff. It was fun. It was also funny that we re learned that we could win just by bullying the shit out of her. But you know what? It was a good time, and I enjoyed it. She was a lot of fun, and her first form was very interesting, too. Having to find the children. It was creepy. The children biting your ankle. I, I, lo I loved it. All right. Oh, Radagon and the Elden Beast. Yeah, S. I'll give that one an S. A hundred percent. That visually, the Elden Beast, visually Radagon, how he was in your face and constant, just unrelenting, 
while the Elden Beast was, like, content to stay in the distance, to throw things at you, to throw the cosmos at you. The visual of it going into the sky. She'll make sure to have bullied class. Um, visually going into the sky and forming the Elden Ring around you kind of a thing. So freaking cool. I love that. They were both such good fights. Notice all these ones. Like, a lot of, lot of good fights at the end. Um, Mog, Lord of Blood. Ah, uh, he was a good time. I really enjoyed him. I'll give him an A. If there's a version that's the little brother, though. Yeah, Mog the Omen. Yeah, that, that one, that one, not anywhere near as cool. D. <coughs> it's a copy. Godfoy the Grafted. I don't remember you, D. Alright, um, uh, Loretta, Knight of the Hallow Tree. Good time. I enjoyed, I enjoyed fighting her. I enjoyed fighting her. B. This one that eh, this one's a copy, but I'm not mad at it, so whatever. Bulls carrying knight. I remember. I think you just a dude. Bloodhound knight Darwill. You were a good time. I enjoyed fighting you. B. All right. Uh, Dragon King soldier of Nestella. It's the same thing, so I don't care. Stone digger troll. I don't care. It's a dude. Uh, Falling Star Beast. Okay, look, the first one was cool. After that, I stopped caring. There you go. Sanguine Noble. It's a dude. And Gideon off near the All Knowing. I'll give him a B. I'll give him a B. All right. Uh, let's go over our list real quick. Real quick. Let's just we're just gonna skim, make sure we're happy with it. Let's try to have at least. Oh no, that's gonna be next. That'll be next. Don't worry, Redus. But, um, sorry, Son. all right, I'll drink water, you fucking, nah. I'm just going through this and just, uh, there you go. okay, that looks nice. All right, okay, so let's try to have a favorite from each Dark Souls game. So who's my favorite from Dark Souls 2? Probably the Pursuer. Probably the Pursuer, yeah. Boobatier demands it. Yeah, Artorias. Uh, Dark Souls 2 did not have as many strong contenders in my eyes, so but the Pursuer does fit that role. And then, yeah, Lady Maria, Germain, Orphan. I love the Nameless King, Sister, Slave Knight, the Abyss Watchers. Oddly enough, you know, the final boss didn't make it in, but these guys were so much more impactful. Loved, 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 loved the final fight. It was so good. And then, yeah, all... Eh? Should I put Star Scourge lower? Nah, I really love those fights. The, all those fights were so good. Uh, Yep, yep, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Yep. Yep. Yep, you're really fun at the end. I just liked you for the silliness of it. Yep, I love the snake. Uh, yep, and yep, okay. B plus. Uh, yeah, this this is... I put the smelter demon at B? Uh, yeah, this is the generally liked. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. This makes sense. This makes... Abhorrent beasts? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, this is making sense. That's more for giggles. The fire giant fight was a lot of fun. And room bears, I like them, but they get old. I like them as a boss. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, this makes sense. These are the ones that admittedly I don't care about. Notice that most of them are dragons. <laughs> yeah, like, eh. Can you show us one right below it? Sure. All right. Uh, Pinwheel, Demon, Stray. Yep, this makes sense. This makes sense. A lot of these are child bosses I don't care about. Oh, look, it's an Ancient Wyvern that I don't care about. Dark Eater, Medir. Actually, I remember liking Dark Eater, Medir. Yeah, I remember him not being too bullshit. Uh, I'll put him in the... I'll put him in B. I'll put him in B. All right. Uh... Okay, Chained Ogre, Cemetery, Dame McQueen, Dame McQueen, Shame. Alright, uh, D. Uh, D, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Notably, no ones that I truly hated. Yeah. No ones that I truly hated on F. Okay, and this one is haven't played or repeats. So some of the ones from like Sekiro were like mostly repeats kind of a thing. And like I never fought Emma, for example. But um and then the rest of them are from Demon Souls kind of a deal. So yeah. And then it's just the So if I was going to I don't think it works doing it this way. Read the names? Oh sure. Um so, Old Monk, King Allant, Vanguard Demon, Dragon God, Red Dragon, Dirty Colossus, Adju Adjudicator, Old Hero, Storm King, Leechmonger, Old King Allant, I think that's what it is, uh, Maiden to Estrella, Blue Dragon, Man Eater, Fool's Idol, Flame Lurker, Armor Spider, Tower Knight, uh, Penetrator, Ha, Phalanx, and uh, I actually remember the Phalanx from when I played. Uh, Primeval Demon, and then the repeats are Inner Genichiro, Inner Father, Inner Ishin, Owl Father, Genichiro, Ashina, Ishin Ashina, and Emma the Gentle Blade. Yeah, it's all it's all the Demon Souls bosses. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this list. Uh, do I do I get to save it? I don't even know why I'm saving it. I just am. All right, Max is from software boss tier list download image there you go his big move was nuts i've i don't got my ps5 i don't remember it or i don't i don't know it all right so next up would be enemies and that would be even more rapid fire but for everyone's benefit let's have some fun Next up it oh shit. Next up is going to be the NPC one. Alright. Uh okay, as you can see, this is one that I made. As you can see, you got waifu plus, waifu minus, S A B C D. Same kind of thing. Let me just add this. Middling slash don't care. Uh, B is plus, A is plus plus, S is, you know, the top, and then you have, okay, so we have waifu plus and waifu minus. Waifu minus is basically, okay, so waifu plus is like, yes, marry me now. Waifu minus is like, maybe I'll go on a date. You know, like, maybe I'll go on a date. Nice girl, maybe show her to your parents. But actually, no, no, no. You, you would not bring her home to your parents. You'd like get smoothies and that's it. Waifu Plus is you take that, you take her to the altar. Like you, you, you take her to the altar. You, you marry her that moment kind of a deal. So there will be a little bit of a hierarchy going down. <laughs> and then we should add one more row. We'll add one more row. We will make this row this color and it will be the same thing of haven't seen slash don't remember <laughs> all right so first off once again demon souls yeah I'm, so, I'm sorry i don't remember anyone from demon souls except for the maiden in black and even then i don't really remember her so just right from the get-go we're just going to remove everyone here hope no one's offended someday we'll play demon souls but it's not going to be this day. We are just going to ignore this shit and just keep the ball rolling. All right. As you can see, my pictures aren't as pretty as the other person's, but fuck it, whatever. It took me forever to make this thing. All right. Alima, the dark word root. Barely remember. B. I just remember it kind of being funny. Dusk of Uh, some bitch. Like, no, she was like the way to get to the DLC. She, some people probably say waifu. I don't really care. Remember. So, uh, B. Uh. Lord Blade Care Lord's Blade Karen. I think she mourned for Artorius. Don't care. Solaire of Astora. Yes. <laughs> like waifu. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Alright. Uh Solaire. Fucking bro. It's a bro. Just meh. Like we could we could do like a we could do a speedwagon situation and say like the best waifu. 
But for now, let's just say S. Guess <laughs> Solaire. Solaire of a star. Love that man. Right up there, Sigmar. Sigmar, get your ass in there. S tier. <laughs> All right. Um, Sieglind of Cataria? I don't remember Sieglind of Catalina. I think I met her in a DLC. I, mean, I think it's a DLC. Ah, let's see. All right. Uh, next up. Dark Stalker Kaith. I remember him being a dick. D. Dumbbell of Zena. Uh, he's a merchant of some kind. Knight's Law Trick of Karim. He was a fun fight, but also a dick that wanted to root Fire Lake Shrine. Fucking D. <laughs> Engi of the Great Swamp. Uh, I think he teaches you pyromancy, so that's going to bring him up to a s D, but he's still creepy. Laurentius of the Great Swamp. He's a good guy. Hey. Should I be explaining these people more? <laughs> Uh, best bro, best bro, DLC, person you meet, mourner, don't remember, merchant, merchant, I think, but also helps you with a covenant, kills the girl Fire Lake Shrine, takes you down the dark path, random thing you meet in the woods, done, moving on, <laughs> undead merchant female, eh, you know, the merchant, eh, you know, the merchants, they're, eh, they're alright, now you're groovy, already at the two and a half hour mark, yep, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta go. Patches, I'll give you a B. I think Patches is funny, even if I don't like him in general. Uh, blacksmith, I like him because he's a blacksmith. Giant Iron, I like him because he's a blacksmith. Yeah, some of them are like all crazy or whatever. Okay, Gwendolyn Icon. I'm pretty sure this is the guy who like... I'm pretty sure this is the Gwendolyn boss. D, because... You want to know why? Because we have Guinevere here. Straight to the waifu. And it turns out she's not real. Y you, your waifu, your waifu ain't real, bro. And he ruins it for me. So fuck that guy. That guy, actually, no, you get to be F tier. You get to join him. You took away my waifu. Because <laughs> he dies in DS3. This is a different giant. <laughs> but, um, no, you take away my waifu. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Guinevere... Is she is the light of our world. She literally shines light on the kingdom of Lothric or whatever the fuck it's called, Lord Rand or whatever in, in the first game. Okay, she's like wonderful and beautiful and great, and she is gigantic. Like, you know, you can't, what's the joke of you can't animate facial expressions, but you can animate huge heaven anime tits? But like, hey, straight to the life here. <laughs> Nico of Thorlund, I remember you being a dick. Elizabeth, you're just a weird mushroom. Andre of Astora, fucking A. <laughs> it's the same giant when you get to enter Londo, you find him dead at his anvil. That's awful. I'm leaving him there. Uh, Marvelous Chester. So the thing with Marvelous Chester is that it's kind of, it was kind of like when Bloodborne came out, it was kind of theorized that Marvelous Chester was from Bloodborne and somehow got teleported there. And he's a creepy motherfucker. D. Uh, Big Hat Logan. Hey, he's 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 all right. He's all right. B B B is good. Oswald of Karn. If I recall correctly, this is the cocky git who you have to like absolve from your prayers from. So D. Uh, Anastria of Astora. Poor girl, just doesn't want to get murdered because she's a firelink shrine person. Blacksmith Rickard of Inham. He's a cool dude. I'll give him B. Oh shit! I just realized. Got to keep our, got to keep our music, got to keep our music going. What do you think? What do you thinking, man? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Uh, Dark Souls One Fire Lake Shrine. I can't believe you, Max. There you go. How dare I? All right, Crossbreed Priscilla Icon. Oh, I don't... Oh, that's why some of them say icon. Because I fucked up when I was copying and pasting. Oh, well. Uh, I'm gonna give her a waifu minus. Like, not the waifu for me. Well, that's because the... That's because the Elden Ring one was quiet. But, um... Crossbreed Priscilla, a lot of people would be like, Oh, it's a waifu material. And she's cute. And I like her. But, you know, I don't, I don't wanna... I don't wanna take her home, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, Kulana of Izalith. I uh, see, I think you can learn like shit from her. Yeah, like the chaos fire shit. 
All right, uh, King Fi uh, King Seeker Fromt. Uh, he, he gets an A. He's a good time. He also like breaks up the the materials you need to upgrade stuff for you, and you can like sell stuff to him. He's he's an alright guy. All right, uh, Petrus of Thorlund. If I remember correctly, he's the one who initially teaches you faith, and he's an all right dude, just kind of shaking in his faith kind of a deal, so I'm going to give you an A. Undead Merchant Male. I'm going to put you right there. Vince of Thorlund. Okay, wait, hold on. Is it Vince? Is it Vince or Petrus? Is it... He's got a face only a mother would love. He looks like he's from Oblivion. But wait, I'll... okay, hold on, hold on. Is, um... Oops. Okay, hold on. Which which is the which is the guy who Petrus is the one who teaches you. Vince is the asshole. So Vince goes to see, I don't give a shit. Um Dark Moon Nidus, I think she yells at you if you like ruin everything. Same with Ingward here. Ignore when it says icon, that's that's a mistake. Okay, Crestfallen Warrior. There's always a guy who's like a downer, and they just annoy me. Okay, like Okay, I get it. For me, it's a video game. For them, it's real life. And, like, they're depressed because the world's going to shit. And, like, everything's awful. And there's monsters everywhere. And when you die, you just come back. So what's the point? But, like, that's a quitter-ass attitude. And Mama didn't raise a bitch. So whenever they're, like, the downer, like, oh, woe is me. My first instinct is to say, fuck them. We're going to go out there. We're going to save the day. All right? We ain't taking this shit lying down. So, you know. So they, they, they get, they get deep. Uh, DS1, Rian of Thorland. I think that's the girl they're trying to protect, and I couldn't give less of a shit about her because she dies immediately. Hawkeye Go. He's a bro. Gets a B. Kulan. Uh, oh, I feel bad. Uh, uh, yeah, A. A. She's just a sad story. Like, you have to kill the Chaos Witch, and then she looks at you and says, like, Sister, are you there? So you, like, feed her humanity, and she gives you shit. So it's meant to be a covenant, but really it's just like you do it because you feel bad. She was always a sad story, so I'm gonna give her an A. Uh, crestfallen merchant. Okay, you're a merchant, so you're a little better than the dickwad, but yeah. Griggs of Vinehem, you're a dick. Shiva of the Last. Who the fuck is Shiva of the Last? Who the who is Shiva? Who is Shiva? Oh, Shiva of the East. Who the heck is Shiva of the East? Sitting next to where Alvina? Eh, I don't give a shit. Let's see. And Dark Souls 1 is done. <laughs> Congratulations, your waifus are as follows. What can I say? There's like only one. Like, okay, you got, like, one or one, one, maybe two. So, you know. So, you know, like, what are you going to do, right? I mean, sorry, like, let's just, let's just, look, I have a type. I'm sorry. All right, moving on. All right, moving on. Grave Warden Agdane. I remember him just kind of being a bummer. Falcon the Outcast, also kind of being a bummer. Millibeth, you meet her at the beginning, you don't care. Strowin. Your speech at the beginning is funny. And I love how you're all condescending and you all kind of make fun of me. At the beginning, you're like, good luck, fucker. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Uh, Stride, you're a dick, but you do boss weapon stuff. So that, that knocks you up to a C. Like, but you're like, actually, no, I'm going to give you a B. Just because you're like, can you handle my power? It's just like a gargoyle axe. And you're like, yeah, I think I can handle your power. Okay, uh, Milfinito, you have to, like, save her or some shit, and I barely remember anything about her. Stone Trader. Uh, I remember her being sassy, and I kind of liked her for that, but I don't know if I'd, I, I wouldn't necessarily take her home or anything. I'm sure a bunch of people would. She sits there in a revealing dress playing with rocks and bones and stuff, but, eh. Nishandra. Nishandra's a bitch. She's the final boss. She ruined the kingdom. If you get near her while in her human form, she literally applies curse on you. Fuck you. Uh, Dina and Tilo, if I remember correctly, those are the two crows. They get A+. Plus. They're adorable. Uh, Blue Sentinel Targray, uh, you're the Blue Sentinel people. You're chill. Gavion, 
if I remember correct, or Gavlan, Gavlan's a bro. Gavlin says you like you will you deal and like he trades with you. He's a good time. King Vendrick, I barely remember anything about you. Uh, oh god, there's a bunch of these now that I have to look at. Yeah, if you thought like me trying to remember bosses was bad, get ready for me trying to remember NPCs. But don't worry, I got a list. Bellkeeper, uh, kind of funny, but didn't give a shit. It's basically the Bellkeeper Covenant. Man Scorpion Tark. Oh, God. I remember the lore with him that, like, he essentially gave a gift to the one scorpion girl, and it went in and she went insane and refused to take it off, and he lost her. So it was like a story of sadness. I want to say you can summon him to help kill her. Kind of a sad story. Uh, Weaponsmith Artifacts. Hey, be also a boss weapon, dude. Uh, Dark Diver Grinnell. You're just an old man in a chair. Head of Vengarl. You get an A. Literally, you're in this forest, and you just find this head cut off. Just this random-ass head cut off in the woods. And at first, he's like, oh, and, you know, you talk to him, he's like, you know, at first, I was, like, really stressed out about this. And I was like, this is awful and bad and what a hell. And then I just kind of stopped because I realized my whole life was just about fighting and murder and just suffering and endless anguish. And I just started listening to the trees, the sky, the sun, the birds, and I feel peace. My body's out there somewhere, but if anything, I feel pity for it. Now as I could just enjoy nature. <laughs> enjoy nature. And then he asks you to go put down his body. It's great. All right, Max, I did for my Monday night Minecraft gathering. I hope the rest of the stream... Oh, it's all good. Well, thanks so much for coming, man. Sorry if I spoiled some bosses and stuff for you. But yeah, it was good to have you. Thanks so much for stopping by. You'll have to check back later to see where we are on the waifu scale. So, you know. But yeah, thanks so much for coming. Yeah, the head of Vengarl. I might move him up to S. Like, nah, it's all good. Yeah. Uh, we'll be doing Resident Evil 8 then, so. Yeah, he, I might move him up to S. He was just, he was a fascinating character to talk to. Alright, uh, Ben Hart of Hugo, he's a bro. Laddersmith Gilligan, uh, this guy, he was kind of up there with Gavlin, but this guy was also, like, ripping you off the whole time. And he kind of admitted it, which is funny. Uh, mild-mannered Pate, he ended up being a weird, creepy traitor, so D. Chancellor Wellager, I don't remember. Rosabeth of Melfia. She's definitely among the waifu, but, like, she doesn't really do anything. <laughs> She's literally just your dress-up doll. Like, you you help unpetrify her, and then she just, you play dress-up with her. Lucatiel would be much more of a waifu than her, but even then, I don't remember that much about Lucatiel. Other than that, she just didn't want her name forgotten kind of a deal. And it's kind of hard to justify putting her in the waifu corner when fucking Shinata or Shinalit, Shabalit. I just called her the Emerald Herald. Um, how do you actually spell her name? How do you actually spell Shinalit? Shinal, yeah, yeah. How how can you justify her when Shinalit exists? She's so great. Just talk. I know. I know. She eventually devolves into Bear Seek Seek Lest. But definitely, definitely better as a waifu. Uh, let's see. Merchant Hag. It's a Merchant Hag. Captain Drummond. I remember nothing about you. Kale the Cartographer. He's a good guy. He's just trying to... He's just trying to make the world a better place by mapping and it's constantly shifting. While Li Okay, so Lycia rips you off while she teaches you <laughs> incantations, which is funny, even though a lot of people hate her for it. I think it's hilarious. So is that. I just realized I sh should have left the scene. There you go. All right, um, ship up, ship up, okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, Crestfallen Soldier, same kind of thing. Straight to D. Sweet Shalkior. Uh, you get to go in the A-plus column. I'm going to keep wiping my nose. Because my nose is dripping. That cat was so funny to talk to. And she'd sell you weird stuff. Like, I I liked her a lot. She was a lot of fun. All right. Um, Ancient Dragon. 
It was kind of interesting to talk to him, but. I like the cat. All right. Uh, Royal Sorcerer Navlan. I don't remember, and I don't care. Uh, Mog Moglin the Armor. I'm going to put him as an A. It was really cool seeing his inventory grow, but it was kind of sad to see him, like, turn all cocky near the end, where he was just be like, oh, yes, no, don't worry. I have plenty of customers. Felt like it had to do something. Well, you yeah, know, join the discussion, but I get it. I am going pretty quick. Uh, Carhillen of the Fold, I don't remember and I don't care. Uh, blacksmith, I like I like him as a blacksmith. He's, he's a good bro. Actually, no, he has a good personality, so yeah, I'm going to put him in A. Uh, I love it, he's like, just watch over my daughter. And then you actually meet the daughter, and he's like, oh, there she is. Just rah, rah, rah. He's just like a doting old father, and I love that. Um, okay, I'll say Silent Oracle. I don't, I don't remember. Or Alsana Silent Oracle. I don't remember you. Uh, is an NPC guard the entrance to Old Chaos in the Crown of the Ivory King DLC. She is at the Grand Cathedral. To reach her, you must have you must have up to 50 Lois Souls. Uh, that she is a shard of a soul man. It's just like Nishandra has also found herself a powerful king to cling to. I don't care. I could buy, and then it would depend on how useful items they had were to me. Yeah, that's why we're going through a lot of these really quickly. Because a lot of these were just kind of like, eh, they existed. Uh, like, for example, Steady Hand McDuff. I don't remember who this guy is. Oh my goodness, he's the only blacksmith in the game that can infuse equipment. Eh, I kind of remember you being a bro. B. Uh, Creighton the Wanderer? Okay, I don't remember Titchy Gren, and I don't remember... Okay, Magrold of Lanafir was basically a merchant that was kind of cool, so B. Uh, the Rat King was funny to talk to. I remember how oddly polite he was. He didn't even mind that you killed a lot of his brethren. Uh, that's right. Titchy Gren is the person who who tells you to start invading people. D for being a dick. Uh, Creighton the Wanderer. Where is Creighton the Wanderer? Okay. Let's see. He's a wandering sorcerer from the land of Mirror who is tricked and is found locked in a jail cell. Upon freedom, he will tell you who he is and what his goals for revenge are. He moves around the country in search of the man who backstabbed him. Wasn't he the guy who like got screwed over by the bone man or whatever? B. And Cromwell the Pardoner. D for being a dick. <laughs> ah, sorry. Ah, I apologize. All right. Let's keep the part we're going. Because now, just like that, zippity zip, we're done. We're on Dark Souls 3 now. Now my nose. All right. Yep, we are on Dark Souls 3. All right, so first off, Hawkwood, once again, he's the Downtron soldier. So I don't give a shit. Uh, <gasps> Pickle P, Rumpa Pump. So. Straight to A. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Gret Rat of the Undead Settlement. I remember him being just like this absolute bro to you. And then he dies being a bro to you. Uh, Comics of the Great Swamp. Not really. Oh, no. I think he was the one who kept telling you that like. You know, or Cornix of the Great Swamp. Like, you know, life is a never ending journey of learning. I really like that. Unbreakable Patches. I don't care. It's Patches. It's freaking Patches. Yol, okay, Yol of Londor, right? Yol of Londor, who would offer you free levels, and then you learned that by getting those levels, you fucked yourself over permanently and turned hollow, and it was awful. D for lying to me and tricking me. Adjudicator Argo, I have no memory of you. Blacksmith Andre, straight to A. <laughs> Just completely straight to A. Every time he's like, take care of yourself. Loved him. A uh, shrine handmaiden. She was nice. She, she, she was nice in general. Hold on. Size a little loud. So you have to straight to B. A uh, company captain Morshka. I don't remember anything about you. A uh, giant of the undead settlement. He was a bro. B. 
Firekeeper, straight to that waifu column. Filianor, I don't think she was a real person. She was just kind of one of the boss with uh, Slave Knight Gale. Sirius of the Sunless Realms, I have no memory of you. Slave Knight Gale, uh, B or A, because he was a genuinely nice guy who just wanted to help, so A. Corvian Settler, I have no memory about you. Sir Wilhelm, I remember you being a dick. And being like, just leave already. I liked you for that. Yuria of Londor, you scare me. But if you're trying to get the human ending, apparently she's cool. But she's also scary. <laughs> Rosaria, mother of her birth, creepy. D. Painting woman, freaking adorable. She was just this kid, just painting a world into existence. That was cute. Uh, let's see. Arena of Karim. I have no memory of you. So, B. Uh, Arcticon McDonald. You're kind of big creepy. Uh, Holy Knight Hodrick. Were you the one that was a bro? Okay, because uh, Velka the Goddess of Sin. I remember. I think you're actually just a statue of of that. Old Knight of Pharaon. You're literally just a wolf. I remember it was. Yeah, it was Henri of Astora. Henri of Astora who hung out with Horus and I remember at the end they both went insane and it was so sad because they were both such like cool characters uh Ludith of Kurland okay so the guy who actually like made boss weapons he was cool I liked him he was a good guy all those little Ludith the worshiper or whatever I don't care they're creepy Sister Freed goes straight to A, because I love how she tells you to eat shit and get out. And then she follows it up. Emma, I have no memory of you, so see. Yuria of Londor, I have no memory of you, so see. <laughs> Carla, I have no memory of you. Uh, Leonhard. Why do I feel like I should know Leonhard? Why do I feel like I should know Leonhard? Why do I feel like that? Introduces players to PvP. Crested Rex of Rosaria, Mother of Rebirth. Ah, so you're a dick. D. Locust Preacher. D. Igon of... Aren't you the one that like tells me to fuck off? After freeing Arena of Karim from her cell, Iga will become allied with you. If you kill Arena of Karim, a fire league, he will show up where you, there when you return hostile. If you aggro him from anyone interested. Who's Arena? Oh, that's right. She's the... Wait, 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 wait. I just quickly read something. Sells miracles. See, I'm soul below. Teaches a prayer gesture. Accepts all divine tones, but her quest line will vary accordingly. Purchasing any dark miracles from her causes her to fall in darkness to be taken away by Aegon of Karn to be protected from you. Purchasing all dark miracles causes her to stop being a vendor initiates a gloomy dialogue. If you speak with her while equipping more gone, she will have more things to say. Um. Uh. Uh. Yes, basically she just goes down a dark path if you use her like a vendor. What the heck? Oh, Carla teaches you dark miracles. Okay, so... Hold on, there. Anyway, okay, that's kind, of, that's kind of a bro move. All right, I like you. All right, Sigurd! Yep. <laughs> Straight there. And Holy Knight Hendrick. Okay, do I do I remember Holy Knight Hendrick? Nope. Nope. Do I remember Holy Knight Hendrick? Uh. Hold on a second. Uh oh, Hodrick. Holy Knight Hodrick. Were you the one who would tell me to? Uh. I don't remember anything about you. And C. Well, I feel like we were productive here. <laughs> Alright, next up is Bloodborne. That's Sekra. Try again next. Bloodborne Hunter. 
Hunter's Dream theme. There you go. All right. Next up, Afflicted Beggar. F for being a dick. Yosofka. Um, kind of. Okay. I remember you being nice and helpful, and then like the fake one kicks in and like ruins your life. So the fake one gets an F, actually a D. Yeah, because like the fake one, she like kills the f real one. And there's like some specific quest to like know which one is which, but I was always really bad at it. So I'm just gonna pretend I like totally knew what it was and just you know. Uh, the doll straight to waifu tier, <laughs> even though really, okay. Hold on, where is it? Where is it? Uh, there it is. Really, the doll is waifu tier because Lady Maria, I have a type. <laughs> this is waifu plus. It's a simple matter of it. Valtier, Master of the League. I remember him being a bro. I remember him being a pretty, pretty good bro. All things considered. Like, he, he was cool. He just wanted to kill people that were bad. Old lon Lonely Old Deer is... Adorable. Madman Waller. Messengers. Straight to S. My little children. Look at them. They're so cute. Alfred Hunter of Isle Bloods. I remember him being cool. Uh, Simon the Harrowed. I have no memory. Gilbert. Uh, I have no memory except that like once you're done helping him, he turns into a monster. Sister Adela. I remember Sister Adela being like really nice. Am I remembering Sister Adela correctly? Am I, am I, am I not remembering Sister Odella? Okay, hold on. World information. NPCs. None of the healing church. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, she gives you, like, this very specific blood. Uh. Let's see. Uh. The Yusufka or Fakest Yusufka? Wasn't Yusufka... Let's see. Uh... That's right, because, yeah, Yusufka, once she's evil, like, she encourages people to come to her clinic and, like, kills them, so... F. Brador Church Assassin? Okay, you get a D, but... Retired Hunter Jura gets a B because that's the guy at the minigun and it's hilarious. Fishing Hamlet Priest, I don't care. Narrow-minded Man, I don't care. Patches of Spider, I straight to F because he's a spider. Jermaine the First Hunter, I think is like really interesting as a character, so A. Gatekeeper, I don't even know why I included the Gatekeeper. Saint Adeline, kind of funny because she just wanted to be like transformed and then before you know she's like this blob on the ground and you're like, have I really done a good deed? So it's kind of funny. Mikalash gets B because I think he's funny. Ariana, woman of pleasure. I remember her actually being pretty cool. Like, and we're like really helpful. Annalise, queen of the vile bloods. Uh, I'm not a vile blood, so D. Simple Gradia, I have no memory of you. Eileen the crow. I remember being a badass. And I never got, I was never able to like do the quest that make it so you could get her weapons and stuff. Okay, young girl gets A+. Plus. Because her quest is sad. And Odin Chapel Dweller. This guy who like looks really creepy. But genuinely wants to help. As opposed to. Isofka and the afflicted beggar. Who just kill everyone. I, he looks so unbelievably suspicious. But by the same token. He's sitting there like. Hey I just want to help people. And he does. He genuinely just wants to help people. And I really appreciate that. Wow we burned through that. We're, we're picking up speed. Also because we've already gone almost three hours, so I'm mentally picking up speed. But yeah, like, it's weird to put the doll up there because it's basically Lady Maria. <laughs> it's Lady Maria is what we're going for in terms of waifus, so we're just gonna keep, uh, we're just not gonna address that. We're just gonna click a dick and keep the party rolling. All right, so, Sekiro, a lot of these are copies, so here you go. Anyama, don't care. Fujiro the Info Broker. I remember him kind of being a bro. Uh, sec Okay, Nogama Gensai. I think that was one of the vendors. There's a lot of these that are just straight up vendors. Like, um, the Toxic Memorial Mob. Uh, 
This memorial mob. This memorial mob. Uh, okay, so oddly enough, I actually put Sekiro as a character, and I want to make him an S. And I know that's weird because he's you, but I want to put him as an S because it's nice in a Dark Souls game to not play a self-insert. It's nice to play someone that has some agency, some purpose, and is his own actual character. So for that reason, S tier. 100%. Uh, Sekiro Sculptor, on the other hand, is... Eh, no, he helps you out a lot. Okay, fine, A. I was going to say low because he's a dick, but... So Inosuke Nagami's mother. I think I have that one twice, and I'm not sure why. So that might have been error. Dojun gets straight to F because he just wants to experiment on people. Including Jinzei Kumano, I think his name is. Who's an absolute bro, so A. Uh, the Noble Pot. There's a few different Noble Pots. I don't remember which one's which. But I remember them all just kind of being like, please give me some scales so I can become as the fish. And you're just like, all right. And then he actually becomes the fish. And you're like, whoa. Uh, Black Hat Badger. I kind of remember him being cool. Hanbei the Undying is definitely a bro. Like, he just wants to be of help kind of a thing. And so you get to murder him. Uh, divine. Okay, Emma. Emma goes to the waifu tier. And Kuro the Divine Heir goes to S. He is adorable and I love him. Meanwhile, the Divine Child of Rejuvenation is eerie and scary. So you get to be a B. <laughs> Yeah, Kuro. Kuro's just such a... God, he is handling everything so well. The owl... Kind of like the same reason as playing Sekiro. The owl as a character is just intriguing. He's so interesting. Same with Genichiro. Like, I put Genichiro and I put Ishin all in here because... There it is. Like, when you give him booze and stuff, he's just an interesting character. And how, in many ways, they're not even necessarily the villain. You could look at what they're doing and make an argument that, like, they just want their mortality so they can save Japan. And you're the asshole. <laughs> but, um, I, you know, it's kind of interesting to see what devotion to your country and what, like, you know, being pushed to that level can do to someone when it's taken the wrong way kind of a thing. And they're, I just think these are very interesting characters. Even though the owl's kind of a dick, it's still interesting. Uh, Head Priest of Mew Village, I don't... Exiled Memorial Mob, it's a, it's a memorial mob. Daughters of the Carp Attendant, I, uh, Master of Senpus, uh, actually I remember you being kind of creepy and killing you. Old Hag, B, because it's adorable. Uh, Crow's Bed Memorial, meh. Uh, Kotaro, who just wants, like, I, think, I forget if you, like, lead him home or what, but I don't really remember and I don't really care. Tengu, I never did the secondary tengu stuff so maybe i'm lame i don't know in osake i have no memory illusion hall monk yeah he kind of talked to the mechanics he's kind of interesting old priestess yeah. great carpet basket wearer yep there you go and boom and we're back to elden ring like i said we are just speeding along now all right so War Counselor EG. Freaking bro. Love that guy. Master Lusat. I don't really care. Dung Eater. Straight to F. <laughs> Hiata. Straight to F. She just wants to eat eyeballs and go insane. Jarbjarn. Freaking. Nah, I'm going to I'm gonna put him in a, an A. He is so cute. He just wants to do his best because he was so cute. I loved him. All right. Uh, Preceptor Solvis. Straight to F. He's a dick. Nefeli Lu. Straight to waifu material. <laughs> Gatekeeper, Gatekeeper Gastok. Uh, you get better, but you're still a dick. Iron Fist Alexander. The bro. Gideon Offnir. Uh, I, I think he's an interesting character, but he's also an asshole, so B. Twin Maiden Husks. Uh, it's a... It's a uh, Melina. Straight to the waifu. <laughs> She's a really interesting character as well. Uh, Shabriri, straight to, straight to F. Uh, the Great Jar, it's, uh, it's cool, but it's not really anything, like, specific. Dallos, he's a bro. He's just trying his best. 
Garank Beast Clergyman. I liked him a lot. So, hey, even though his boss fight got kind of annoying, I still liked him a lot. Thops, eh, poor guy. Ensha, dick. Pretty a carrion servant, I don't remember you. Blackguard Big Bogart, you're, you're a dick, but like then I love how you're like, mm, never met anyone, never met a good soul who didn't like. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny, so B. Queen America, I don't think we ever really met her, so I'm just gonna put her in the C. Albus, hey, he's just, he just find my daughter. Millicent, straight to waifu. <laughs> Finger readers, creepy. The three fingers, asshole. <laughs> Primeval sorcerer Zer, I don't know or don't care. Gold mask, uh, that guy is going straight to A plus, or A. Or D, or uh, D. Hunter of the Dead, I don't really like you. Just like, hold on, where's where's your where's your where where's and okay, lieutenant lieutenant get lieutenant gets an A. Lieutenant's cool. Uh, Roger. Ro Roger's a bro. I like, I like, I like Roger. I just realized my voice is changing. I don't know how I'm doing this. White mask var. Uh, he's a dick. Kenneth Height. He's, 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 Okay, look, the guy's a little full of himself. He's not bad. The nomadic merchants. Uh, all of them get a B. I love their personality. I love how they all have a slight personality. Arena. I don't know you, and you die immediately, then I feel bad. Edgar. I was about to say. Patches, you're still good at C. Lion of the Lionhearted, I don't care, and you have this weird attachment towards Fia. Okay, so Fia I actually do like, but she's got some weird things going on. Like, I'm glad I didn't do her quest. Roderica, okay, I don't know if I'd make... Okay, I guess we're putting her up there. Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, you creep me out. C. <laughs> Muriel, Pastor of Vows. Okay, uh, you're going straight to A. <laughs> Witch Hunter Jaren, you're a dick. Smithy Master Hoog, straight to A, my man. Is there like a... Oh, no, that's just like his, uh, his fingers. Oh, okay. Tanith, I think you're interesting, but you're weird. So, see you go. <laughs> Enya, I like that Enya... Well, it basically goes like, it would be a carnal sin and never do it, but if you were going to destroy the world, this is how you would do it. And I think that's hilarious. Merchant Kale. Okay, Merchant Kale's a bro. He gets to be an A. Where's Blyde on this list? Fucking Blyde! All right, Blyde gets to be an A. A or, no, Blyde, yeah, Blyde gets an A. Uh, Blyde gets S. Rhea. Apparently, there's like a quest to like help her turn to a snake. Yeah, now she just seemed like an all right person. Bok the Seamster, I feel so bad for killing you. You get to be A, you adorable, precious thing. Gowry, okay, you wanted you wanted Millicent to turn into a fuck or whatever, so you get to fall in a ditch. D's twin brother, uh, you get to be straight. You go straight to D, because that's your name. Brother Corin, I, I kind of like you, but you're a pushover, and you don't really... It's an interesting thing that, like, he wants to record what Gold Mask does, because he's convinced it's better for the Order... And then he gets, like, his mind is blown when he realizes that Gold Mask is thinking of doing the unspeakable, improving the order. Like, I remember um, my sister Anne was, like, asking about the story of Elden Ring. I was kind of explaining it. And, um, you know, like, what Gold Mask does is effectively adding books of the Bible. But since it's not really a Bible so much as just, like, the order's rules, it's not really something. But it's so unheard of, it might as well be. And I think that's interesting. So, And he kind of, like, doesn't know what to do with himself. Ranny the Witch, okay. This is going to be controversial considering I did her ending, but I think Melina is a better waifu than Ranny. Bloody Finger, Hunter Yura, uh, you go straight, straight to S. Oop, I lost it. Oh, shit, where'd he go? We, 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 can't, we can't abandon him. Not our bro. Not like this. Max... He should be in yellow. Just look for yellow. At good point. There he is. Uh, straight to S. Knight Bernal. Ah, uh, he's just a dude, and then he helped you with the thing, whatever. 
Isolated merchants. Okay, so these are just all the merchants. They, they, they get to be. All right, and now we go down the list. <laughs> that one was a lot more speed up. Okay, so... Max, they can't all be your waifu. Actually, there's about one for each game, with the exception of Elden Ring, which generated four, and I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> and, um... I'm going to move Rodrika down to there. But, uh, yeah. Now, if you're like, Max, hold a gun to your head, pick one. I, I would definitely... Pff, Millicent or Melina. There's this joke I saw online that was basically like... Like, man, that girl has so many red flags about her. Lucky for her, red is my favorite color. <laughs> and I loved that joke, to you know. I, th I thought it was hilarious. Who's the one you were just moving? Uh, Millicent. So, uh oh. I don't know. They're both up there. I think if you had, like, if you were, like, gun to head pick one. Ah. Uh, See, ultimately, I like Nefeli a lot, but she has some daddy issues. And I am a big fan of abs, but you know they both have them because they're also both fighters. So I'm probably going to move Nefeli down. And it's between you two, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Meanwhile, like, oh, sure, you can, you can take these to dinner or whatever, but, you know, these are the real waifus. And y'all can fight me on that. These guys are abs. Okay, I know these two are basically the same person, but absolute bros. All right, uh, these guys are just, you know, they're like they're your, they're your best friends. They're they're gonna take you through the through the end. They're gonna they're your they're gonna help you all the way. I put Randy the Witch in plus over Millicent. Get the fuck out! <laughs> I'm kidding. Now that that's I mean that, that that's a personal part. Okay, I think Randy as a character is more interesting, but like overall, I like Millicent more. Just in general. Like, I get Randy is like, oh, she's the one that, you know, I did her ending because it made the most sense. Even though in hindsight, I probably should have done Gold Mask's ending. But that being said, her problem with just about everything was just to fuck off. Then they're fighting words there, boy. <laughs> but seriously, Randy's answer for everything is just to fuck off. She didn't want to deal with having the rune. So she just went into a new body and left it. She didn't want, like, the mark of death or whatever it was. So she went in a new body and left it. She did, Like, she's ruling over these people, but she thinks the gods are better just leaving them alone. So she leaves. Like, it's like her way to solve problems is to avoid it. While Melina and Millicent, both of them have a common theme of confronting their problems head on and choosing how they're going to die. Like, Millicent says, like, you know, at the end, I'm still going to slowly become, I'm going to slowly become this whatever Scarlet Bloom thing, so I choose to die as myself kind of a thing. I was like, holy shit, she settled her affairs and died. And Melina is like, look, I know I have to burn to be the fuel for the, for the, the Elden Tree or whatever, so you better choose right, and you better do the right thing, okay, because the world rests on you, and then she, she burns. Well, a core lady is a give is a given plus. A core lady. Oh, the uh, uh, bear seek seek less. A hundred percent, she she is. I really like Nefeli, and I'm glad that Nefeli lives by the end. But you kind of get the impression she's not. She's too focused on her own thing. She's not interested in a relationship. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, the rest of these I'd say are fine. Look, I'm sorry. I I have I have a type. And Lady Maria could break me in half, and I'm okay with that. Who's the Accord Lady? Oh, Melina. She offers you an Accord. Uh, yeah, she's a, she's a... So she gives you a car. Uh, meanwhile, these guys are like your best bros. Unfortunately, Dark Souls 2 doesn't really have that many best bros. I mean, okay, on, I'd, I'd put Henri. I'd put Henri there. I, I loved it whenever I saw her. Horus, not as much, but still. Um, let's see. Any bros from Bloodborne? Ah, uh, Eileen, Alfred, not as much. No, 
And Sekiro, yeah, this makes sense. Uh, any more bros from Elden Ring? Not really, honestly. No, I'm pretty happy about that. And then these guys, they're all right. I, I think some of them are funny or some of them are whatever. Uh, these guys I just honestly didn't care about. Nope. Uh, and these guys are all dicks or quitters. And these guys suck. Boom. Saving this shit. Max is... Oh. Max is NPC from software list. Alright. And done. And with that... We have one more. Unfortunately, this is the long one. This is the long one. So, so we are going to rapid fire this shit because this is a lot more emotionally exhausting than I thought it would be. So, add a row below. Uh, what did we label the other ones? Haven't seen, don't remember. Haven't seen, don't remember. Okay, there we go. So, we have... This is going to be done with kind of the same logic as the... Uh, as with the bosses. This point of this list isn't necessarily which ones are the hardest or which ones are the... Um, yeah, the point of this list isn't necessarily which one is the hardest or which ones are the... Uh, like, most well-designed. Just which ones did I have the most fun fighting. But now... What have I done? But now you have this odd. Okay, see before. Okay, how do I say this? Bef What's this list? This list is just enemies. Is just basic bitch enemies. All right, that's right. We gotta do this. Oops. So this one's going to be very rapid fire. The one thing I just want to note, though, is that a lot of the enemies in the previous list, we gave bad marks because they were just dudes. Well, now they're now they're all just dudes. Each and every one of them are just dudes. So that justification isn't there anymore. All right. Uh, first things first, we once again just need to get rid of demon souls. A lot of the Demon Souls enemies surprised me because, like, a lot, like, fat official. And a lot of them are just straight up, like, things from, I mean, there's a mind flayer. It's like straight up just D&D. &D. But, oh, and also, this tier. This tier is very important, and we're going to find the first thing that goes in this tier. It's the Basilisk. That's right. Adorable is where we put the cuties. Things that I just can't get mad at. I, I think they're just lovely. It doesn't even mean I like fighting them. I just think they're cute. I think the Basilisk is just cute. I, I really do. Alright, so. Pinwheel. D. They are incredibly annoying to fight. And it sucks whenever they kill you. Tree Lizard. Uh, B. I think they're kind of cool. Skeleton Baby. B. Because it's hilarious. Abyss Guard. What the fuck is an abyss guard? <laughs> what the f what the fuck? What the fuck is an abyss guard? I don't even remember what an abyss guard is. What the fuck are you? Luckily for you guys, I took pictures of just about all of them. Check this shit out. Enhance. Enhance. Man, I have no memory. What the fuck is an abyss guard? What? Abyss guard. Bloodhead sorcerer, also known as abyss guards. Yep, there we go. Alright, those guys are dicks. Those guys were dicks and they were hard to kill, but I love their design visually. B. Chaos bugs, straight F. They ruin our they ruin our main man. Flaming attack dogs, D. 
D. Dogs are the worst. I'm sorry they just are. Moonlit Butterfly. You're just a boss, but smaller. Hollow. I like you guys because you're small and cute. Torch Hollow. You, you guys are hilarious. It's always funny when you kill me. Burning Rock Worm. I don't care. It's a worm. Engorged Hollow. Creepy. Great Stone Knight. I, I like seeing you guys every now and then. It's always like kind of intimidating. I'm going to put you in A. Minor Capra Demon. B, you guys got annoying after a while. Serpent Mage. I think visually the snake things are actually like kind of cool, even though the place certain kind of sucks. Triant Garner. You're just dudes. Nice. Ents. I like how they ran forward and they would be like, and they like try to hug you and stuff, but like they're actually really easy to kill if you catch them. Chain Prisoner. It's a, it's, it's a thing. Eh. Wisp. They're annoying. Hollow Warrior. I like the basic warriors. You know what I mean? Minor Taurus Demon. I'm actually putting you both in the sea for not giving a shit. Silver Knights. Fucking S. Yeah, okay, this is going to sound dumb. I actually really like fighting the Silver Knights. And um, when the Black Knights come up, I'm going to say the same thing. I actually really liked fighting them. Even when they were like the giant arrows. Even when they are like the giant arrow ones that would like hit you from across the map and make it so you'd fall off the platforms, I still love them. No, that's good. No, Craig spiders, they're creepy. D, undead attack dog. D, Baldor knight. This is the same kind of thing. Like, I have an appreciation for just nice, solid, basic enemies. You know what I mean? Like that. That. that that's just a me thing. Can I like move you? But if I like just move you, yeah, let's just save everyone some trouble. Let's just let's just move you all the way up like that. There you go. Yeah. So okay. DS one skeleton. I like the skeletons. I think they're funny. I love how they parry you. Infested barbarians. You guys were annoying. Painting guardians. You guys actually had like a good amount of variety to their attacks. Slimes straight to D. Craig spider again. Even though I think I may have already. I may have reused the same name twice. They're weird and creepy. Middling. Undead Crystal Archer. Eh, you guys got kind of annoying. Giant Cat. It was kind of funny seeing them roll around. Small Mushroom People. Adorable. <laughs> Crow Demon. Kind of scary and really jarring when they attacked you. Large Mushroom People. Adorable. <laughs> Infested Ghoul. Fuck you because you're in whatchamacallit Blight Town. Frog Ray. These, these guys are cute. You, like, barely see them. They're cute. Infested Barbarian Club. Uh, straight to D for being annoyed. Ulusil Resident. I like the Ulusil Residents. I think, like, they're bloodborne and they're creepy. I think they're really cool. Ghosts. Okay, so I hate the ghosts because you have to have an item, but I love them visually. And the game kind of sets you up with that expectation. So I'm going to give them an A. Well, Banshees, I'm going to give a B. Parasitic wall hugger. I hate these things because they make mosquitoes. Undead crystal soldier. Okay, visually they're very cool. Crystal golem. I like their move set. Giant humanity. I like how these guys they have like a cool look to them. I think they're neat. Should I stop doing the announcer voice? Okay. Uh, Baldur knight archer. Uh, this I guess same thing with the Baldur knight. Undead mage. Uh, Mindling. Pinwheel servant. Nah, okay. Snow rat. Creepy, but kind of cool. Large rats. Uh, I'm more okay with rats than dogs, weirdly enough. Giant mosquitoes. D. Stone demons. D. Pasaka. These guys are cool. Undead soldier sword. Uh, B. Giant skeleton archer. See, okay, they're fine when they're normal, but when they're giant, it feels like it, it feels like the, the bit's been done. Blow dart sniper. F. Man Serpent B. <laughs> Possessed Tree. These things were just kind of weird, but cool. Vagrant. Apparently this happened if you invaded. I, I don't really remember seeing them. Drake. Uh, these guys got annoying. Especially when you had to grind and kill a lot of them like I had to. They get real old real quick. D. <laughs> Black Knight. You go straight to S. Wing da ling da ding da ding fing shing sing ding bugging. Uh, Begin, begin, you guys are annoying. Crystal Knight. These guys are cool. B. Small Rats. B. 
phalanx. I actually kind of think the, the goo phalanx things are cool, not gonna lie, so. Bone tower, eh, creepy, don't care. Giant skeleton, eh, don't care. Stone guardian, oh, you get, you get to go to, you guys are fun, hey. Dark Wraith Knight, straight to S. Those guys were so cool, they dropped cool shit. Man Eater Shell, I think they're cool. Crystal Lizard, you're adorable. Undead Soldier Spear, B. Giant Leech, straight to D. Royal Sen, okay, the Channeler, the Channeler gets an A because I like how they kind of run away from you and they have the funny dance. But Sentinel gets a B because I like, I like how they're big and stuff. Massive Souls, I don't remember seeing that one either. Bounding Demon, okay, so these are the ones that were literally just like legs that jumped in the lava. They were cool enough visually that I'll put them in mid lane, but really they should be in D. Vile Maggot, straight to F. That's why we're, we're moving fast. Mimic. Oh, the Mimic goes straight to A. Giants. It's a giant. Egg Carrier, straight to F. And that's Dark Souls 1. Just going to close this window now. Yeah. There's a lot. All right, now for Dark Souls 2. Skeletons live in B. Ogre goes to D because these guys are just weirdly annoying. Abandoned Hollow, it's a hollow. The Barrel Carriers were funny though. Uh, Sanctum Soldier, I remember you guys being really annoying because you had poison. I don't remember anything about the Astrologist. Desert Sorceress goes up to A. <laughs> they need to be a buff mimic that would deck you. Okay, now I know everyone's gonna make fun of me for putting the desert sorceress up to A, but really, I just like them. Like, okay, I say I like them visually, and it's like, well, Max, just because you like boobs. No, it was just funny to have one just out of nowhere, like slap the shit out of you, or like hit you with its fan, or like it would just be far away and it would like do like the kiss while leaning over, and all of a sudden this firestorm would come down. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and like it says in the description, like the people who are distracted by their clothes are they you know, are like fooled into its feminine wiles and then they die like everyone knows it's in the lore everyone knows the desert sorceresses will kill them and they don't care and i think that's hilarious so yeah a uh rampart soldier and uh, soldier imperfect uh you go to d because you guys were annoying as shit forlorn i actually really like the forlorn i thought the forlorn were kind of cool <laughs> Wall Specter, you're, you're annoying, I don't care. Hollow Primal Knight, okay, it was cool to see an elephant, but it was also just kind of like, why? What the fuck is this? <sighs> yes. Frozen Reindeer, I don't even remember why there's Frozen Reindeer. Hammersmiths, they're just big fat dudes. Hide Knights, okay, these guys actually go up to A. The Hide Knights were cool. Once again, an enemy with a like an odd, unique move set. <sighs> I liked for a lot of the game how they would just sit there until you bug them and they kick the shit out of you. I thought they were great. Hunting Dog goes straight to D for dog. Dragon Acolyte. You guys actually have really cool armor, and I thought the way you fought was cool, and I like how you had magical attacks. Rampart Golem. I don't remember anything about you. I don't care. Bane Digger. These guys were funny. Just on the grounds of you're the big guy going, Mer! and then they got this little thing on top, just like throwing arrows. I always thought it was funny. Undead Crypt Knight. I don't remember anything about you. Probably Magus. You're, you're, you pretend to be a boss. Necromancer. You're, you're annoying. Nimble Shadow. Okay, these guys are actually really cool. I love the way they fought. I thought they were, I thought they were a great time. Hunting Rat. It's a rat. Sanctuary Knight. These guys are annoying. Undead Devourer. Straight to F. <laughs> Those things suck. Like, okay, they, they had so much defense for no good reason. And they, they were so low, they would miss most of your attacks. Okay, also, so I know you see the Basilisk, and you're like, Max, you put the Basilisk in Adorable up here. Yeah, but the Dark Souls 2 Basilisks were gross, so F. I'll deal Warlock. I have no memory of you. Red Crystal Lizard. Uh, they go to Adorable because it was hilarious that you'd hit them and they would explode. Dragon Knight. These things were dope. Uh, Gailer, or Jailer. I actually really like these guys. They had like a surprisingly unique move set and they were just visually very cool. Uh Iron Warrior. It was just a big fuck off, dude. I don't know. Infantry. Eh, it's boring. Hollow Prisoner. Eh, boring. 
Grotesque goblin. Maybe they were grotesque. Dragon. It's a fucking dragon. Whatever. Who cares? It's a dragon. Spider drone. Fuck that. Pag and tree. Kind of funny. Hollow rogue. Don't care. Old knight. Eh, whatever. Drake keeper. I like these guys because they would like stand in their spot and they'd be all big and dramatic. Ironclad warrior. Okay, these guys actually do get to go up to A. It sucked when they put you in situations where like you couldn't roll around them. But I like just like the big turtle like boom. Boom, boom, boom. That was kind of funny. Uh, DS2, Alone Knight. Oh, those are going up to S. First off, they were fun to fight. Secondly, they dropped the best katana in the game, and their armor is really good. So, Ducal Spider, uh, straight to D. Grand Tusk, it's a pig. I don't care. Bone Wheel, it's a good thing. Curse jar. Okay, the curse jars were kind of funny because you get near them and then they would start laughing. Your curse mirror would go up. So it turned to this game of like, where are they? Where are they? And I, I like that. Petrify and statue cluster. Straight to straight to F. Fucking annoying. Uh, retain sorcerer. I don't remember anything about you. Stone knight. Don't remember anything about this one. Aldrich knight captain. I kind of remember you guys being cool. Or alone knight captain. I remember you guys being cool. Hollow Crawler. Yeah, that's a D. Poison Droomer. Okay, these these Droomer things, they were cool in concept, but they got real old real quickly, so no. Great Basilisk. See, that guy has the big this this guy has the big the big eyeball thing, so it's fine. He's cute. But the little ones didn't. Stone Soldier and Stray Hound, straight to D. Corrosive egg crawlers, F. <laughs> they break your gear. Fuck that. Hollow peasants. These guys were just weird looking. And the dog. And the rat and vermin. The grass. The the crag slipper, I think, was kind of cool. But yeah. Hollow priest. I don't care. I don't like that they call these things entity of avarices. That being said, they were still mimics and they still kicked your ass, so I loved them. Uh, Sibia. I don't remember anything about sorcerers. Or the. No, no. The royal soldiers, I remember because their animation was bugged. And I always thought it was funny. The poison cluster goes straight to hell, though. The amount of priestesses. Okay, the priestesses themselves weren't bad. It was the environment that they were in that was so annoying because there's all these, like... Oh. I told this to loot. But, um... There were, like, so many spots where you could just fall and instantly die, and they would just throw spells at you. It was really annoying. The bell keepers were funny. They were funny. Simple as that. Crystal Lizard, of course, goes the adorable. Uh, roaming Soul. Actually, as much as the Roaming Souls are really annoying, I thought they were, like, a good one-area mechanic of an enemy you can't, like, target in on. And, like, they weren't even that bad. It was just you had to get over that you couldn't see target them. And not being able to see them and all of a sudden arrow sprouts out of your back, I thought was really fun. Giant, uh, no, okay. Uh, a Mana Aberration, uh, D. Elsium Loy... Or like uh, whatever they're called, giants. I think the giants were a cool mechanic, but it got kind of old. Lady of Pyromancer, I remember. Eh. 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 Parasitize undead, D. Giant warrior. Okay, the warriors were cool at first, and then they got old. So C. Same with these guys. C. The royal, the hollow royal knight soldiers, though. I I like them. I thought they were very cool visually. Garm. I don't really. I don't really care. Hollow Vagarian. These guys annoyed me, mostly because they kept kicking me off ledges. Um, Sanctum Sorceresses. I remember them being annoying. Mongrels. D. Royal Swordsmen. I actually like the Royal Swordsmen. I like the dealing with guys with two hand swords. Because it encouraged you to, like, it encouraged you to rush in, but also, you yeah, had to be careful because they're strong. Uh, the Lion Warriors were cool. I like the Lion Warriors. But the moth was annoying, the dog's annoying, the settler's annoying, I didn't like germs. Arc Drake Pilgrim, no. Armored Skeleton, I'm pretty sure it's just a normal skeleton. Possessed Armor. The Possessed Armor is actually pretty cool, visually. Like, how you just see this set there, also they go... It was just like, oh shit. And like, they weren't hard to kill, so it was fine. Hollow Infantry. It always feels good just to mow those guys down. Prowler Hound, you guys get a pass on the dog thing because you're like these little gremlin things. I think in the wiki they're also called kobolds, and I just I I just think they're funny. Dark Priestess, I don't remember anything about you. A bunch of question marks. Okay, so that one was an error. We're just gonna 
We're just gonna leave that one there. Executioner, you guys are genuinely annoying. I remember their move set was like weirdly hard to get a hold of, and they kicked my ass a lot, and that mess drove me nuts. So nope, they 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 get D. Falconer, uh, this is in the same group as like the whole as the uh, royal, yeah, the royal army and stuff. I I think they're nice. I think they're fine. Undead aberration. Uh, undead aberration. I have no memory of what the undead aberration even is. Like, what the heck is the undead aberration? Undead. Oh, aber. Uh, this is the Bloodborne wiki, Max. Ah, yes. Of course. I was gonna say like yeah, these these words don't make sense. Okay, I'm not getting anything, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put them in the I'm gonna put them in the middle. Uh, mass mannequin. I actually really like the mass mannequins. I thought the mass mannequins were like really cool. I like how they like backflipped while also throwing knives at you, and like the weapons they had were really good too. Like when you can get them as drops. Uh, Ashen warrior. Eh, they're kind of cool and big and flaily, but eh. foreign wanderer. Who cares? Intro things. Dark er. Flame Lizard. Okay, so the Flame Lizards were constantly put in, like, really annoying situations, but I loved how they looked. Just, like, the big chameleon-esque looking thing. I, I thought they were, like, cool. So, um, so you don't you don't get to be put in the adorable category, but you are. Eh, actually, no, you do. Even though you knew it was death, it was funny to look down a hallway to see this. Blah! And then, like, just this fireball would rip or see, like, oh, shit. So, yeah, they, they get put in the adorable. A uh, dark sucker. These guys were rough, but that was because of the area they in. I really liked them. I thought they were a lot of fun. Dark dweller. Okay, this is in the same boat, except especially so. The dark dwellers were just like these weird, these weird things that are only in like a few areas. And what I loved about them was that you know you had hollows that ran around with torches, and they would avoid those hollows because they're scared of the light, and that's what would teach you. When you have a torch and you hold it up, they would be scared of you. And I loved that. Like, alternate ways. Like, okay, don't get me wrong. Dark Souls, in many ways, is a game just about killing shit. But I loved that. Right from the get-go. I'm moving the mimics up one. I loved that. I thought that was so cool. Just, like, being like, okay, stand back, stand back. And then, like, the guys who aren't afraid of the fire would be running at you. would be like, oh, shit, oh. And then because you're not holding up the torch anymore, the they would start like thinking about coming towards you, but they you still had fire, so they were still kind of scared. Like I I thought they were great. Rupture and Hollow. Actually, apparently a lot of people complain about these guys. They're not that bad. Undead Huntsman. Eh, you're the big weird things in the forest. Okay. Ashen Crawler. Didn't I already throw you in the D for Gear Warrior? Eh, you're all right. You remind me of Gavling, so you're fine. And that's the end of Dark Souls 2. <laughs> well, that explains why I wasn't able to find the Undead Apparition. It's because it was, I was looking at the Dark Souls 3 page. You know, that would do it, right? Makes sense to me. All right, next up. Okay. Uh, Herald Legion Knight. I remember you guys actually being kind of cool to fight, so I'll put you as a D. Uh, Jailer, you guys had a weird branding mechanic, and I think that was really cool and unique. Uh, let's see. Angel. Angels are really annoying to deal with, not gonna lie. Like, they were rough. Oh, Ravenous Crystal Lizard. Uh, that's going straight to A. They were so much fun, especially the one right in the beginning. That would just, like, all over you. Like, I love that. Alright. We got ways to go. Uh, Skeletal Wheel, still a D. Corpse Scrub. Okay, so the Corpse Scrub things, they were cool. Oh, Judicator, F. F, 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 F. They were environmental hazards and freaking annoying. Uh, okay, so the reanimated corpses were like Ds, right? But, and the Starved Hound, D. But, where, where is it? Where is it in my list? Well, okay, so the Crystal Lizard is still adorable. 
Uh, the giant slaves, I felt bad about, but they were, like, stunning visually. Um, Silver Knight, that's going straight to ass. Uh, the Puss of Man. S. Uh, well, A. Like, it was so cool just being like, ah, it's just a group of hotos. You just run through and you're like, me, me, me. And also, someone would just, like, rip apart and just destroy you. I love that. And I also love the incentive of if you could kill them before they turn, you'd be safe. I think that's very important to them and very interesting. Ah. Apologies. But, um, I'm not finding the other... Bit. Oh, yep, Dark Wraith. Dark Wraith goes straight to S. I love fighting Dark Wraiths. Uh, let's see. The basic bitch, Hollow, gets a B. Uh, Angel Pilgrim goes with the Angel and D. F let's see. Where is it? Black Knight is joins them on the S. Rock Lizards. I thought the Rock Lizards were pretty cute. Even though they would, like, breathe fire at you and stuff, they're, they're still pretty cute. So, I'm going to put them in the adorable. Uh, Skeleton Ball. The Skeleton Ball was funny because it would stop. You know what I mean? Like, it would, like, roll at you, but it was, like, rhythmic, so it was fine. And, like, the, you know, the, or, well, and I know the chariots are rhythmic, too, but, like, it was more forgivable. It was just funny to be, like, yo, know, one's rolling down the hill, and you, like, run down, and you get to safety, and it, like, rolls past, and then it, like, stops. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I was curious. You didn't mention it. Sorry to hear that. Sucks. You type what you're allowed to type, or what you feel comfortable with. I'll keep, I'll keep talking. But, um, I love, like, I remember seeing the skeleton ball, like, rolled past me. And then it, like, rolled to about where I was, stopped, and then rolled right back uphill. And so they're just like, what the fuck? And you see all these hands coming out of it here, like. So for that, for that, it gets an A, because that moment was hilarious. Sewer centipede, uh, that's a spider, and it gets an F for being, like, creepy as shit. Deacon the, de uh, Deacon in the Deep, they're kind of, they're fun, they're not that bad, so B. A uh, root skeleton, it's just a skeleton. Elite hollow soldier. These guys are fine. They're I thought they were fine. B. Rotten flesh of Aldric, a uh, straight to D, no one likes goose. Hollow manservant. I actually like these guys a lot. Like, I know they were very simplistic, but they had like enough variety that um it like kept you on your toes. That they were very fun visually. DS3 skeletons, yep, normal skeletons. Elder Gru, okay, the Grus, the Elder one specifically sucked. the The normal Grus, they were fine. There was nothing really. They're, they, in fact, I'd say they were cool. They were cool, but the uh, the the Elder ones were just annoying a uh, jailer handmade i think this is a weaker jailer locust preacher oh wait there's the mimic mimic goes to s uh mm. gotta love that when they're like this should be clean it's something that's like impossible to clean uh Gru grunt i'll put in a b as well with the other grues all except for the. See, I don't remember that. Group. I don't remember this one, so let's put you in there. Demon statue. The demon statue's annoying me. Okay, that's not true. They weren't that bad. So I guess in the middle. Uh, peasant hollow. It's a peasant. Hollow assassin. They're uh, they're they're all right. They're they're fun. Uh, ascended winged knight. These were funny because there's like these fat men just running at you. You just be like, ah, oh, what are you gonna do? And they kick your ass. You'd be like, oh fuck. So for that, I like them. <gasps> Basilisk. There you go. Right back in there. <laughs> All right. Uh, Hollow Soldier. Eh. Eh, it's all right. Uh, giant Crab. This is the first iteration of Giant Crab, so it's funny now. It's not funny later. <laughs> uh, the Poison Horn Bugs. 
return, they still get a D. The Winged Knight is the version of the Ascended Winged Knight, which is still funny. Uh, Cathedral. I actually really like the Cathedral Knights. I liked how, like, when they struck, they left landmines. I thought that was really, like, really fun and really cool. The Lycanthrope, it felt immediately out of Bloodborne. Seeing that thing just, like, scream and run at you it was so cool. Uh, Corpse Grub. Okay, so I wasn't able to find the other Corpse Grubs, but... Basically... Oh, the monstrosity of sin. That's that weird baby hand thing. Yeah, that that's a that's a that's a no for me, dog. That's those things are creepy as shit. F. Ring City Slave. They're like, oh, those are, those are kind of cool, but yeah, I, I didn't really care about the Ring City Slave. I cared about the Rotten Slug gets a D. No, um, I'm not seeing Giant Fly gets a. Eh. It's a wolf. I'm not seeing where the normal thing is. DS3 Devout, Hollow. They're kind of cool. All the trucks failed. Panatitis, Spice of Fire, Years Down, T's failed because he could slam the door closed because the gate shocks that it Oh. Jeez. It sounds like they have a lot to really put you through the ringer. I have no memory about the wretch, so that gets to be in C. Uh, Hollow Priest. I don't really remember anything about what they did, so. We're just, we're, like I said, we're doing this quick. Lothric Wyvern. It's another freaking dragon. Gargoyles. Gargoyles get annoying kind of quickly. Uh, Corvian. Corvian, Corvians, Corvian, Corvian. Oh, okay. Corvians were like the weird bird things, which are actually kind of fun. Not gonna lie. Like, they were. I like how they felt. At first, very overwhelming. I think that's really important. Uh, Locust Preacher. They were just weird and creep me out. Infested Corpse. This is the version of the Infested Corpse that I liked. Because, like, the other ones would just be, like, blah, 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 around. But those ones would, like, those ones would, like, uh, whatever it's called. You know, when you, when you do, like, the wheelbarrow race, they had wheelbarrow around. I thought that was really funny. And I liked how the fire got rid of them. All right, I uh, see a hollow cleric. Oh, that's the crawling ones. That's right. They creep me out. Uh, straight to D. Corvian settler. I'm going to put that B with the other Corvian. Uh... But apparently my unit was the only one to fill out the paperwork correctly. It sounds like they had really low standards for y'all. Not gonna lie. Uh, the hollow slave. Okay. Oh, the Erythelian slave. Okay. The Erythelian slave. I've been skipping over that one. That one had a lot of weird screamy magic, I remember. So you get a B. Grand Archive Scholar, you guys were hilarious because your heads would be like covered in wax and like you could dunk your head in wax. Wax, they think you're cool, but they also had spells to cover you in wax. So they had their own specific status effect, and I thought that was awesome. All right, uh, Man Grub, straight to F for being creepy. Smoldering Rotten Flesh, straight to. Lesser crab. Lesser crabs are adorable. They they get a they get a pass. Millwood knight. I don't remember. The Millwood knight. Oh, the Vikings. The Vikings were hard. They were fun, but they were hard. So a. Uh. As the aliens, but they failed that way. We did not. Jeez. So like none of them paid attention. What the heck? Oh, Ringed Knight. That is going straight to S. Once again, just visually very cool. Uh, Cathedral Evangelite. Uh, B. They creeped me out, but they were striking. They are very iconic. Uh, Serpent Man. The Serpent Man. I don't know why, but Serpent Man in these games are just, like, consistently good. Just, like, the way they move and everything. Uh, Deep. Deep accursed. Oh god, the deep accursed. The giant spider things that would just fall and just mess you up. S tier. Yep, 
because each time you saw one, it, crap, it made you crap your pants. It was that, like, just freaky and out of nowhere. Uh, Corvian Storytellers, they're going to go with the other Corvians in the B+. They were cool, and I like how they use spells and how they would freak you out. Uh, Man, Serpent, Summoner. Well, we got to put that with the... With, and the Summoner, not as much. The Summoner, not as much. I just like the basic ones. The Fire Witch... Fire Witch. I don't remember the Fire Witches. I really don't. So, see. Uh, Corpse Grub. I'm going to put those in the B because they're very freaky visually. The Tree Woman. I'm going to put the Tree Woman in B. She only showed up a few times, but it was really funny just for her to be like... It was basically just this tree that would just go... Meh, and just grab you because, like, you know, you weren't paying attention kind of a thing. So, like, you know, once you were paying attention, you could, like, see it breathe and move slightly. But it was still very cool. Uh, rat. Uh, I generally like rats more than dogs, so B. Cathedral Grave Warden. The way these girls moved was freaky, and I really liked that. Pontiff Knights. Uh, they were just very cool visually. Karthus Swordsmen. Uh, they definitely get up to an A because they were intense little skeletons. They were nuts. Caged Hollow. Visually, I liked you guys, and I liked that the game let me, like, hit them early. So, there's that. Uh, Lycanthrope Hunters. These guys, I actually hated these guys. They were sometimes hard to kill than Lycanthropes. Uh, the Basic Demon was always part of a quest. It's just something we've fought and seen before. So, see. A Mad Woman. I have no memory of the Mad Woman. Hollow Slave. Uh, I'm just going to give you a C. Stray Demon. Same thing. It's It, it was kind of cool because it was crumbling. So, I'll give it that. But really, it was most of the same. Grave Warden Skeleton. Once again, these guys were cool. Uh, the, yeah, the Grave Wardens just hit hard. Found Follower. I, I remember you just being a dude. Smoldering Gro. Uh, smoldering Gro. You guys are cool. Not gonna lie. You guys are kind of cool. You know, beat us. Still can't believe that. Strikes me as wrong. Oh, Sullivan's Beast. Uh, adorable. Freaking cute. I love how they just ran at you with their big open mouths. Oh. Dave. Wait. So they docked you because of a different apartment? A department? That sucks. Uh, Burial Outrider Knight. These guys are cool. I'm going to give it a... You only saw a few of them, but it was always fun. Lothric Knights. Just nice. Solid. I like them. Corvian Knight, I have very little memory of you, so I'm just going to put you with the other Corvians. Uh, Merkman? Merkman? Merk, Merk oh, those are the weird corpses that are like trying to drag and get to you. Anywhere. And then Overgrown Lothric Knight. You best believe that's going besides the normal guy, Lothric Knight. Alright, and with that, Dark Souls 3 is done. Next up is Bloodborne. Alright, already I'm going to tell you right now. Parasite Lava, F. Winter Lantern, F. Those things suck. They, I just, they, they are miserable. Blood Lickers, creepy. Rotted Corpse, eh, not that bad. But, like, not really that great either. Alright, uh. See if there's any other obvious ones that I'm just like, yep, get rid of. Fluorescent Flower, hated those things. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. We gotta finish this soon. We got that many left. All right. Uh, the snake ball. I actually really like the snake balls. I thought the snake balls were really cool. Like just visually, they were really interesting. Which I need to quickly find it. Oh, Lorian silver beasts. F. I hated those things. 
so much. Part of the reason was because they pooped out the parasite larvas. Uh, the man eater boar was insanely like okay. And I should sh I shouldn't say insanely, but they annoyed me, which is a shame because there's a spot that's really good for grinding. We had to backstab a lot of them, and they were so annoying. Uh, the wheelchair huntsmen's were hilarious because you turn the corner and you hear this, <laughs> and also like this gatling guns going off at you. That was, that was funny. Um, giant snake ball. Yep, that's going with the with the snake ball. But I was looking for the parasite snake people. There it is, snake parasite. Yep. Seeing a like see a dude and being like, oh, I could take him on. And then you like run in and get a few swings all of a sudden. It was so freaky, but I loved it. It was just of all the things to be a parasite snakes. Uh, the kidnapper is also gonna get a uh, A from me because A they take you to a new area and B it was just so scary seeing all it is is just a dude in a big cloak. Uh. Shit. That sounds like you're screwed over either way. I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, sorry. Okay. We gotta keep probably rolling. All right, Nightmare Apostle, uh, it's a spider. Yeah, it's called a Nightmare Apostle because it's a spider. Fuck that. Uh, the Executioner. I actually really like the Executioners. Like, they they made a very good initial teaching tool. And I really appreciate that about them. Uh, let's just see here. Keeper's Hunting Dog. Okay, so it's this. There's this one. And then there's like a different one. There's like there's two dogs. There's two there's two dog types. I remember that specifically. It's not the rabid dog, that goes the D. Uh, I'm not seeing it immediately. We'll skip it for now. Gel, it's another slime. Labyrinth rat, it's a it's a rat. It, it's a it's a rat. Wandering nightmare. I'm pretty sure the wandering. Uh, there's a lot of things called Nightmare on this wiki. Yeah, Nightmare Apostles are literally just spiders. I saw something for a second. Uh, let's just see. Carrion Crow. Boom. Yeah, I got Large Nightmare Apostle. Vermin Host. I'm not going to worry too hard about it. Okay. Oh, Garden of Eyes. Garden of Eyes. Do I have that here? The Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's just keep going down the line. Uh, Celestial Space... Uh, or Small Celestial Emissary. Uh, that's going in the Adorable column. Those things are so cute to see them run at you going, blah, 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 blah. And they would, like, their hair would come out and they'd try to do a spell and you'd be like, ah, oh, it's adorable. Sidestep, kill. All right, let's move on. All right, uh, Labyrinth Madman. You guys freaked me out. I remember you guys just running at me and me just being like, shit. Uh, Skeletal Puppet. Eh, they're kind of fun. Eh, they're all right. See, well, Max, I'm off to bed. I got to work in the sauna sweatshop tomorrow as well. Hope it's not as bad as it was today. Yeah, I don't know about you, but, like, where I was at, humidity, literally every time I walk, like, in or outside, my glasses fog over. It's, it's bad. But, uh, yeah, it's all good. Thanks so much for coming. I hope today was kind of fun as an experiment. I don't know if I'll do another one of these, especially, or at least not one that was this big. But still, thanks so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we'll wrap this up soon. We're, we're almost done with my inane ranting. But, uh, yeah. Thanks so much for coming.
All right, uh, next up, let's see. We have Murgo's Attendance. These things were weird because they would just headbutt you, so no. Uh, the Carrion Crow, though, I love the Carrion Crows. I loved how they would just, like, you would just be walking along, and all of a sudden you hear this, meh, meh, meh. It was, like, just this genuinely scary sound that would freak you out. I love that. Uh, okay, that's good. That's good, but, ooh. Playing Silent Hill over there. Nope. Oh. Alright, I'll drown. Let me bring some water. There you go. Okay. Um, The Celestial Childs were just weird, creepy little things. So, let me put those in C. Thanks for making sure I drink water. Sorry, I'm still just trying to get through these quick. There's a different dog. Enemy beast patient. Uh, I don't remember. Murgo's chief attendant. I just didn't like dealing with any of those. Don't pick up welding for a factory. My <laughs> max life lesson. Considering I sucked at, at welding. Noted. I, I only did a little bit of it and I was not good at all. But definitely noted. Oh, there it is. Garden of Eyes. The Garden of Eyes were these, these big bug flying things. I loved them. I thought they were so cool. Let's see. Yep. I have a good night, man. Thanks so much for coming. Alright. Uh, Chime Maiden. or I think the Chime Maidens were kind of cool. I reckon I, they were bad in the Chalice Dungeons when they summon shit. But otherwise, I thought they were fine. Uh, the crawlers were creepy, but I liked them visually. E because, like, when they opened up, it, like, there was, um, they would essentially, like, open up and try to land on you, right? But, like, the insides of their mouths and thing, mouths had, like, skeletons and hands reaching out. It was really creepy visually, but really cool. Um, a lot of people hated the brain sucker because they would take your insight. I thought it was hilarious, so I, I put it in B. It only happened to me a few times, but I remember um, playing with some friends, and like it happened to one of them, and they were just like flipping out, like no, no. I was like, it's it's fine, it's not the end of the world. All right, uh, scurrying beast. The scurrying beast was their version of the crystal whatevers, and I was not about them. Not gonna lie, I I didn't like them. Child of antiquity, same kind of thing. I thought they were just kind of gross and creepy. Uh, let's see. Large Huntsman. I liked the Large Huntsman. Just kind of like, um... Okay, I don't think we've hit the basic enemies yet, or the basic... Not the Huntsman minions. Not the Watches Guard Diggers. Which one was the Wandering Nightmare? What was the Wandering Nightmare? Uh, I'm not sure. The basic Scourge Beasts, though, just like the basic werewolves, I love those things. They were great. Lost Child, uh, they just weirded me out. They they just weirded me out. Labyrinth Spirit, I thought were cool. If it's the ones I'm thinking of. Cramped Casket visually was very scary. Just like this. It was almost like an accordion coming at you. Church Servant, eh, I thought they were all right. Eh, yeah, there, whatever. Church giant, same thing. Uh, grave woman, same thing. Labyrinth watcher. Huntsman's minions. Ah, oh, the big guys weren't that bad. Like, they were good teachers. Especially in the beginning. But, um... Okay, is it the enemy... Is it the beast patient? Okay, so the beast patients were the basic... Okay. Okay, so the beast patients... Weren't when they were humans. It was when they were. It, it was when they were like fully turned, and I remember them being a lot of fun to fight. So I'm gonna throw that in A. Mad one. I remember the mad ones being really creepy and kind of cool. Sorrowful emissary. I have no memory of the sorrowful emissary. 
So I'm just going to put in the castle. Actually, I don't know. Okay, where did I put the uh, Labyrinth Spirit? Yeah, the Labyrinth Spirit goes in C. The castle spirits were cool, though. Uh, Lor oh, Loran. Wow, I spelled a lot of these wrong. A uh, Loran cleric. I have very little memory of them at all. So C. Slime scholar. I actually really like the slime scholars. I thought they were creepy, but they were just like this. And once again, visually very cool and very creepy when you went into a room and you just see like all these bodies hunched over and they all like slowly got up and rolled their heads and went towards you. I thought they were cool. Um, female beast patient. They were bigger than the other beast patients. And that made him scary. I don't know where the basic bitch enemies are. Did I not, like, write them down? The Brain Immensus, I think, was really cool. It was so creepy just being in the dark and then, like, you know, with your lantern out and then you just see this eyeball just staring at you. And, like, as you moved, it would follow you and you had to, like, find it. And you had to, like, do a certain emote in front of it. I think you got a few different things. And then um, you had to, like, find a switch and, like, just drop it into the... No, no, no. That was when you dropped into the abyss. It was, it was just cool. I, I really liked it. The eye collector, I did not like the eye collectors. They're really annoying because I think they're the ones that they would be like, <laughs> they grab you and like do like this throat slit and it would just do a shit ton of damage. Uh, Watcher's Grave Diggers. The Fumarian Undead? Were they the Fumarian Undead? Oh, no. Ah, they're just, they're just whatevers. Okay, they're just whatever dudes. No one cares. A labyrinth warrior. I don't, I don't. I don't care. Wandering nightmare. I still don't know what that is. If I just look at Bloodborne, wandering nightmare. Oh. Okay. Okay. So then, what? What was the? What was the scurrying? Oh, the scurrying beasts. Weren't they the same thing? A oh, wandering madness, scurrying beast. They're all the same thing, really. Okay, so that explains why I didn't like them. <laughs> just at all. I, I, I just, I, I, I just did not like them. Unless did I put them somewhere else? Well, okay. It was funny seeing them go like, because <laughs> then I would like run after them because I thought they were cute. But, like, just looking at them, they were really creepy. So, now. Labyrinth Right Keeper. It's another freaking labyrinth thing. Sorrowful Emissary. I'm going to Google that one. What is a Sorrowful Emissary? The Pilgrim is a rare non-hostile spirit found in Child's Dungeons. That was essentially a reload station kind of a thing. In which case, I don't care because it's a chalice dungeon. <laughs> Kane's servants. Kane's servants. Small hunchback men. Uh, knight, blow dart, whatever. I don't, I don't really remember them. Okay, so really this keeper's hunting dog must be it. The reason I was holding back on the dog thing is because there's one, and I wasn't sure if this one was it. That basically, okay, it is a hunting dog. It was a dog. It was a normal dog, but it had blades sticking out of the side of it. So it could, like, get free hits in on you and stuff. And it was really cool. So I wanted to make sure I, I got that right one. Beast possessed soul. I mean, they're cool. It's just, it's just a big, big dog thing. Gravekeeper scorpion. I did not like them. And labyrinth watcher. I don't like child dungeons. All right, and that's Bloodborne. Done, diddly, done. All right, next up is Sekiro. All right, so a lot of the enemies in Sekiro are very similar. So thankfully, we'll be able to quickly go through. For example, the basic Ashina soldier, I really liked fighting them. I thought they were, I thought they were really good. But not as much as the Red Guard. Anything in the Red Guard... Go straight to A. Like the red 
you know, a lot of these I was kind of like, do I really need to like split them up or do I need to do so? But I did. But yeah, I knew the Red Guard were so much fun to fight. The basic Ashina soldier, and for that, and for that matter, the bandits. I don't see where they where the bandits are. Sorry, my nose is running like crazy. But um, I like the bandits. I I thought they were really cool. Um, just like it felt good fighting the basic units. You know what I mean? Like it it just felt good. All right. Uh. Okay, so you have the wolf. But the thing is, in Sekiro, the wolves were better. And the dogs were so good. Okay, not the po not the fountain palace head dog. Those things were gross, fish-like, and annoying. And they shot lightning and it made no sense. And they were annoying. No, 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 no. I'm talking about... Not the land squirt. The Sekiro. I think it was just the dog. They would throw shuriken at you. And they had ninja duels. How dope is that? <laughs> There it is, the basic bandit. The basic bandit definitely gets to the B status. Like, they just felt good to fight. Even though a lot of them were unarmed, so you felt bad. Uh, the club soldier, I... They were not the enemies that you were designed to parry endlessly, so I didn't like them. Uh, the healing gecko... The healing gecko and the normal gecko, they're just plain cute. Uh, I wanted to put the game foul <laughs> in the adorable thing. Because once again, just like in, just like a bloodborne, just like this, meh, 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 you just be like, fuck, fuck. and like it took very little to kill them. Like I think I don't even know if you could parry them. I think you parried them once, and the game would be like, yep, you got them. But they were just funny, and I just love fighting them. Uh, let's see, the Nightjar ninjas were rough. They were very tough, and like, okay, I'm gonna put the Nightjar ninjas lower because I want to put the spear adepts higher. I just because both of them are guys that are like really tough to fight, had a very specific move set. The night jars are what I think they are, right? The night jars are what I think they are, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, the night jars were not the the squat little ones, okay? So actually I'm going to put them both up there. Very difficult were in groups, had a crazy move set, except the night jars had like the ranged attack and then they would get they would like throw the little whatever boomerangs at you versus the uh spear depths who would just like cyclone with their spears kind of thing. But then you get up close to them and their attack would be like this chainsaw of like tick 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 and you had to like parry each one kind of a thing. Like very overwhelming, but a lot of fun. And I love that when they would like they would be like uh, you know they'd be like up here going or um, you would see them like really far away on the kites, and then you just hear this, as they just like come towards you. I love that. Uh, the uh, let's see, the hammer monk also, D. Uh, the centipede. I actually really like the centipede. They were, at least I think that's what they're called. They're just, like creepy things. They had weird fire. It was great. Uh, let's see here. Infested Seekers. Eh, they're just kind of whatever. They're just sitting there. Uh, Treasure Carp. The Treasure Carp are adorable. I love them. Man-Eating Carp. We're just funny. I just thought they were funny more than anything else. Uh, Rock Diver. Kind of creepy, but kind of cool. Made you feel on edge. Okay, so I don't have it here. Okay, wait, I do. Okay. The valley monkeys and the, yeah, the valley monkeys get an A, and so does the elder monkey, who would just straight up copy your attacks. They, it was so unexpected to just go to this area where every enemy was a monkey, and they would just destroy you. I, I thought it was hilarious. I also hated it, but I thought it was hilarious. The test subject gets a D because it's creepy. The cricket is, eh, whatever. The cricket. Fat man gets nothing. Gecko is cute. Old maid. The old maid I just thought was funny because she'd see you and go, Arr! the only way was just to kill her, and then you felt like an asshole. That was funny. Uh, kind of the same with the sentries. 
like in the, in the same department. Uh, where is it? Okay, so the normal sentry, the red sentry, I give A. This one I just give it B because I thought it was funny. Uh, for the basic enemies, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these guys to S. Honestly, yeah, I'm gonna put those guys to S because I just think they're great. Uh, we might want to. Okay, I'm gonna move the labyrinth madman down to B, mainly because it just had fear factor. But I think I'm gonna move huntsman up to S. Because seeing, like, one of those things fully evolve was scary, and I loved it. Okay, so there's a bunch of different spear monks. You got the blue spear monk and the white spear monk. I don't remember the difference. So I'm just going to tell you, they're fun to fight. They felt like mini bosses, and I love that. There you go. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the Akami Warrior, I don't know what they're called, but there's three versions of them. Let's see. So you have, you got Spear, Ball, and Bow. The Ball ones are A, because it's hilarious. The other ones, eh, okay, the, the Bow, the Bow will, the Bow will be Beer. The Bow will be Beer. While the while the spear ones had a very elegant way of fighting, and something even shot lightning at you, which is awesome. So, a uh, interior ministry ninja. This is kind of like the the one armed guys. So I'm just gonna give them an A. Uh, Sekiro assassin. If he's the little guys that I'm thinking of, I'm gonna say B because they're kind of funny. But then they got like weirdly strong. Uh, Sekiro Mio villager. This area actually really stressed me out because um. They just kept coming back, and I kept killing them kind of a thing. So it did feel endless, and they did a very good job of, like, keeping up with you. Uh, Valley Cl uh, Sunken Valley Clan. These guys are D. I don't know why, but they just always really annoyed me. Uh, kind of the same with the monks. While the Sekiro... While the Fencer... The Fencer would kick my ass. It was great to fight them. It was definitely a learning experience, but they would kick your ass. Uh, Sucker Interior Ministry of Lone Shadows. Uh, same thing as before. Just A kind of a thing. And then the Palace Noble. Eh, it's funny, but you know, they don't really do anything. Boom. Just one more. One more, and we're all done. Alright. Uh... There you go. Alright. One last one. All right, Abductor Virgin. I think these things are really cool visually, even if they're a pain in the ass to fight, so B. Uh, Lesser Bloodhound Knight. I was always happy to see one of these guys, also because they always drop good shit. Uh, the Deer. Deer is whatever. It's deer. Um, in one of my many accounts... Okay, so I have... I have four other accounts. There's an Arcane build, a Strength build, a... Uh, magic build and uh the goal of the other one is to only use a bow and air like bow and arrow or crossbow and items and stuff and i already ran into the issue of running out of money and running out of ammo so i'm now just murdering deer and shit like i was like okay you're allowed to use a knife for knife and stuff but the goal is to use the other stuff as much as possible and um i just got i'm just running around with a knife just like okay all the other playthroughs i ignore all the animals there's no reason to kill them because they have a primary weapon However, in this case, I can't, so I'm just murdering every animal I see and just picking up his bow. It's just like, I desperately need it. <laughs> and um, the deer I, just remind me of that. Like, they're still in the middle, but they're funny. The spring hare, though. Adorable. Uh, the page. The page is actually, the pages are actually pretty fun. Like, they're, they're oddly, they're oddly intricate. You would not think they are intricate, but they're, I, I'll leave you at B. They're oddly intricate as a fight. Uh, giant dragonflies are just annoying to me. I know they drop like, oh, but what they drop is really good for blah, 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 but it's whatever. Uh, pfft. what monstrous dog? Is that what that thing's really called? I don't even remember what that thing's. Okay, the land octopus. I'm going to put the land octopus at A. I, that guy taught me very early from the get-go that, um, yo, you have to approach enemies differently. 
because you know you like cut off its arms and then its head comes out kind of thing and that's how you do your damage and i really like that at the beginning you know it set a good precedent um i'm gonna try to leave all the knights and all the other ones for later a uh, rotten stray that's a d bear uh the bear itself was as uh, it's whatever slug that's straight to d land squirt i thought the land squirts were kind of funny so uh the miners uh i didn't like the miners because a lot of my weapons bounced off which got kind of annoying so d giant crayfish f like okay look uh, god the freaking crabs were fine the crayfish were just insane for no good reason uh, the Albanark. I actually think the Albanark are kind of cool. So, B. Miranda Sprout. F. I hate those flowers. Owl. Eh, that was kind of cool. Middle. Uh, Finger Creeper. F. F. Normal sized land octopus. Eh, these things are fine. I, I, B. They're, they're small. So, you know, it's whatever. Uh, Fire Monk. I thought the Fire Monks were really cool, honestly. Like, specifically this Fire Monk. Not the big fat ones, not the smaller little ones with just sticks. That Fire Monk, I thought was very cool. Okay, so the Lesser Crucible Knight. The Lesser... Sorry. The Lesser Crucible Knights. B. But Max, they're basically black knights. I don't know. They just felt overdone. They felt overdone and they felt like they had more toy. Like, it, they felt more. Okay, so the silver and the black knights and stuff, they were cool because it was just a dude running at you, right? But it was a highly skilled dude. While those things were like bosses each time and they just felt overdone after a while and I got annoyed by them. Living jars, on the other hand, straight to S. I love the living jars. Except when they exploded. And even then, even then, I was cool with them. <coughs> Alright, uh, Wild Mouflon. I don't know if it's actually called a Mouflon, but... Stone Cluster. I thought the Stone Clusters were so cute, and they made no sense. And I just liked them. Uh... Let's see. Same with the Jellyfish. Same with the Jellyfish. They're just so cool, and I loved how they, like, they turn red when they're on aggressive, but when they physically hit you, they turn black like they're hardening themselves. I thought they were cool. All right, uh, let's see. Man Serpent. Oh, those are going all the way up to A. You've seen one on, like, patrol slinky up was just so funny. So they are just so funny. Grafted Scion. Uh, I think those make a good solid enemy, honestly. Not as a boss, but as an enemy. Uh, Clayman D, they're just, they're just annoying, but you could go around them, so they're fine. Silver Tears. I thought the Silver Tears are interesting. Honestly, yeah, I like fighting amorphous enemies like that, so. Skeletal slime? Uh, there's slimes. Giant rats? It's, it's, it's a rat. I like, I like fighting the rats in general. It's better than fighting dogs. Burning slugs? Uh, I mean, they're kind of cool. They didn't really hurt anything. But they're very cool visually. So. Direwolf? It's a dog. It's, has. Uh, See, the, actually, the wolves are fine. I should, I should move, I should move the wolves to see. Yeah, if there's any wolves in here, okay. So if they're dogs, they're annoying. If they're wolves, they're pretty much fine. I know something about just how the dogs move and how they always get like you always get hung up in them because you're trying to fight something else. Giant crabs, I like giant crabs. It's a crayfish that other problem. Yeah, like then there's a uh, normal dog. Normal dog is just infuriating, but like the. But the big thing is, but the big things are fine. <gasps> There's the basilisk. That's going as a baby. There you go. There you go. And the smaller crab. Those are babies. And then, hold on, I had other ones. <gasps> skeletal militia even normal skeletal militia i love fighting them i love fighting them i love fighting with them they're fine exile soldiers something about how the exile soldiers fought like the way they were positioned how some of them had like that wind snap ability i just thought they were great 
Like they're 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 fine. It's nice. You know, not every enemy has to like destroy my butt just to do anything. Like I just like them in general. A chariot straight to F. Teardrop scarabs. Oh, lone wolf. Lone wolf gets. Eh, I don't know. Like some some of the wolves I was fine with. That, actually, no. Like the I I like I like the wolves from Elden Ring. Yeah, I like the wolves from Elden Ring. Yeah. All right. Uh, commoner. Eh, commoner. Giant ants. I actually really like the giant ants. I thought they were very cool. Seeing them like seeing them fighting like the big headed ones and stuff. All right. Uh, lesser alabaster lord. Eh. Whatever. Lesser burial watchdog. Straight F. <laughs> Immediate F. There is no getting around about the amount of F. Uh, teardrop scarabs. I thought the teardrop scarabs were very cool. And I get the theory that, like, oh, they're actually, you know, the eyes and ears of Sir Gideon or Ophni or whatever. But I just like them. Uh, Servant of Rot. I thought they were all right. Usually, okay, the problem with the Servants of Rot is almost never them. It's the environment they're in. And that's always full of rot. So, all right. Uh, the turtle is adorable, of course. Although finding them in those puzzles was annoying as shit. The fallen hawk soldiers were creepy. So F, eh, D. Uh, monstrous crow, D. Now here's gonna be a weird one. Uh, where's monstrous? Oh, that's why I did the it did the wrong pick. Oops, did the wrong picture. Uh, broken statue, D. There it is, monstrous dog. I just, wow, I made a lot of errors. Monstrous dog. Oddly enough, the crows I hated. The dogs I was fine with, cause like um, a lot of their attacks they would like fall over, or you could hit them enough that they would get stunned and then you could instantly kill them. It was just when they were in groups that was a problem. <clears throat> uh, servant of rot. Eh, once again. Once again, serving rot because you have the poison scarlet version. The problem was almost never them. It was the area they were in. Uh, lesser worm face, straight F. Hate those things. Uh, skeleton mage. Eh, skeleton mages are fine. Eh, they're fine. Yeah, they're whatever. Perfumer and depraved perfumer. I put those high up. Like fighting these guys felt like a puzzle. I don't know where the depraved perfumer is. I just, I just had it. I just, ju there it is. Yeah, if fighting them was like fighting a puzzle, and I really liked that. All right, uh, marionette soldiers. I did not like the marionette soldiers. Like I, th and same with the avionettes. Um, I think they're like very cool. I think they're very interesting. I don't understand the lore behind them, and I hate how they would just like spaz out. That was their magic ability. They would spaz out, and that just drove me nuts. Uh, Scarlet Rot Zombies. All those, all the zombies, like the putrid corpses and stuff, they're just weird. They're, they're, they're just, they're, I just didn't like them. The Invisible Warrior. Uh, that goes up to an A. That goes up to an A. Um, it was kind of, it was hard to fight them. But just like, yeah, you have this invisible assassin running at you. Figure it out. I thought it was great. Uh, the Guardians, there, 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 whatever. Monstrous Dog, okay, so clearly they mean the Misbegotten. Um, I'm gonna write these as a B. It was fun seeing them fly, even though it, like, put me in a lot of bad situations. Uh, da, 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 da. the Imps, okay, the Imps I'm kind of on the middle on. On one side, you know, it felt good to kill them. On the other side, it felt like I killed so many of them and they could gang up on me in just the right way, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, Anastasia Tarnished Eater. I don't know why she's in here. But, uh, B. She was fun. Alright, Azul Beastmen. I actually really liked these things. I thought they I thought they were really cool. It felt like I was in Bloodborne again. But, like, the magic and the way they used it was good. Glintstone Miner. D with the other Miner. Giant Bat. D. They freaked me out. Just be like, ah, god, and you can barely hit them. Revenant F. I hated fighting those Revenants. Like, unless you had a buddy, they would just wreck you. Uh, Skeletal Bandit. 
Ah, these things are these things are cool. Like I, I, I can get behind them. They're not any, they're not militia, but they're still cool. A lesser rune bear. B, but it really did feel like fighting a boss every single time. Like no matter what, you're fighting a boss. A chanting winged, a winged dame. Yeah, no F. I hated those things. <laughs> like okay, the bats I was willing to live with. Those things are just like. Ah, See, there's another one that I forgot. A chanty winged dame. I'm pretty sure that's like one of the dancers. So I, wow, yeah, a lot of these I just screwed up on. That's fine. Uh, let's see, noble sorcerer and there, there, whatever they existed. Uh, it's like the aristocrat, where it's like eh, I'm not. Okay, the eagles. I thought the eagles were cool. The eagles, even though they kicked my ass, I thought they were cool. Uh, let's see. Putrid corpse. Uh, that's going in, uh, D. Sheep. The sheep are cute. Let's see. I don't care about them. All right. Uh, glintstone dragon. It's a dragon. Oops. It's a dragon. Who gives a shit? Uh, ancestral follower. F. F. Okay. F for one reason, one reason alone. Their archers are too good. Like, Every okay with melee, fine, whatever, I'll live. But just like their archers seeing you from across the map and like stupid accuracy each time, no, nah. no, nah. hated it. All right, uh, we have the large oracle, we have the giant oracle, which I forgot the name. Wow, there's a lot of errors in here. I'm not redoing it. Um, where's the normal oracle? Where's the normal oracle? I'm not seeing it. So let's keep going through them. Uh, Demi-humans. I like the Demi-humans. They're fun. They're fine. It was like, this goblin's fine. All right. Uh, let's just see. Da, 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 da. Uh, the omens. I think the omens were fine to fight, honestly. Just nice, big, simple, big dudes. I liked when you, like, started to l really learn, like, which of your moves could stun them and which ones couldn't. Oh, okay. So, oracles and Voy. I think these things are cute as buttons. They make no sense, but they're cute. While the other ones, I think, are just, like, big and scary. But that's kind of, like, the appeal of it. So, I'm going to put those in the A. Yeah, I'm going to put those in the A. I don't know where the other one went. Damn it. There it is. Yeah, seeing, like, the giant one definitely was just, like, uh, But it was fun. All right, Sanguine Noble. I actually really like the Sanguine Nobles. I like how they like spat, splash the blood, and the blood would affect you. I I thought they were I thought they were really cool. Uh. Okay. Malformed Star still a D. still annoying to deal with. Fire pre uh, Prelate. I think these guys are really cool, but they're really hard to deal with. So B. I mean that was their point. So. Uh, Duelist Rotten. Uh, this is the boss, but honestly, it's just a fun enough enemy and a fun enough boss that I'm not going to complain too much. Vulgar Militia. Okay, so these guys are, A, they're surprisingly varied, and B, you can grind off them if you go to the place in front of the beast clergyman. You, they're really easy to backstab. It's like a thousand a pop or some shit like that, so that raises my favor with them. All right, School of Graven Mages. I'm going to give this one a D because it's creepy and it's just like this big thing that explodes. It's usually just a hassle. Troll. I like trolls. Eh, troll is fine. Most trolls fine. What about Troll Knight? Where is it? There it is. What about Troll Knight? I actually really like the Troll Knight. It was like, oh, okay, you're fine. A troll, no big deal. <laughs> and I, I thought that was cool. All right, uh, Flame Guardian. These ones aren't nearly as cool as the Fire Monk, but they're still pretty cool. You know what I mean? I still, I still think they're neat, so I'm, I'm going to give that to them. Now, if it was, like, the little, like, worshipping ones, I'd be like, oh, those guys are lame. Albanaric Wolfback Archers. These guys are cool. I like I like how they go, like, with their arrows, and, like, I them fighting with the wolf, um, you know, them fighting with the wolf and, like, working together. Badass, so... Like an A plus. Crystal Snail. Eh, eh kind of cool. Okay, the Crystal Snail is fine. The Summoners lose the charm 100%, and the Skeleton ones lose the charm 100%. When it was just the cool little Crystal ones, it was fine. But then it wasn't. 
Uh, the star collar. I think the star collar was pretty cool. I like how they like throw rocks and shit. I like how they go like, eh, meh, and then they like throw it. Like I, I think it's fun. Or I forget they do like a little flip, but still. Okay, Thorn Sorcerer. Yep, this is the one that I was like, you know, the Flame Guardians are cool. The Thorn Sorcerers are all right. They're all right. They're all right. All right, the Kaiden Swordsman. I actually, really, or the Cell Sword. I like the Kaiden Cell Sword. I like how they fight. I like how they fight when they're mounted. I think the Kaiden Cell Swords are cool. All right, uh, Lazuli Sorcery. I think these are the ones that just like run up and slash at you, which I automatically like more than the other ones, the Glintstone or whatever they're called, which get real annoying real quickly unless you can use the environment to your advantage. Um, lesser mad pumpkin heads. I thought the pumpkin heads are fun. I still don't know why they're they are the way they are, but they are. Like with like um, they're slamming their hand to the ground. Like sometimes like this white liquid comes out. Like I don't know what that what's up with that. Also, I don't know why I forgot that one fire. Oh, there it is, flame chariots. Flame chariots are cool. They're definitely they're definitely one of those things though that like once they're with other things, it's a problem. But usually you can trick them into hurting each other, so it's like fine. Uh, Azula Dragon. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna give you a D. You're better as a boss, and you just got you're just annoying when we randomly found you. That's right. Every every other dragon got a C. You get a D. Uh, Lesser Red Wolf or Radagon. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. It was kind of annoying finding them, but I still love their base too much. Uh, Frenzied Villager. It was always scary to see one of these things, and because that I kind of like them. You know, fear the Lord. Aristocrat. These things are just fu these guys are just funny, but really, it's, yeah. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. golem. Okay. Overall, I actually do like the golems. It's just many times, and I've complained about this with Elden Ring before. It feels like they're used a lot, so it's just like, oh, what's that? Ah, it's another one. You know that that kind of, that kind of situation. Lesser ulcerated tree spirit. God, I got sick of these things. All right, um, Mountain Knight, Wraith Collar. The Wraith Collars aren't that bad, honestly. They're not that bad. Okay, the Knight of Zamor. These guys are cool. Nah, eh, it's because it's cold. No, no, I like, I like them. I like their, I like how they move. I like how they attack. I, I think they're interesting. The Bow Mages worked with the monks. They're all right. In general, all right. All right, I think okay. So Moongrum Carrium Knight, this is the guy who fought us before Renala. He's freaking cool. I like him. But otherwise, oh okay, the Night Ma all the all the Night Maiden and the Nox things, they were cool. I loved how their like weapons, I love how their weapons stretched. I love how their weapons were like liquid. Just overall, they're dope. No, no argument there. Now we have all the ones that are just basic dudes, except for the Twin Sage, who gets put in the B column. Alright, these are all the ones that are just basic dudes, so let's just go down the line and ask ourselves. Okay, basic bitch soldier, I... I don't care. Um, Oh, Nox Sword Stress. Uh, that's going straight to A. There you go. Okay, yeah. Ray Lucaria Foot Soldier. Same 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 thing. Okay, like okay, the foot soldier models, I don't really care about. Okay, the Halic Tree one's kind of interesting because it explodes, but it still doesn't get away from its brethren. <laughs> it is still at the bottom of the class. Oh, Ray Lucaria Scholar. Eh, whatever, they're just like they've just fired a little spell and yeah, see the basic the basic foot soldier. They I just uh ah. The basic foot soldier just doesn't do it for me. Now everyone else, on the other hand, the soldier, the foot soldiers are one thing, right? You know, the foot soldiers are foot soldiers, but the knights. Hang on, there you go. Let's see. But the knights. Oh, chanting. Oh, this, this is the one I did wrong. Uh, these things just creep me out. So f. The knights and the actual soldiers is where the shit was at. Like, sure, you could be like, ah, they're overused, blur. But they all had different little variations. The Halig Tree ones could, like, 
I mean, the, those knights, like, would, like, heal themselves and boost themselves. And, yeah, different. The soldiers would boost themselves. The highwaymen, I don't really care about. So, I know it's a cop-out. The mausoleum knights would teleport. Um, there's two of the same right here. Don't know what's up with that. Listen, I made these while I was sick, all right? Like, cut me some slack. But, um... No, all these guys? I I think these guys are great. I think these guys are awesome. They're all getting A's. <laughs> you serious? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. It there's a lot to be said for just having like a nice basic enemy. There. A, just a nice basic enemy that just sticks with you and is solid. You know what I mean? Like, they, they kept you on your toes. They clearly got smarter over time. Over time, they would gain the occasional new trick. And you would just follow right alongside them. And you would grow with them. It was like their way of measuring yourself. And it was great because in the, later on, you know, you if you need to go back for anything, you would see them again and just annihilate them. It would just be like, oh, oh, God, I forgot. Like, oh, oh, what have I done? And it, it, was, it was great. It was, it, was, it was great. It was great. Okay, I love it. All right, and with that, we are done. Let's do our quick check over in case there's one that I'm like, how could I have done this? Or if I need to move them up or down. All right, so let's see. Adorable, yep. Okay, the frog ray, you don't see it very often, but still they're cute. Notice a lot of rock lizards, a lot of basilisks. Some crabs, just small things. Sullivan's Beast, yep. The Celestial Emissary. It's like, they're so cute. Oh, the Stone Cluster, the, the Oracles. Okay, S. Yep, Silver Knight, Black Knight, Dark Wraith, Alone Knight, Mimic, Mimic, Silver, Dark Wraith, Black, <laughs> Mimic, Ringed, Deep Accursed, and then the Executioner, Huntsman, Kidnapper, the Red Guard, Living Jars. I might move Living Jars up to Adorable, but I do actually like fighting them too. They're fun to fight. And then, yeah, my boys. The militia. All right, A+. Plus. Yeah, the Stone Knights make sense. Painting Guardians. I love the Ula Seal Residence. Uh, the Ghosts, visually. If nothing else, just visually, they're great. Oh, uh, yeah, Desert Sorceress. The High Knights were so good. I like the Dragon Acolyte's armor. I just think it looks dope. I love how um many toys the Jailers had and the Mannequins. The Ravenous Crystal Lizard. I loved those things. Um, I might put that up to S. Uh, honestly, yeah. I'm going to put that up to S. And I also want to put up the... Uh, this is going to sound weird. The Cathedral Knights. The Cathedral Knights just changed the the change sword fighting because you know it's just it's a big heavy dude with a big weapon you can just go burr, 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 and it was fine whatever but every time he hit the ground a landmine was set and I was like that is so freaking cool um let's see yeah the snake ball garden of eyes the garden of eyes is not complicated an enemy but they are just they're just fun in general. I'm gonna put the scourge beasts up to S because it just felt so good fighting them. And I'm getting real willy-nilly all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, the the red guard up there, I think. Uh, let's do the these guys, too. The interior ministry ninjas. Those are the ones who just kick you. They're great. Okay, there has to be other S1s from Elden Ring. Guys that I just love to fight. Um, Honestly, probably the perfumers. Yeah, move, move the perfumers up to S. It's just they are... Really, fighting them was like fighting a puzzle because they were so good at protecting themselves and keeping a wave of like explosive perfume between you and them. And they were very good at that. And I just really like that. Um, I might move the, I'll move the fire monk up there too because they were just good fighters in general. Uh, yep. All right. Uh, the B plus is just the general likes. Skeleton baby. <laughs> Forgot that I put that there. Uh, see, these things were cool, but they were kind of annoying, but they were cool. Yep, this is where all the skeletons are. The Drake Keeper is there, yeah. You know, these guys are cool, but they're not, like, my favorite. 
Nope, they have all the grooves. Tree woman. All right, uh, the rats, madman, skeleton puppet. Yep. Sorry, I'm wiping up my nose with a lot of tissues. I apologize. I'm gonna raise the brain immensus up to A plus because just the visual. I don't even know if it's really an enemy, but just like the visual of like you're in the dark and you see its eye is so scary and I love it. All right, man eating carp assassins. Yeah, see these guys. They were actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna raise. I'm gonna raise you up. These guys are really cool, but they definitely like. They were a great example of enemy of like you will get good at killing me or you will not survive kind of a thing. So that's why it kind of like lowers it for me a little bit. Um, but I want to raise it back up. Uh, I still like the wolf. I still like the. Yeah. All right, uh, middling and don't care. It's a lot of hollows. It's a lot of just, like, weird things. Or it's a lot of, like, I don't even remember what they are. Hold on. Uh, yep. D, these guys just annoyed me. Lots of slimes, the giant versions. Lots of leeches. Lots of, like, big, heavy dudes. Like, I like fighting, I like fighting fast dudes. I think that's one of the reasons Bloodborne and Sekiro, like, like connected with me so well is because a lot of the enemies are just like small fast hard hitting and i'm small fast hard hitting so it felt like a tink 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 yep you did or like tink 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 yep got you max and i really liked that um the angels still annoying all the wheels all the dogs 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 <laughs> gel dog crow f chaos bug blow dart <laughs> Uh, yep, the silver beast, the flower, the lantern, the parasite, spider, spider. Yep, okay. And then those two arrows. Arrows. <sighs> we did it. We did it. I'm going to save. Save tier list. Max's. Max's from software. From software enemy tier list. I have signed each one of these differently and i'm not opposed to that but um yeah with that we are done at about five hours yeah this was this was definitely an endeavor i don't know if this is fun to watch or fun to go through i know with like the bosses i was like the most energetic and like explaining them kind of a thing but i didn't realize just how immediately draining this process would get like it was fun i enjoyed it but it definitely got draining really quickly that being said it is fun to go back down memory lane and to be like oh these guys i love and these guys i don't and da, da, da. so but uh yeah thanks so much for watching i hope this is a fun little experiment that being said you know this is uh, yeah Hold on. This was kind of the crudest part of being like, all right, who's the best waifu? As we identify the best waifu of each game. And someone holds a gun to my head and says, like, pick, you know. Someone holds a gun to my head and they're like, you will pick either Melina or Melisent. I'm just like. Shit. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, this this was fun. This was fun going down memory lane. And I just, I, I hope everyone enjoyed this. And if not, eh. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. If we never do something like this again, I get it. It's a lot of me just talking kind of a deal. And sometimes it's hard to have, like, a conversation about any of them, especially because there's so many, you know, we just have to kind of keep rolling kind of thing. Uh, if I check my one, this is just me being curious. Yeah, 569, 271. Uh, how many Pokemon are there total? Let's just... Uh... Let's just go through this quick. This is just for my knowledge. So if we did do a Pokemon one, you know, if we did, right? Okay, we could theoretically do it. Now, obviously, there's like the newest generation or whatever, but um, what's what's Kyrie mean? Oh, that's the uh, that's the yeah, that's the motorcycle Pokemon. That's the other motorcycle Pokemon, and this is the Pikachu mascot. But, um, we could totally do it. 
in one stream. I don't know if that's something anyone would be interested in or if we should just never do this again because it's boring having me talk like I talk like this so much. But I threatened to do it. We did it. I'd say overall it was a good time. I enjoyed it. My throat hurts though and I feel a cold coming on, so I don't know what my deal is that I can never get, you know, healthy. Uh just a quick curiosity though, just to kind of show it. If I was going to do another one, it would be Pokemon. Just straight up it would be. So let's see all Pokemon stars, all evolutions. Yeah, these are these are okay, this this is this is this is the list right here. This is what I want. All every Pokemon, all Pokemon. Yep, and I was gonna say like there's like this thing for images and you can see it includes like the megas and the Oh god, this one also includes male female differences. You see that shit? See that shit right there? Uh so if I did this one instead with like the weird art. Well, okay, this is every Pokemon, but it's kind of out of order. What the heck is Why does it have order? Why does it have order? Where's Pikachu? He's probably somewhere. Why is this out of order? It's not an alphabetical because that's Snivy. Um, he must have done it. Or the person must have done it in order of um who you might call it. Uh the person must have done it in order by like gen whatever that was. Gen five. Alright, so this one goes all the way to here. And, oh, they include all the Alcremies. <laughs> Why would you include all the uh, Grammys? Oh, this person included all the unknowns. Why would you include all the unknowns? Right, this is probably the list I would use right here. This, this, this right here made by the amazing Luke 3. This is probably the list that I would make. Oh, that reminds me. Hold on. Normal view. Leave, leave that bitch a like. There you go. I can't click in multiple times. But, uh, yeah. This is... This is my list. And, and I don't, Sorry, I'm just going down it again. Just like, ah, it feels weird to think of all of them. That being said, though... Okay, so real quick. Real quick, just as an analysis. We're just going to look at favorites and worst, right? So, what does Max clearly like? Max clearly likes duels. Hardcore, just duels. You versus the person, and you just have to get all these guys, I think it's safe to say, have a theme of just going in and going hard. You can't stay out of the fight. You just have to go in and just stay in. And if you can't keep up, you die. A lot of these other guys, you can like take step back steps back, you can kind of analyze. These guys, so much harder too. While the ones that I hate are gimmicky looking at all these it's gimmicky or it's just like specific groups of them that are just kind of annoying and then like you know these guys are just like repetitive or just annoying and gimmicky so i think that's kind of interesting uh waifus i seem uh, max seems to have a type i think it's pretty obvious even these ones is pretty obvious <laughs> and then assholes <laughs> usually the evil routes and with enemies, I can think most things are cute. And once again, it's those duels. It's the it's those duels. It's those, those unique unique ones. Ultimate versions of basic enemies. Living jars are just cute. And then things that I hate are tend to be the big chunky or the hard to hit or the invincible just because or the gimmicky. But uh, what's Pokemon's demise? What the fuck? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. This is the correct one. But, um, yeah. Hold on, do I have, yeah, I have all of them saved. <laughs> Does it actually, like, say the title that I wrote at the top? Nope, it, it just, it just wrote them down for me. Which is fine. But, um, yeah. I think we're all good.
let's end the episode off here. Uh, next time we stream is going to be on Wednesday. We're going to be playing Resident Evil 8, which at the rate we're going, I don't know if we're going to finish that game or not. We move pretty damn quickly. <laughs> And then on Friday is going to be the viewer choice. I think the current vote right now is between Dying Light, Evil Within, Outlast 1, and Dead Space 1. I think the winner right now is Dying Light. So pretty excited about that. And um, yeah, after Resident Evil 8, we'll do one finale episode. And then we're going to take a small break from that franchise series. Catch up with a few other games. I think I got two total and while we're doing the viewer choice ones. And then we will start our new franchise series of the Metroid games. Uh, now switch our Facebook, Twitter, Discord, because I suck at social media. The VOD is what we put on YouTube relatively quickly. And I think that's everything. Yeah. Let's end the episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all had fun. I know I did. And I will see you then. I'll just close all these because I can now. I can close this finally. Yeah, I will see you then. Thanks for coming.